Good morning. How you guys doing? Good morning. It's like 3.30 p.m. and I'm still going to say good morning. Dude, I hate doing live tweets. I hate them so much. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If you know, you know. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, night. What up? How you guys doing? Yo, 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 yo. Matt, why are you magic? Hmm? Why are you magic at me? I don't want it to auto tweet. I don't want, I don't like, I don't like live tweets on my feed. That's why I delete them all after. But pe some people use them. The song makes me sleepy. Good morning, sorry, I'm just giving it a second. Starting up stream. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to catch up on. Sleep less? No, I think you should. I think you should actually sleep because it's catching up to me, again. <laughs> I had to go to an appointment today, and like the same shit happened. Where she's like, "You look so tired." It's like no matter where I go now, everyone's like, "Are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? I've never seen you this tired before. You good?" And then I'll fall asleep. I haven't gotten to one appointment recently that I haven't fallen asleep during. My hair point, my um, hairstylist recorded videos of me like actually knocked the fuck out. She she put like a little caption on. She's like, when you book a streamer for a 9 a.m. appointment or when you book a streamer for like an 8 a.m. appointment, I was literally passed the fuck out. She had her assistant helping her and um, her assistant was like holding my forehead for me so my head wouldn't like droop. I didn't even notice. I was just, I was out. <laughs> yeah, they're all laughing at me. Rude to do to your husband? I think it depends on your relationship with, like, the people. Like, um, I see that everyone I go to has, like, a friend. They know that I don't fucking care. She's also really, really chill. She does, like, all of our hairs. She's, she's just, like, she's just, like, talking to a friend. She'll fuck with us. Doesn't matter. I don't really give a shit, you know? Her mom is actually the one that um, is my house cleaner right now. They're both really, really fucking chill. Uh, we ready to get going? I took my time today running errands and shit. I got some coffee. I'm tired as hell. Am I gonna learn how to play poker? No, I don't care to have like. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think I could get into like ten hours of poker. Listen, I get that. Like you guys are really like into what Kyle does, but I'm not really Kyle, you know. Yeah, the hairdresser housekeeper cover, that's true. 
The song is good, actually. That's probably the best song on this list. I'm really, I'm, I'm actually just taking a second. How long has intro been? Seven minutes? This is really loud. Plus, my character has to roleplay, learn how to play poker. I'll do it. I mean, I, I don't know. I'll do poker if, like, everyone's going to go play poker type of thing. But I don't know if I'd go out of my way. This is not hating on anyone that sits around and plays poker on stream or off stream or at night. But I'm, like, literally not hating on that. It's just... I don't think I could get hooked on it like that is what I'm saying. I don't think I can get hooked on poker. Even if I, maybe if I was like actually like, maybe if I actually went on card games. It's like when we were RP playing blackjack, I can only sit there for a couple of hands. I'm like, all right, I want to go do something else. It's either cause I never win. Maybe, maybe it's because I, I'm not winning. Maybe that's why I can't get into it. It's because I'm not, I've never won. Mining offline? Fuck no. Fuck no. You guys are making me so grumpy today. I just started the stream and I'm already grumpy because you mentioned mining. Yo, hating mining is not RP. It's OOC. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> that, is, that, that is my, uh, that's like my one. <laughs> I made it, I see, but that, I will admit, that is not RP. I, I, do not like the mining. I don't like it. I find it tedious and incredibly boring. So no, I, I have not been off stream mining. The reason we had the mining outfit was because we were supposed to do that mining thing with uh, Jack and Wes. Sit down with money, expect to lose. Is that what it is? Have I just been approaching gambling all wrong? I feel like it sounded like really negative the way that I like said that, but no, I don't, uh, I, I don't intend to like suddenly start playing poker just because Kyle had like a seven hour poker stream like that's not really like it's not correlated I don't know why sometimes you guys see something that Kyle does and you're like are you gonna do this too like I don't do that can you stop asking <laughs> highlighting mouse that I get lost or um it wouldn't be a bad idea actually I wish someone would just do the shit for me dude honestly I, I really wish that someone would do it for me. Because I'm too lazy. I'm like so lazy to do it. All of the video editing, the video cutting, the grabbing clips, the sending to video editors, that uploading, all that shit. I need to find an actual editor to do my stuff for me. And then grabbing and like, well, I could, okay, so you can highlight the thing, right? And then you can like just download it to your computer. But yeah, you would need like good internet and then you have to upload it. <sighs> one day, one day I will find someone to do all of this for me. For some reason, I'll like always get an editor. And then, well, like the last time I got an editor, I kind of just stopped streaming. So that happened. Gold intro. <laughs> you guys are asking me for things that I'm so lazy to do. I... I've been playing Red Dead so much, I barely have time to have a life. I, do, I just don't know, I just don't know when I'm gonna have time to do all of these things that I need to do. You can easily do the editing while doing wild RP. I can't edit and play RP at the same time. That requires another human. Yeah, my, my PC could handle it. For sure. Can I handle it? No. <laughs> Let me just get, yeah, another brain and maybe like two extra arms. Oh my God, that would be the life. If you could, if you could like duplicate your brain. Oh my God, what if we all had two heads and four arms? Oh my God, if you could clone your, 
Okay, instead of making yourself a mutant, I guess it would be better to just clone yourself. You're right. But I've seen what happens when you clone yourself in things like Rick and Morty and Archer, okay? It doesn't usually go well, typically. All right, and then what if my clone ended up being better than me and then I had to kill my clone? And then... It wouldn't necessarily listen to me because it would, like, you know, learn to think on its own. And it would probably end up being a, a less lazy me. And it wouldn't do things for me anymore. And then it would flip it on me. And then I would be the one that had to do it for, for the clone. And then we'd have an existential crisis trying to figure out who's the real me. And then they try to clone themselves. And all of a sudden you have, like, a bunch of clones of yourself. Maybe it's just better to have two two heads and four arms. Woo! Them goggles looking extra tight. Should we take them off? Yeah. It would be fun to have a clone until it isn't. You know what I mean? But that's like anything. It's always fun until it isn't. Yeah, unless my clones like me and they don't want to do what I don't want to do. And then they wouldn't do it for me. And then they clone themselves to do the thing that they do. And so on and so forth. You'd be horrified if I had a clone? Why? No, I don't, I don't know who that is. Main. Someone used to do that, but I don't know what happened. What I do need, though, is people to put, like, clips and shit. Like, old, new, whatever. Favorite clips in the Discord, though. That's what I fucking need. I, like, really need that. I was talking to Kyle about it. He's like, yeah, it saves my life. But I'm like, yeah, I don't know who's gonna do that for me, though. What do you mean, one Goldie? You guys don't think that, like, more, more than one me would be good? Damn, a bunch of haters. It's really like that? It's really like that? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me that you guys can have more than one me? What did I ever do to you guys, hmm? <laughs> Uh <laughs> pull up with your non clone self. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. I'm just tired, so I sound a little bit grumpy, but I'm not actually grumpy. I'm just in a very I'm in one of those moods where I'm very much like there's never really any filter, but I'm probably more degaffed than usual. So I know that it's coming out like it's not articulated. Articulate, articulate. It's bro I'm, I, I'm, I'm broken a little bit. So it's just going to come out rough. I'm very rough around the edges right now. Is it called sarcasm? Oh, I guess it's called sarcasm. I guess sarcastic would be the word for it. I just don't care. I'm in a, I'm in a state of de- I feel nothing. I feel, I'm in a state of feeling nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have no idea what infamously is going to say. It's going to be a troll or it's going to be fucking stupid or it's going to be like, what the fuck? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. I went to the, I went to the, <sighs> hi Hannah, 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good scene, actually. That was a really good scene yesterday. Guys, I got my eyebrows. I got my eyebrows done. You want to see? I got my eyebrows done. And and then I got my I got my lashes done. All today. <laughs> They're clean, right? They look good. But um th the lady was like, "Oh, there's a person rolling up." The um the lady that was doing my lashes, she likes to listen to podcasts, but today she was listening to the Amber Heard shit while I was getting my eye eyelashes done. And, uh, bro, is it me or does it sound like she was just acting? I felt like she was treating it like a script, but I don't know if that's like, cause I have a bias, but also I don't really care, but I, I had to listen to it cause I was like laying there and she was like listening to it. I was like, man, I, I just don't know how I feel about this. Oh, I, w I wasn't watching it, so I couldn't see it cause she was just playing it and it was like, I, w I had to like lay there and I was like just listening to her talk. Just listening to her talk, Amber Turd. I straight up told my eyelash layer, I was like, dude, I don't think I've ever regret having the name Amber as much as I do n until now. I was like, I've, I've never hated my name more, ever. <laughs> she was just laughing at me. Yeah, yeah, dude. And then, and then I was like, I told her, I was like, imagine living your life and everyone ends up just knowing you as the girl that shit in Johnny Depp's bed. Fucking said, oh my god, that would suck to become known as like that person. But damn, I don't know. I got bits and pieces of it, but that's all I was like really thinking about. Other than that, I don't really know how I feel about it. I was like, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is fake. She acting? Is this an act? Is this not an act? I don't know. Do I care? I should. Should I care? I guess I should care because it's like abuse, domestic abuse, trauma. It's like all really sad and really stressful when you really think about it. But then I'm like, well, why am I wasting my time caring? I was having an existential crisis while I sat there getting my eyelashes out listening to this. It's like, this is why, this is why I can't watch like traumatic shit on the TV. It, it's, it, it fucks me up a little bit. Yo, what up, Metal? Anyways, chat, besides that, besides me having a, a random word vomit of stream intro of random thoughts that probably don't matter at all, how's your guys' day? Are you guys doing okay? The new stream icon? Okay, the new stream icon is just a very, very old logo that I still use but I never swapped it out until yesterday when I was like, damn, I didn't realize that I just haven't changed my photo for five years. It's more than five years now. <laughs> I was like, I have a logo. Why don't I just put it there? But like, it's not like I love, I should say that I love my logo so that you guys love it too. So I'll just say that. Well, I hope you like the VODs fart. Bacon cheeseburger? Okay. Should I say it? Should I say it? Should I say the thing that I always say to make you guys really upset when I say it? I think bacon tastes like shit. I don't think bacon tastes good. Some of you guys are all like, oh, bacon, oh God, bacon. I can't live without bacon. Bacon literally tastes like you're eating like deep fried fat. It's like eating crunchy burnt fat. 
That's what everyone says. They're like, oh, you haven't had bacon. I was like, no, I've had the thick ones too. Oh, 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 that's essentially what it is. Oh yeah, well, maybe I just don't really like the taste of burnt deep fried fat. <laughs> Tate, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I actually like spam too. Okay, so maybe I, look, I would like to think that I have the best taste buds because, well, I mean, I think I do because I have to use them. But, uh, <laughs> 4.27 p.m. EST. Sab's on CST. Why does he use EST and then make me back calculate it? This fucking guy. I just drooled. I should really sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I know. It's EST. I'm too lazy to just put it forward. Okay. I would say I have really great taste buds, which I feel like... Listen, I'm just being honest here. But if I was a food critic, I do believe that I would be the best food critic there is. Alright? I eat a lot of stuff. I almost said shit. I don't eat a lot of shit. I eat a lot of stuff. And I feel like my nose is really good, which makes me taste like all the things. So I think that if I had to, I'd be pretty good at being a food critic. But. But. I do eat like a high person without being high. So I don't know what that means if I'm okay with putting hot Cheetos on top of like anything. Wait, I think I was supposed to send a telegram. I need to send a te telegram back to Alice. Hi, Ryan. But I don't like bacon, yeah. I don't really like the taste of, like, burnt. And I don't really like the taste of fat. I don't incredibly love anything deep fried. Which I used to. I used to like deep fried stuff a lot, but now I don't really. Deep fried Oreos are pretty good, but I can only eat like a bite of it. But I think it's just the taste of a hot Oreo I really like. What did Alice say? Something happened to Kaniko yesterday. He's not in a good way. Valentine become full of so much scum. Hmm? <clears throat> I feel like Valentine's always been full of scum, no? No, it was quite peaceful for a while. It was where everybody uh, got off the train. Very inviting. Hmm. Who the hell are you? I'm Norman. Who the hell are you? You already know me. Yeah, you're a horse girl. Yeah, you're horse man, the rich one. Yeah. You know Valentine was like already shit back when you was giving me money for the horse, right? Yeah. But you just now realize that it got more shit? Uh, it's more that I, I think that there's people here that robbed me. And I'm working to get them. Who the hell robbed you? That's my business. 
No, I have people I'm going to contact right now. Well, yeah, all right, Norman. Did I finish sending that telegram to Alice? I need to really think about writing this for a second. Give me a, a wee while. Did I finish sending that? I, can't, I literally spaced the fuck out when I was talking to him. Pip. Pip. TR637. Well, he really thought about it. Thought about it so hard he disappeared. Ah, oh, Ripley. Hi, Deputy Ripley. Nope. Oh, I don't have your drawing yet. Yes, I'm waiting for that. I have not had time. I will send a telegram. I mean, should I just keep it in holding in Sisica? Or no, I'd do like you have to a see residence? it. I mean, you'll see it. I'll I'll give it to Big L, and the next time you're in, what the hell? I ain't want to get it from Big L. I ain't going back to Sicily. Right? Okay, good, good. I was just checking. It was just a little test. All right, yeah, I'll make sure to get on that. All I've right. Been really busy with a weird case. What weird case, Deputy Ripley? A weird case of the secret admirer. Someone's trying to take you out and have the sex. I'm trying. I don't know. Who is it? I don't know yet. Um, it turns out I'm a terrible detective. That seems a little backwards, considering that's your job, right? Well, it certainly is, but I can't seem to figure this one out. All right, what clues you got? Well, they're very well spoken. They can write. They know Latin. They're a musician. Uh... There's that man that could w make the weird sounds out of his mouth that goes. <laughs> Have you heard oh. of him? Uh, who's that? I don't know. Sometimes he plays the piano with his ass in the Valentine Saloon. Oh, I hope it's not that person. Why? You didn't like that's that noise? That's not. That's not the kind of musical fart I'm into. <laughs> Well, with that, I'd better head back to Sandini. You have a wonderful day. I will try to telegram that to you. All right, Deputy Ripley. She's like, what the fuck? Are you high? Are you fucking high? What the hell's wrong with you? I wonder when Alice sent it. I remember checking it, like, literally when I was going to bed last night. I was too tired to even, like, speak properly, so I had to log, but I wonder if they're still up there. It could be good just to go up there and see. Let's do a quick pass. I have to, I have to close my blind. I cannot see my screen right now. I took a bath yesterday. Why is he getting me all muddy? I don't need a fella that lives his entire life by a gamble. What is she talking? Hey, Roland, would you like to meet my friend Golda here? Huh? Where the hell did he go? I think he walked off. Look what you did to Cal. Cal is just fine. Where is he at? I ain't know. I, I think, think he, he just ran. walked backwards. No, he, I think he ran inside. Inside? He's going out here. I just, I just rolled out of bed. There he is. He's on all the way over there. That's not him, is it? Where the hell is everyone? Uh, well, Sam's around. I saw Miss Peaches earlier. Oh my god, the fly's All the people back. I'm in uh, San Denis right now. I'm about to head down that way myself. Alright, so let's go that way then. Where the hell's cow? No! Ugh! <laughs> oh. I'm 
so dirty. I got to run in and take a bath. Goldie. Jack, I think it's time for my bath. Okay, you can't just say, I don't take baths and I don't like taking baths and then come in here every single time that I'm around and ask for a bath. Yeah, but I got to because it makes my friend happy when I take baths. Goldie, I ain't yep. giving you a bath. You can go wash yourself. You're a grown woman. I need a bath, Jack. Okay. Yep. I'm going to start charging you. All right, how much? I thought you didn't have no money, Goldie. Yeah, I ain't, but how much does it cost? It's $20. $20? Mm-hmm. He's lying. No, I ain't. Also, Ren sent me a telegram yesterday that says it's in your job to suck my toes, and he ain't give me that. So I feel like you I got ripped Ren off. told Ren that I washed you? Well, Ren told me that it was in your job because he told me that I should do it from you. No, Goldie. And then I said that he should ask you about it. Because you ain't give me one of those. <clears throat> Goldie? Yeah, Jack? I ain't washing you every day. But I need my daily bath. I'm trying to get one Why is it day. daily now? Why is it got to be fucking daily? <laughs> Why don't you just give her a bath, Jack? What's yeah, going on? Jack. Fucking God. It's got to be daily because it makes my friend happy that I'm clean. Yeah. Go in the back. Yeah, all right. Oh, a real commanding voice, too. <laughs> I'm so fucking over this woman. <laughs> this is my daily troll. Are you decent? Yeah. Are you in the water? What you think? I don't know with you, Goldie. <laughs> Is this water clean, Jack? I'm not cleaning the water every single time you come in here, Goldie. So you just want me to get in the water with other people junking it? I don't know what to tell you, Goldie. Get here earlier. All right, fine. I'll get in. Jack, I'm in here. Uh, why do I keep fucking doing this? Well, because this is your job. No, it really ain't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I don't even work here, but I'm a manager somehow. That means you do work here because he's the manager here. It's complicated. Uh, okay, can you with the stop that? <laughs> it ain't happening. That's Goldie. what you wanted me to do yesterday here. What, what do you? I didn't want you to do that. I avoided it at all costs. <laughs> I just put my foot up for you because you can do the scrubber thing. can't fucking believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Why? You did it yesterday. Why is he acting like it's new? I didn't like it yesterday, neither. What's your job? It ain't my job. I mean, you can ask Columbus, do it. I doubt he will. <laughs> Why ain't Columbus wash me? Because he don't work here, neither. Special, you coming out here now. Yeah, hold on. Victor, Jack won't suck my toes. See? He even knows about the toe yeah. suck special. Well, I'm glad. It ain't a thing, though. Yeah, it is. You said so yourself. No, no, I never did, actually. Did I you see? Put the toe sucking, son. I gotta get out of here now. See? Oh, my God. 
Scurry up, Jack. I'm, you know what? You can wash yourself, I what think. What the hell? No, you can wash yourself, I think. <laughs> Every day I think I'm gonna come into the bathhouse and troll Jack. Hold on, I need a... <sighs> he said no and left. Yeah, he did. Yo, what up, Alex? How you doing, dude? Oh, Shifty, dude, it's been so fucking good. I know. Thanks for the bath. Alex, thank you so much for the three months. Thanks for the bath, Jack. Get out of here. That's the fellow right there. His name's Roland. He controls everything in his life by chance. He just flips the coin. Bye, Columbus! Jesus, what's this horse doing? Do you see Mr. Sam? Nah, he ain't. So I need to talk to him, actually. Is he around? He is in town. I'm just featured right now. I'm not sure exactly where they went. I need to just <laughs> have a quick word with him. I understand. Let me see if I can find him real quick. I think right they went there. over. There he is. <clears throat> Let him have that talk for a second, though. Let him have, let him finish up. No rush whenever you're ready. He's saying gold day. Okay. LD. Come here. I'm getting like mad frames today. There's a guy with... by the campfire. Just now. There's a guy by the campfire. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah. him right there. Yeah. Looks like he's fresh out of Sicily, as you say. Yeah. Bush meeting, Sam. Bush? Oh, Goldie, Goldie, I'm not sure about this. Some some people might get the wrong idea. For Sam, a, Bush meeting, come on. Goldie, some this people is might what, get the wrong idea. This is how Phil likes to have meetings sometimes, and we're in Valentine's. Yeah, but Phil's full of shit. I'm not. Yeah, he's quite literally full of shit. All right, no Bush meeting. Remember okay. yesterday we was talking? Uh -huh. And you asked me about the what peepees? Yeah. Or the Wapitis. God yeah. damn it, he's in Roska. Well, I talked to the Rensela. And he didn't do it. Oh, wasn't him? No, nah, it ain't him. So I didn't think you got to worry about it. So if it ain't him, then it probably ain't Bill. And it probably I'm ain't confident and sure that... Oh, so so Ren, Ren wasn't around. It was just Bill and somebody else, maybe? Mm, I didn't know about Bill, but we can ask him. But that's something you ain't got to worry about, I think. Because you know how you was wondering how you handled the bills? Yeah. But if you ain't been involved, then it's something you got to worry about. All right, yeah. I mean, like I, I said, I'm not, I'm not too much him. into the fact that I, I respect for you and the fact you, you know, you give me that information. I think that I, I don't want to throw you, you know, under the wagon and have you um, get caught in the whole thing. So I'd rather just, you know, get the information from somebody else and, you know, play stupid for down being. Yeah, I mean, that's why I was telling you, because I'd prefer if they, they look out for me. So I was just trying to protect them, too, which is why I told you. But... I ain't think that it's him because Ren wouldn't lie to me about it. So I guess he wasn't around or it ain't him. But I think people might be using his name or the name they used that one time. The man killers. huh? Yeah, the man killers. What kind of name is that? The man killers. I don't know. I think that they just made it up. But I don't really know who's doing it now. But I know for sure the Ren solo ain't did it. I can ask Bill if you if you want if he did it. Yeah, I mean, I want to I want to talk to Bill, but I don't want to come off like it came from yeah, right. I'm gonna just like um be like, hey Bill, how you been? You know, like just see if you like you know it comes out of him, right? Yeah, I mean, I know Bill pretty well. He's pretty, he does not hide nothing. He'll yeah, tell me exactly what he's doing. That's why I ain't really too concerned about it, cause uh, I could we could just talk to Bill upright. He doesn't care, you know. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't seem like the kind of man that would do something and you know um. How these feelings about it, right? He'll just tell you, all right, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did that person. I mean, you know Columbus, right? I know. I've not met a Columbus. I think met the Ren Sella fella as well. Ren Sella? Oh, he, he was around yeah. last night when you was around. Was he? He was playing poker. 
That's how oh. I was talking to him because I'm Oh, yeah. Him. It got so dusty in Valentine. There's like 20 people in the saloon. I couldn't do shit. Yeah. I was talking to people and they didn't spend to hear me because the wind was so loud and the dust was so high. Yeah, that's the problem, right? It's yeah. Just, uh, sometimes Valentine gets so dusty that I just want to leave this place and go somewhere else. Yep. That's exactly what happened. But when he finally was able to hear me again, then I pulled him aside and I asked him. But I noticed he gets into stuff and he, he wouldn't lie to me and he didn't do it. So that's one person. Well, I believe it, Goldie. I mean, I, I don't have any reason to believe otherwise, right? So I guess uh, I'll leave it as is. And if something else transpires or something else builds up on it, then we can, you know, proceed forward. But for the time being, I'm just like, you know, let things just go, I guess. Yeah. I mean, mm, I know Columbus is around right now. Yeah. If you want to send them a telegram, I can talk to them real quick. I, 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 just, I just don't want to come off like um, you're feeding me information from them. Because I don't yeah. want them to feel like you're... They can't trust you, right? That's all it is. I don't want to ruin that relationship you got going on. It is true. I mean, I ain't spitting your information for any sneaky things. I'm just spitting your information because I think that, you know, we's all friends here. But yeah. I think yeah. that uh, maybe we talk to Bill first and see. Because if Bill ain't in it, then it's probably just someone using their name. Because, you know, the day before that, Midnight Dunn got robbed by someone. Did you mm. hear about that? No, I did not, actually. Who got robbed? Midna got robbed, and she said that she got robbed by people that had very similar outfits to the man killers, but they was going by the names the Bayou Boys. Or the Bayou Jesus Bandits Christ. or something. And that yeah, ain't red neither. There's been a lot of bandits out there robbing people. Like I said, I've, had, I've ever encountered five groups trying to rob people already. I've been told about their stories, so being alone right now is a bad time. Yeah, but they was wearing like very similar outfits to it, too. So I think people might be just using each other's names or something. I ain't really too sure it's what's smart. going on. It's smart, right? Like, if I'm going to go out there and rob, I'm going to blame somebody else and have them deal with the bullshit in the aftermath. I don't have to deal with it, right? Yeah. I can just sip on my tea. Yep, just sip on your tea. That's true. So I ain't really sure. Maybe they're just using different names each day, but I don't really know who it is, to be honest. Yeah, and you got these uh, fellows up in tall trees, number one, number two, number three, number four, right? Yeah. Also robbing people. You got um, the Gavin Summer folks were robbing folks as well. Yeah. You got these bio boys, the man killers. You got other folks out there as well with like uh, the Red Dawn, the Crimson Tide. It's just there's so many folks out there being robbed, especially at mines. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm not really too sure, but I just felt like I would clear that up because I'm not trying to have the whole misinformation stuff spread like what happened with Peaches. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad you cleared it up. Like I said, I'm not going to act on it till you know, I get news from Bill. You know, if, if Bill wants to talk about it loud, then in the so be it. I'll confront him about it. But I'm going to just act stupid, pretend like I never got anything, and just, you know, uh, just let things happen for the time being. Unless, you know, like I said, they do something again and again and again. Yeah. Yeah, I think that it, it might be a different group doing stuff. Oh, what, what the, the hell? hell? What was going on? That guy shooting at that guy with the horse? Mister, you all right? Mister? What, what the hell? Hello? Uh, he asked me if I wanted to shoot his horse, and I flipped for it and said yes. What the hell? What do you mean you flip for it? What does that mean? I, I, flipped, I flipped a coin. What you it. mean, Jack? Why are you, you fucking shooting? That, I, that ain't that me. That was that, that guy. It was based on luck. What guy? Well, not the man, though. What's your mean? Which guy? Oh, There's two guys. Yeah, Sam's yeah. talking to him. Apparently, the guy told him that if he flips a coin... What's your name, fellas? Uh, Roland. Roland, okay, all right, Roland. Why would I be shooting someone? Can I see your yeah. coin? I don't know, Goldie. I don't know what you uh, get up to. No. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you can ask me questions, and I'll flip it, but I mean, you, <laughs> I you, have you your can't coin. see it. No, uh, well, actually, yeah. it's funny well, I mean, that you asked, because you said, you said in my book... Anything, right? He's got rules. I have rules. And flip your life around by Roland Nelson. And the rules it includes don't flip for money. Don't flip for repeat questions. Don't have to flip the coin when gambling. And you don't flip for things that put the coin's life in danger. And uh, that would definitely put the coin's life I in feel danger. like I read a story about someone like you before. Yeah, someone randomly came up to me and handed me a pair of dice. And I don't know why, but that's cool. So. Oh, How'd you find those dice? I've been looking for dice, actually. I, I don't know. You can get know. them in Sicily. San Denis. Oh. San Denis, all right. You can get them in San Denis in the uh, in the market area. There's a there's a yeah, Mr. Butcher shop. Yeah. Are you ready to go, Mr. Skoda? Yeah, Sam. If you need anything, let me know. Jack, yeah, thanks we'll do, for the we'll bath. Do. I'm gonna get you to suck my toes one day. I know it. 
Anyway, yeah, don't do what? that. Sam, I will uh, see me? you see you next yeah, time. I'll be in Valentine. Good luck. Right, what, Columbus? Mr. Roland, you take care. Um, Sam, this I is... Mean, do you know the bathhouse? I will Roland, take care of yeah, you, I know Wasteria pretty well. Is good. That's Columbus. This is Jack. Oh, is he sucks toes. You're the well, I met Jack before. Yeah, because of Barry and his uh, shenanigans with the horses. I remember Barry. I'm going to get him to suck my toes one day, Sam. Jack, you suck toes? I am no. not racing the last one. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. Why is he lying? That's all right. You know, that's Ain't nothing wrong with uh, sucking toes. Yeah, you know? Jack. Can, can, you you, yeah. so. can you just come closer? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> no, not that close, Goldie. I'm close enough. Why? No, Goldie? Yeah. Uh, not that close. John, where's your all horse? Right. Uh, you're not shooting my horse. Just right. Come here. Rolling. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. No, a little bit closer. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit closer. Yeah. No, but not to, I'm All right, Flash yeah. ain't talking to you. I am. All right, horse yeah. Is a, a horse a, is a beast. That's I knew what you're going to do, you dummy. Have you changed your mind about killing your horse? Yeah, have you changed your mind? All right, telegrams in Tanzania, right? Yep. Hi, Tenshi. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the VOD. Seems like a lot of you guys were VOD watchers yesterday and you guys really liked it, so I'm glad. I'm really glad. What's up, Grenig? <clears throat> oh, it's so good, right? I've been loving that slow burn shit. I wish I... Yo, Tenshi, thank you so much for that five bomb, dude. I feel like thing. some of the music during the scenes too was really good and made it so much better, but VOD watchers can't hear it because my audio is split from Spotify. So you guys missed that. So just play like, right, you so know, know, good music. Happened, but apparently some shit went down in San Dominion. Ms. Vivian's either at the Bastion or the medical office. Right? Excuse me? Ms. Vivian? She said she's going to either be at the Bastion or the medical office. So what she went down? She's hurt. Well, she said she didn't tell me. It was telegrams, you know? So just choose emotional music of your choosing and listen to that. And then it'll probably make it even better. But yeah, my, my Spotify split. So if you're watching live, you'll, you might hear oh, music if I'm playing it. But then uh, your gossip, so no. if you watch it on body, you won't. Just so I can play whatever the fuck and not have to worry about my DMC, you know? Ooh. I'm still waking up, chat. I'm like trying to chug. I, I got a quad espresso today. It's one of those days. All right, so, so you ain't know what happened in the San Denis. You're just saying that something happened, and then she's at the medical office or the Bastille. That's right. That is what she said. Yeah, you know when I roll out of bed and I done jump right into things. Mhm. Mm I'm kind of dealing with that right now. So all if right. I seem kind of aloof, that's what's going on. That's all right. How things the Sam? Uh. Yeah, it's good. I had to talk with him yesterday, telling him how I was uh, feeling about uh, not being part of the Sam's Club no more. Oh, you remember the down. incident in the San Denis with the man killers? You remember that? Which one? The ones when I was in jail, remember? Mm, that was then? That was the same people? No, so apparently, you know how we was doing, they was doing all that, and they was yelling the man killers, and we was talking about it afterwards, and you said it was funny. Yeah. Well, apparently people are posing as them now. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew, uh, some people, I think there were, I think Mr. Pearly actually got a hold of one of them. Who was it? Who's posing as them? Uh, there's two fellas, actually. One is, uh, they wear like black with black bandanas, and bl all black everything pretty much. Like yeah. Like some sort of, I, I don't, I don't know what to say there. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not going to continue that sentence. I know exactly what they's wearing, but. Uh, one of them's got red hair, no facial hair. Another one's got brown hair with, uh, like chops, but, uh, no beard. Wait, so these two random people come around and they start calling themselves the man killers too? 
I mean, uh, that's uh, I guess. I who the hell has red hair? Uh, this fella apparently. He's got a ponytail, red hair, ponytail, no facial hair. And one has chops. Yeah, hey, you know Pearly, right? You're familiar. Yeah. I'm sure you can ask him who they are, and he'll tell you. But I ain't know him. I don't think you know him. What? You know, that almost got like Ren and Bill and them in trouble because people was asking. And yesterday I was talking to Sam about it. I was like, please don't do nothing to them. Or I'd prefer to just stay out of it. Maybe just tell them you ain't know because they're my friends and they look out for me. And then I talked to Ren about it. And he's like, no, nah, I ain't do that. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So then oh, there's Ren. people that are like posing as them. I think that's the case, honestly. Yeah. Well, that makes things real confusing. So I had so, to clear uh, that up with Sam before he did something about it. So Mr. Ren and Mr. Bill, were they the ones at the theater? With, with, uh, fucking Slimey? Nah, they ain't at the theater with Slimey. Who, who, who was, do we know who that was yet? Mm, nah, I ain't seen Slimey since then, but they would never do nothing to Miss Vivian. All right. We're, yeah. We're, we're thinking it might be the same folks, but the, if these folks that we uh, are assuming are the man killers that we get caught up with, uh, well, they definitely knew around town. Yeah, so Slimy, he had the bounty for Ren, right? So they wouldn't be doing the stuff together like that. And then Ren already told me he didn't do nothing to Miss Vivian, because why would he? And then, uh,. The one person that I know hangs out with Mr. Slimy, I usually call him Mr. Leprechaun because he wears all green like a leprechaun. We went the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. I fucking hate this one, honestly. It continues your story, though. We'll be. We'll no, nah, that's all. Like, it's just the only person I know that hangs out with Mr. Slimy is that the leprechaun guy. Hmm. Is that the fellow that's uh, always down in Blackwater? I ain't know where he is, but when I see him, he's always wearing all green. But that would make sense, maybe, that people's is framing them, and it's that slimy guy since it has that enemies. How is Slimy still alive? That's that's my question. Probably because you ain't Jesus. see him very much. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Can't make the wrong damn turn. I hate this fucking swamp so much. Yeah, these people's pretending to beat them. Apparently, they robbed a PD. Well, they also shot Mr. Kenway. What? Yeah, they did. Okay, that was actually run though, but we're not gonna tell him that. Uh, him and one of their one of his friends while they were mining. Yeah, while we can't tell mining. him that. We Who can't. Who shoot someone while they're fucking mining? Well, the story that Mr. Kenway told me is that Midna had guns pointed at her and was wrapped up and then broke out of the wrap and then attacked him while they was pointing the guns so they yeah, shot but her but they also shot mr kenway right after that i mean but they shot mr kenway because midna didn't attack him yeah, but why did they shoot it, uh, it, 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 he's it roped up why are you shooting the roped up man it's uh, because it's because this someone done started attacking him so they didn't know if he was gonna attack him too probably or if he was damn roped up still come on now I don't know. I think that, to be honest, stays in the right in that one. When Mr. Kenway told me that, I was like, yeah, I probably would have shot him too, to be honest, if someone did that to me. Fair enough. I mean, it seemed like Mr. Kenway even knew that it was her fault. It was her fault that yeah. she got shot, but he shouldn't have been shot there. Well, when he told the story, he was like, yeah, it was all midness fault. She ain't really, I didn't, didn't really agree with what she did there. And I said, yeah, that's right. No. You're not wanted for any crimes right now, are you? No, I was talking to Mick Booger yesterday. And he was looking at the list and he said, I ain't wanted for nothing. What? But Santa needs kind of risky for me right now. There's lots of stuff going on down here. So if they well, see me you... and they know anything, then I might, you know, be in trouble. Do you want me to, who, who are you not supposed to be seen with right now? Or who are you not supposed to see? Well, the cuts. Well, I think that's who we're going to go meet. I'm going to take you to the theater real quick. What do you, what? What do you mean we're going to go meet the cuts right now? I'm not meeting the cuts. Miss Vivian's meeting the cuts. Miss Vivian knows everyone. You realize that, right? Yeah, but what, what's she talking to the cuts about? Well, she's, I don't know. She's probably trying to figure out what the hell's going on and try to get information from, from all angles, you know? Yeah, but why is she... She's not... We're not in cahoots with the cuts. <laughs> don't, 
I don't, I don't even know their name. I, I know one of their names. Yeah, if it. they see me and they knows I'm, I'm uh, if they see me riding around with, uh, you know, and they see well, me you with have, you, they have, might. You, you have anything you change into in the theater real quick? Mm, maybe. All right, go do that, and I'm going to go see if I can find Miss Vivian. This is real bad, Victor. You brought me into this shit. Any of this, you know that, right? Yeah, I mean, I thought she was, was meeting Miss Vivian real fast and then we was, you know, going. Well, yeah, that was kind of the plan, but I'm not sure who she's with right now. But you know that I'm getting involved in the shit, and you know it's with the cuts, but you. I did it. I did it. Put your, put your wolf hat on. Wonderful. You want to stay in the theater while I go find her real quick? Yeah. All right, go go stay in the theater. I'll come. I'll check it out first before you go in there. This is getting more and more sussy. All right, come on in. in between some feet or something. <laughs> Be right back. You can change the interior? I wish Pip was here. spinning Shakespeare this is so sussy I feel like Victor would have known I'm so good do you guys think this is sussy I still don't think that they're they're intending to do anything bad maybe he didn't know even though we told him Or maybe didn't realize that potentially how involved Goldie actually is now. But like the cut's not dumb. Like we know the cut literally has eyes everywhere. Like if they were able to find the camp. If they were able to like know all this shit. We know that the cut is smart. So they, they definitely know that we've been riding with, with Jack and them. I don't think that there's any way that we can feign neutrality at this point. Right? Maybe one more interaction we could probably feign neutrality. If Victor and Viv are actually, like, plotting against, which I don't think that they are, it will be the... <laughs> it will be a top 10 anime betrayal. Like, I, I feel like, uh... I feel like, also, though, people on, like, the outside... not Maybe the outside is... A, like, people like Sam and stuff that haven't really seen all of this shit... I don't think they understand, like, how serious it is for, like, the, the Kettleman's and, like, the cut and stuff like that. Like, it's very much very serious, you know? We do need spies. We need Bill, but I know where Bill is. I mean, I don't know where Bill is. <laughs> True rooftop. You know, really, yesterday's shit kind of plays up the fact that people might be reading telegrams somehow. You know what I mean? 
either like via a telegram operator or like a cop that's looking into it that's slipping information. Bill's a terrible spy. <laughs> yeah. He's funny though. I think he'd actually help, but he's just gonna do it in the Bill way and it's gonna be funny. I will never trust anyone ever again. Who's this? I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Fucking god damn it, Mike. I want him to play Red Dead more, but I get it. I get people that don't want to play Red Dead if it if it takes like a viewership or a sub hit, you know? What's up, Tago? How you doing? Yeah, we're all on this paranoia arc. Dude, Grenig, I think that like if we find out that they betrayed us, Goldie will never be able to trust anyone ever again. We had some fun RP with Moxie last night, too. Trav's fucking hilarious. He saw, he saw us lying here. He was like, yeah, now nah, I'm gone. Is he going to say, hey, there's a dog in the back room? Oh, fuck. I just touched my eyebrows. What's up, Dina? Ren and Bill's voice? Yeah, they're so good. I think Kyle's uh, Ren voice is so good. It's like actually very uh, nice to listen to. Moxie. Yeah, someone told me, uh, but the thing is, is, I've been waking up too late. I feel like I'm going to miss snow. Yo, Grenick, I feel like Goldie is going to get shit just for talking about things that aren't even related to the Kettleman outside the gang. Because, like, when it comes to the Kettleman shit, I'm, like, RPing Goldie to be very, like, within the group, right? But, like, with, with like, Sam and them and, like, Ren and stuff, it's much looser. Like, it's, it's lighter role play, right? So it's, it's like not as, uh, it's, it's not, how do I explain this? It doesn't really matter. Like you can like talk about shit and like let them spin their stories and stuff like that. Like yeah, there's no reason to be like super, like, I'm not going to tell anyone anything. Like there's no reason for her to do that. Right. Uh, so it's like all talking within friends. I feel like between Bill or like Sam or something like that, it's going to come back and it's going to like have like serious RP consequences. It'll be really interesting to see. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see the consequences of everything that unravels. Did I drink the morphine? Uh, no, but what I did do is I filled out a water station and you know how it's an RP item? Uh, they just got a canteen and they filled it with water and they're RPing that it's morphine, right? So when I filled, when I went to go fill my own flask out of thing, it filled it back up. So I had to like drink it just to get it back down. So I hope that breaks your immersion now that I told you what happened with it. Uh, yesterday, but Phil, uh, kind of like pops in and out quite a bit. Flame, thank you so much for the 28. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that Sam, uh, is also, uh, being a little bit more tight about the things he's saying too. Which is interesting that it's spiraling that way. I kind of want like the the serious, the serious shit to start hitting that group though. I think it would be like really interesting to see what happens. Leak all their names. I don't know. I I don't think Roscoe. I don't think Ro between Roscoe and Sam, it would get out. I feel like both of them are very much like we will tell who we need to tell. And they're very respectful of the people that Goldie considers her quote unquote best friends, which is like the warm friends, right? Like the people we gave warm to, worms to, which is why um, even with everything going on, 
we told Sam about like the man killers because it's like these are like Goldie's friends. Uh, so I'd prefer you didn't tell the PD about them, but I'm just letting you know that it's these people. So if you want to reimburse them, you can, but like probably just stay out of it from that end, you know, rather than him going and then not knowing the characters and then them getting in there. I feel like Goldie would rather like communicate that to prevent them from getting hurt. Although whichever way it goes, it's good RP. It doesn't fucking matter. Right. But like from a character POV, she would rather communicate it so that it would protect the friends that she's like looking out for. And now... Now they get all talked together to sort it out. And then there's like, uh, they have a reason to like talk and their characters to know each other and they can RP that however they want. And then we found, well, then we had a reason to go talk to Ren about it. And then Ren tells us, now we know that there's people posing as the man killers, but we don't know them. Which, you know, we never have found out. Where the fuck is Victor? Is he just like gonna leave me back here? Do I telegram the group when I wake up? Uh, some of them. I responded to Alice because she said something about, uh, she said something about Kaniklo being in really bad shape after last night. So I sent her a telegram back. I telegrammed Pip. I didn't telegram Jack yet. Which I should probably do. You know someone saw me back here, right? That's all right. Who was Does that? He know? Uh, he's like a doctor or something, like some sort of psychologist or some shit. Why is he here? He's gone already. I don't know. Where did he leave? Yeah. All right. Where's Miss we'll Vivian? Out, we'll go out the front door and take Banjo, all right? Stewberry, thank you so much for bringing it to your one. Yeah, this paranoia arc is crazy. You're currently in another meeting now. Is it with who we thought it was? Huh? Is it with the people we thought it was? No, it's not. Your promise? I 100% promise I would not lie to you. What's she doing? Okay. She is meeting with Mr. Mr. McBooger, I believe you call him. Deputy McBooger. That is correct. Uh, yeah. I think he has a thing for her, and I think she is using that to get information from him, but I'm not sure. McBooger has a thing for Miss Vivian. I think a lot of people have a thing for Miss Vivian. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, what if McBooger is trying to use that to his advantage? Miss Vivian is very, very, very smart. I'm sure you you know this by now. Yeah, but he might think that he's getting away with it. I'm sure she is letting him think that. Yeah, we found out nice what though. happened to Jack. Yeah, he's like one of the only people in the crossing who has tea right now. Tea? Yeah, like, like tea, you know. What about Priya? Well, have you seen Miss Priya recently? Nah, I ain't. I saw Bush, though. I saw Bush earlier. We rode the train together with, uh, with Miss Foley. Um, yeah, we found out what happened to Jack, and then we took him up to the mountain. And... Well, you wanted to live in Shady Bell. I still live in Shady Bell. When was the last time you've been there? Well, the other day, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised. But I try to stay camping ever since I decided hey, I to ride with the Kettleman's. Because the Solomon, I think, knows where I live. So if they come and grab us, then it ain't very good. I don't know, Jack. If you like want to see everything that happened, the, you should go back I and watch the VOD. It's really good. And that's when I was worried about where you were, and he told me you died. Huh? Who mm -hmm. said I died? Mr. Jack. I Mr. Was, uh, Jack? I rushed from Rhodes all the way to the Blackwater looking for you. Wait, hold on. Bursted rewind. I'm getting there. I'm bursted into the uh, Telegram office. I saw Marquis, and... Uh, 
Mr. Jack was with him at the time. This was about a week and a half, two weeks ago, maybe. And, uh... Well, I want to I want to talk about my office. I was... I said, Jack, do you know, you know where Golden's at? And he, he stopped, looked me dead in the eye, and said, yeah, she's dead. And then he just left. So you thought I'd die? Wanna check out your parlor house? Yeah. So you thought I died? I did. What the hell? When was this? A week ago? That's me. Oh, sorry. Right. Sorry. Oh, oh look at this. We've got a dancing clown in the road. Mayor Johnson, has you seen the Herbie? Well, oh, but this is a, this is actually a dancing clown. Oh, you never get enough clowns. Mayor Johnson. Yes. Do you see the Herbie or not? I've not seen Herbie, no. But I've made this dancing clown. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we should hire him down here for the saloon. That's what I'm thinking. You're gonna play blackjack, Golda? No, I'm gonna go to the telegram office real fast. I'll join you. I should do that as well. Yo, Crazy Asian, thank you very much for that prime. Hell yeah. On our way back to the 1K. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got you this. Holy shit, dude. Every single time the thunder, the lightning goes off, it's, uh, sick. You see that? Has you seen Pip? Uh, I don't think I'm familiar with this Pip. Has you seen Alice? Uh, I have not, not today. Has you seen anyone? Oh, uh, has you seen the motherfucker? No, I haven't. Has you seen the Mills? Uh, no, I have not. Mm. The fellow with the black hair, what's his name? Long black hair. Pip? Is that him? Oh, no, you're thinking about James. Has you seen James? I think I saw him. I kind of want to ride up to Ansberg, maybe. Oh, Pip! Heading to the house where we love Jack. Want to meet there, yeah. Oh, good, yeah. Ah, oh, shit, well. You're on the way here from Miss Vivian? She's all set to be here now. Howdy, Mayor. How you doing? Oh, I'm good, blood easy. Although, listen, I... I have to ask you. Do you... Uh, do you two go to Valentine at all? I've been there once or twice. Do you know a lot they call Tito? Cheeto, I, I've heard of Mr. Cheeto, but uh, Tito the Conqueror or some shit like that? I think it's Tito, Tito C, C Dominator, I think he's the Greek Dominator, or something. that's it. I, I, th I think it's... TR637. Who do you say? C, C, C Dominator. The, I think it's a the, Greek name. The, the Dominator is what I've heard. Are you sure? I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've heard it, yeah. Great. Well... I think he's good. I think he's up to something. I think he's trying to. Victor, I got to go somewhere real fast. Alright, where are you where are you gonna go? You gonna tell me? Uh send me telegram later, right? Uh, I will. Oh shit. I don't know.
Sensation, thank you very much for the brand new Prime as well. Welcome in, you guys. I appreciate those. Got a message from uh, Miss Vivian as well. What'd she say? Uh, said your, two of your friends got shot up. Who? So. Who? Uh, Mills and uh, I didn't read the other one because I was trying to catch him before you ran out. I can tell you real quick. Gonna meet you back over there. Mills got shot. You want me? Let me go read it real quick to you. Oh shit. Just real quick. Come on. It was Mills and Alice. Alice? She just doesn't send me a telegram. I got to go. All right, you take Thanks, you, Victor. Uh, mm. You need anything at all? I'll send you a telegram if I do. All right. So I guess Alice is fine, but she didn't say anything about getting shot, obviously, in the telegram. I think a lot of people, um, I think Jack was saying like they get into disguises too, right? Like a lot of times when they're like, oh yeah, I know that they're around right now because I'll walk up to someone and they won't say anything and they'll walk away. I like people are all disguised and stuff and I've, I've never seen them and all this shit, right? But like no one in the Kettleman's ever like goes around disguised. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. And I also don't know like maybe a lot of the people too. Like, besides Solomon and... I always get Dahlia and Lucille confused. I think they look the same. Yeah, that was for a job, though. But, like, during the war, like, people don't really... We don't really get into disguises or anything. Oh, God. Now I have to find my way to Ansberg, you know, or up there in a way that I don't go through the wilderness because I'm not trying to get my ass eaten by wildlife. So I would like never know. I could easily be having a full on conversation with a cut with a fake name. I have no fucking idea. But I guess Alice is fine because she sent us a telegram, right? What was this spot? Hold up everyone, she doesn't know. It's getting there, dude. You can feel like the paranoia too. 
Like the shit that, you know, she'd normally say to people that she considers friends, she's like, I can't tell you, you just gotta go. I can't tell you, I just gotta go. Oh shit, I just gotta go. Can we trust this person? I've known them this entire time, but I don't know if I can trust them anymore. Fuck, what if they're fucking us over? Wait, I think it's the other way. Oh yeah, 100% of our peers. I don't want anyone to think that I'm complaining about it. I just think it's like a different strat, you know? Cause like, you know, it, anyone can change up their strat at any time, but like everyone's just cool with going with the RP, which is really, really dope. Like, I don't really think I've seen anyone salt besides like a viewer here or there. <laughs> Is it? Yo, I bet. As a viewer, it must be so intense. I love it, dude. I love seeing everything unravel. I think like... I think another disadvantage also is uh... I think a lot of times uh, the group is kind of separated too. And like, you know, the other groups, they usually very much uh, grouped up always. I really gotta learn my way around. I'm on the same page as Sab. I'm so tired of not knowing where the fuck I'm going. It makes me wonder at the uh, at Valentine when the person was listening to Peaches and I say a lot of nothing back to each other. Who was the person outside listening? Was that a cut spy? You know. Hold V and relax. Uh, okay, you really want to know why I don't hold V and relax? Every fucking time I hold V and relax, I uh, auto run into wildlife, get bucked off my horse, and die. It's happened um, three out of three times that I've auto run through the middle of nowhere. And one time, almost, actually, uh, the other day, but I got, found a rock and I killed the wolves. But yeah, that's basically what happens. Oh, it's Phil? Is that what it is? That's tough. I miss Marquis. I hope he's up there. The motherfucker. He says it sounds like, what did he call it? A fucking peppermint? Does it sound like a peppermint? Motherfucker, it sounds like a... It really sounds like a... A noisy squirt bottle. Oh, pepper mill? Yeah, it sounds like Windex. It kind of does sound like a pepper grinder. Oh, I thought he was like a peppermint, like chewing a peppermint. <laughs> Bitch, how the fuck am I supposed to know? To me, it sounded like he said peppermint. Sometimes I do laugh like that, actually. Once in a while, I'll laugh like that. He's... But not because of the motherfucker. What's up, V James? How you doing? Man, I feel like Cow is getting slow as hell, and I'm not really too sure why. Is he hungry?
It's okay. Sometimes people say I laugh like a uh, Patrick Star, dude. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel a little bit um. It doesn't bother me. I think it's kind of cute and endearing. But also, what the hell, man? <laughs> Why the hell do I have to laugh like Patrick Star? <laughs> Let's not go there. All right, we'll take this all the way. Shut up, Mav. All right, we'll exit up here. Yeah, I know. I know. I shouldn't have said it. Because once the person said it in chat, too, everyone was like, Oh my god, I can't hear it. You really do sound like Patrick Star. I'm like, yeah, okay, thanks, guys. I get it. Mecca Star? That sounds like a fucking porn star name. Pip! Howdy. Let me hit. Let me flee. How you do, Goldie? How's you doing, Pip? I'm all right. Not too bad. Not too bad. How's I'm not dressed doing? as danger. Puss, puss. I feel left out. I didn't know. Yeah, I know. Don't cry. I if want I, you to cry, be a major puss, puss. Oh my god. What's she doing, huh, Jack? I don't know. He's sl still resting, right? Did you hear about Alice and Pip? I mean, Alice and uh, Mills. No. They done got shot, apparently. Oh, uh, when? I don't know. I rushed up here because I thought you was up here with them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, someone sent a telegram to one of my friends, and they said that uh, I was reading the telegrams when... Uh, I read yours, and you said me here, so I came up here thinking that it was a thing. But I got the telegram from Alice, too, and she said nothing mm -hmm. about it. She just said that Kaniklo was fine, but he was in real bad shape or something. And right, yeah, yeah, I got that. But apparently he's here. Kaniklo is here, resting. Yeah, so... uh, And then you said, come here, so I thought you was going to... I thought they was going to be here, too. But I sent a telegram to Alice, and I said, meet at the house. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure they'll be here soon. There might have been a little bit of confusion. I was originally waiting at, uh, you know, that bottle tree up near uh, between Rhodes and Valentine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was there for a, a while, so I decided to leave, and I sent them a telegram saying I'm, I was moving to here, but I don't know if they got it. And then I... Check my telegrams recently, oh, and he says on the way, but I don't know which which way he's going. I mean, hopefully, then they go there and they realize that they mean this place. Did you realize that that door closed by itself? That's some fucking creepy shit. Pip. Speak of fucking devils. It's haunted. <laughs> Everywhere is haunted. Everywhere. The motherfucker! Hey, What's good there, baby? <laughs> I was looking for you. I was looking for you too. I haven't seen you in a minute. I was thinking about sending you a telegram. I sent you a telegram already. Mills, is you all right? Alice, is you all right? Just the uh, yeah. Just got told you've been short. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm feeling amazing though, Pip. I got some morphine in me. Yeah, he needs morphine. Speaking of which, day, Pip, looking clean, motherfucker. Shit. Hey, thanks, man. How yeah, you doing? I, I fucks with the fit. I'm doing alright. See, I missed y'all. Yeah, it's good to see you all. Yeah. So who the fuck shot you? Them cuts. Them mm. worms with British accents. Woo boo. For king and country. <laughs> God damn, that was crazy. Whoa, 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 Pip? Pip, say that again, Pip. Do it oh, again, Pip. Of the <laughs> For king uh, and country. Oh, Lord Jesus. 
<laughs> now there's there's definitely some 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 British fucked in between his ancestry or some shit like that. He got them British genes right there. Lord Jesus. Well, I did live in Britain for very small time before I got kidnapped and put on a boat. God damn. <laughs> But as soon as you said that, suddenly uh, a whiff of uh, eggs and baked beans and bacon just hit my nose and shit. God, I got the three-piece special, the English special right there. God dang. Oi, mate. Oi, mate. Oi, mate. All right. All right. You fucking, oh, okay. you fucking oh. want in it? Yeah, cunt. You damn cunt. Oh. You damn cunt. <laughs> yeah. I think it needs a little bit of work, but that's the spirit. <laughs> What's wrong with it, with Mills? Water bottle. Water bottle? <laughs> no, it's gotta be woo boo. Woo boo. Woo -boo. Like that. You guys should listen to Jack trying to do it. It's real bad. Yeah, how he does it. This is real bad. You guys got. I can't. Do, I can't. Do, do, do him doing an accent. I ain't been able to do it. It's so bad. It's too bad. It's too. It's a load of bollocks. I, I actually, actually, that plan he was talking about, you need, you need to roll up speaking English accent. I'm just saying. That's right. Yeah, that would be clean. That would be something else right there. Maybe oh, I will. Oh, hello there, good sir. I approach thy gate. I walk, I walk like this. I learned uh, my can, English uh, accent from GTA someone? robberies, I'll by the way. I'll attention. Y'all oh rolling God. from behind. Hit it from the by the way. Got the fuck down. The It'll be clean. Yeah. I suppose we could go there with a message from the Queen. Who? From the Queen? You're too yeah. good at this, Pip. How do, how do I get dirt <laughs> on there? Well, fuck it. So, suddenly, I feel like, like... I, I, I feel like like, I, I, like I'm, I'm, I'm I'm nationally patriotic towards the British now. All of a sudden, suddenly speaking British, British, British. I speak Long Dong very best. <laughs> that ain't sound like what the hell? What? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't speak inside. I don't speak English very Jack best. I speak Long Dong very inside. best. You're resting inside, yeah. Uh, all right. We should, we need Did you to... say can he close here as well as? He is, yeah. I need to yeah. tell you guys what happened. Are they in there? The motherfucker. Yeah. Was you clapping for eight this hours again? This Pip claimed. Oh, no. More than eight hours. Oh God. my, is that where you has been? Oh, it's, it's been a minute. It's been two days or so, something. I hate you. Yeah, I know you do. So wait, they 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 were some there. Yeah, they're both here. Uh, well, Jack, yesterday was apparently thrown off a cliff into the river by the, the cuts. No, oh, my lord. Um, he's here. He's. Let, 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 hold on. Let me guess. They got him alone, six D. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was though, right? four or five, right? We got all the names. Harry, Henry, uh, Solomon, um, Lucille, and one other. I forgot. You can or two others? What happened with you yesterday? Uh, what did it do to you? No, not, not much. Uh, not them anyway, not the cut. Uh, Jack asked me to do something. Uh, don't want to go into it because of something he said to me, but either way, I ended up going out west alone um, to looking for Kaniklo. And I didn't find him. I was scouting around Armadillo for a good hour or two. Uh, and that co fella, he must mm. have spotted me at some point or something. He started running around some of the spots that I'd recently been to. And then he ran around the corner where I was hiding, and he shat himself and shot me. Man, fuck that. But he, he just he just uh, grazed me, to be honest, and then they ended up disarming me, and they wanted a conversation. Oh, there uh, was more than one. They oh they yeah. At the t when Cole first ran up, it was just him. But I was only there for information, not blood. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, so I didn't. I I tried to uh, say like I pulled my gun. He pulled nice his, buddy. and I just went. We don't need to fight, man. We don't need to fight. But he he he, he hey, shot anyway. Shit out of him. Yeah. Oh my lord, Jesus. Anyway, yeah, they did, they sat me down, disarmed me, and uh, gave me some rice wine, and they were and... you know talking the usual about Jack and trying to understand and trying to come to some kind of you know like arrangement through me and i was explaining to them how um how we ain't no cult that just follow follow jack around mm -hmm. we what the hell follow each What's other around if if one of us has a problem we all help and it's up to that person when the feud is dealt with it's fame. Like, for example, like, you know, for, I didn't say this to them, but I was just thinking, like, if it was me, I'm, I don't usually hold grudges for too long, eh? Yeah. So, usually, if it's a problem with me, maybe we get over it quite quick. But other, uh, others in the group maybe not think like that. And who am I to tell them that they're wrong? I'm just there to support my brothers and sisters. He was doing anyway yeah they were just chatting on and on and uh the usual stuff trying to explain how jack is an evil man oh uh, yeah the to, usual uh, the usual thing that they usually say Motherfucker, mm -hmm. they try to hit me with that shit. i'm like motherfucking y'all don't understand y'all don't understand I'm, I'm like i'm like what i'm doing i'm riding for family motherfucker. and then and then and then peter gray starts 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 like oh for family i'm like motherfucker, that's good talking right there all right because you're riding for your family too so don't even stop with that shit. we grown ass man shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's that's how Logan yeah. called me, cause cause I gave him a chance to speak, and I lowered my guard when I could have gunned his ass down as soon as I figured out who he was under the disguise, and that's when he pulled out his gun and gunned me down the stage. It was two days ago. Isn't it so convenient two how Jack ago. is an evil man for all of those gangs at the same time? Yeah, it is. Fucking is. Fucking, they, 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 they just, they just. I don't know, man. The bills they were really trying to go for, you know, drop. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Motherfucker. Them, them meds, yeah. You got shot two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. Again. Yeah, I, I knew Logan. I was, I, I cut his head. You know what I mean? like we, we was, we was somewhat like best friends, and I was gonna cut his head. I cut his head on the day of his wedding, and I was gonna officiate his wedding that day too, but I just couldn't make it. It was it was all that. Wasn't that long? When than I two saw him, ago? I gave him a chance. I lowered my guard because because he didn't approach in any aggressive manner in the Emerald Ranch, and he was in disguise and shit. And as soon as he revealed who he was, we we talked just for like man, I want to say, um, yeah, less thirty seconds, and I had my guard lowered because I didn't think he'd do it. You know what I'm saying? Because because usually before this war, you think people were different. Yeah. But war truly shows you what people live. And I lowered my guard, and I paid the price for it. He gunned me down. Now I know, through the consequences of those actions, of letting, of not pulling out the gun as soon as he revealed who he was and gunned his head down, that in this war, it changes people, and it changed me. I ain't never going to look at the people that I've seen before this war the same way ever again. I used to be a motherfucker that used to have laughs. You know what I'm saying? Joking around with everybody that once knew. That's what people knew me as. I made a lot of friends. And the issue is, is that those friends, they don't last forever. Everybody gunning for their own family. So now I know, next time I see these motherfuckers, it's going to be on sight. Uh, Logan was the on only site. one I thought I could have a, 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 a civil conversation with without having to gun his ass down. And I was wrong. That was wrong. It is what it is. I lived another day. And that means that I could walk again. And I have the chance to gain redemption from the actions that I've taken that, that, that have cost me, almost cost me my life. Even. Add him to the one page. I mean, he was already on the warm pick, but shit. Now I'm gonna smoke that warm. Smoking them warm packs. These <laughs> <laughs> Dude.
Tears of Fury, thank you so much for the Prime. Yeah, lots of Primers today. Welcome in, guys. Thanks for those Primes. Appreciate Have you been you. fan gold? <sighs> it doesn't sound good. No, I just feel like there's been a lot going on in the stuff that happened with Jack yesterday. I'm so I'm a little feeling like... Mm. Been done? Yeah. Yeah, it gets like that. But you in it deep now. I had to I talk with Sam last night. Yeah, how'd that go? I just told him straight up, basically. So that's all situated and such. All right. I just want to let you know that just prior from what two days ago, as anything to show, anybody, anybody that you once knew before this war, that you had any kind of formal relationship, even if y'all were best friends, shit, that's all out the window as soon as the war starts. So just know that if you see any of your old friends, you're going to have to gun them down before they gun you down. It's, it's your life or theirs. Or else it's going to be like using Logan. Yeah, 100%. All right. And the mistake will not be happening twice. All right, Pip, you left off saying uh, something about Top Pan Holy after man. I said, oh. Fuck it. And they, they, they really want Jack to drop this Holy Frost shit. Hold on. That's them. That, that seems to be their main thing. So hold on, I'm, I'm confused about what they're going to war with, or for. One second is to get rid of Jack Ketterman. The next is because he stayed coke. And now yeah. what? Now it's because... The way he explained it to me is that they, were, they went to war because uh, they got word that Jack was trying to uh, eliminate all of the business in Saint Denis. That's that's the like the reason he gave me. And then he went on into Holy Frost and that. Uh, what's what's Peter's great stake in all this then? Why he joined that thing? Hmm. To be honest, uh, I think we Peter. Peter, it runs quite deep, you know. He's, so, got, he's so, got a lot of pass with Jack. And you, Mills. You're speaking of you quite a bit. Peter I used to call is, you a brother and... Yeah, I know. You chose Jack over him or something like that. I've heard it all. That fella... I did view Peter as a brother. And it's funny how there was no issue for a very long time between all of us. But as soon as there was the chance, he steps back into the Beans, mix, I, swear to God. I think, personally. He's upset. He never joined us way back then or I, I don't know there, there's definitely something there pip mm -hmm. he does have hate for jack but like jack said i think peter thinks of jack more than jack thinks of jack <laughs> it's, tough, it's a tough lie he did mention something about becoming or trying to become something like what Jack is to show Jack the error in his ways or something like that. It's been all huh? line. Basically, you know, he thinks of himself as, you know, just as evil as Jack in his eyes. Peter Kettleman. No, that doesn't even... That doesn't even make... Peter Kettleman. Oh, hell no, that sounds nasty. I see, you see some, some like Jack Gray. I should tell you know them about saying? the Dechenzo's house burning down. Lord, hope not. But, but, but Jack, Jack Gray, that rolls out the tongue. Peter Ketterman, me, hell nah. <laughs> that does not roll out the tongue.
Beans is being so distracting right now. Fuck with me. Oh, no. Nah, it's the it's the it's the moose on bottom. Did they give you your weapons back, Pip? After? Yeah, they did. They done took my what did? When 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 I when I was first gunned down bottom. The thing with the folks out west, you know what's funny, Pip is. Yeah, Co shot you because you scared him or whatever, but they didn't do nothing to y'all, and they're talking about ways out now. Give you know, stop going after Holly. Mm -hmm. Well, the way they're they were talk, talk, talking, like, I mean, I, I've known Co for for a bit. We've been friend, we've been friendly before the war, and even at the very start of the last war, there was a time where he called me with my pants down, and uh, where well, they didn't do anything. I this cat is being so distracting to me right now. It's the same with Solomon the other day. Solomon uh, chased me when I was when I was coming to meet you guys, and then they just didn't do nothing. They just wanted to talk. I guess they'll know. I'll then they'll know I'll listen, eh? I guess I have in the past. I mean, I tried to talk to that fella earlier today. We saw how that went. Mm. Who was that, by the way? All of them. Solomon, oh, okay. Lucille. My thing is, it sounds like their reasons are changing on the daily. I might be wrong, but... Yeah, no. Fuck, 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 fuck the cut. Fuck Ty Pan. Fuck the Pear Panthers. Fuck Peter Gray, fuck all of them. And with that, I'm gonna go risk my head in the bed inside real quick. I'm gonna be back maybe in an hour or five, all right? Oh my all right. god. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's I not swear to God, you it's eat the I'm cake not all cake, day. So much cake so many, all right? Oh my. Oh, wait, what the? Uh, this, this motherfucker in here. Hey, good morning, motherfucker. Yeah. See, I'll go in the other just, bed. Just it's like, I don't even know, Pip. It seems like. They want to, you know, they want us to back off now that the Dicenzos are out there giving them the smoke. Not Top Pan, but I mean Peter and the rest of them. Speaking of the Dicenzos, this is kind of random, but did you know someone burned down their house? <laughs> what? Yeah, last night. I was riding around <laughs> with Moxie. Someone burned down the Dicenzos' house? Yeah, someone oh done burned Lord. down the Dicenzos' house. Well, the only people I think that they're warring with right now is Annabelle and that, so. Yeah, they're Jesus. gonna learn real, uh, real soon that you don't fuck with the Dicenzos. Burning down the house, though, man. Fuck. There was, it like, was cobblestones collapsed everywhere, burnt stuff. How many times has that fucking saloon out west been burnt down? <laughs> So many. That's where I well not the not the saloon. You know uh the down near the sheriff's office in Armadillo there's that uh burnt out building that you know just seems to continue to burn day after day after day. Yeah. Very very nice little hiding spot there, uh in the middle of the night. Perfect. See what it, everything that's going on. Yeah, she said it was probably summers, but... I don't know if it's, like, fact. I have to pee. Your brother. I'm gonna go find a bush to pee in. Right. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. You're welcome! <laughs> peas and bush. Slash me, peas and bush.
Hello? Duh. Peas in chat, oh my god, Gore. Come on, don't pee on everyone. Welcome back. Thanks, Mills. Where's Alice? Is she peeing in a bush, too? Which can we close the gate right now? No, I think she's peeing in Jack's room. Ugh. Yeah, Goldie. How did they get ya? What was that? How did they get ya? We were stupid. We were insane to me. Was you hunting? Or more like just rendezvousing, trying to take a look at things. They surrounded us six deep. I tried to talk to the fellow Solomon, but... They all had their guns pointed at us. And I don't take that kindly, so uh, I started shooting. We were in cover. Some crazy bastard came sprinting around the corner, gunned us down. What the hell? How did they, how'd they see you guys? Was they just walking around? They were riding their horses, six of them as usual. And then they then saw you? That's right. I feel like they's getting real lucky running into us. I feel like they hold they, each other's hands constantly. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, right? Who was there when you did that to him? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's smart. What do you think we should do about it? Well, we can't be alone, that's for damn sure. Uh, Our heads got to too big, me. I'll be the first to admit it. We gotta start sticking together. Do stuff like the way they do stuff in groups all the time? Yeah, but we're not gonna become worms and wear disguises. We exactly if you're at the house now. I got a plan to attack the manor. Once we're all healed up. Did Alice, the work. Not at the wake. Did Alice tell you we went last Mary night? No. We went last night and they ain't there. Where'd you sleep at? Wes you left a knife in one of the paintings to send a message. I see. Our best bet is picking them off at telegram stations and... Where'd you get that poison from, by the way? I don't know. Hmm. Who? Ain't someone say, uh, Pose. that they go to the Emerald Ranch a lot? Wanna fix Pose? Nope. That's where they got Marquise, that fellow Logan. And they were saying on the day that they done rode up on that Vivian lady, right? I think so, yeah. Can you call Mills we can scope it out. I know they're That's in right. Valentine. I'm right carried now. away. Hey, Mills. He's in Valentine right I'm now? Yeah. yeah. Jack wants a word, eh? Jack, I got something for you real fast. Hold on, Goldie. Let me just give this to you. What is it? More fine. There's more of that coming. That looks so funny.
the CCs. Uh, dude, honestly, I just kept talking like that and I got used to it. And now sometimes I just speak kind of broken in real life, too. And I don't notice it, which is really unfortunate. You know, usually you want to, you usually want to improve the way you speak. Uh, not <sighs> make it sound more fucked up, but, uh, here we are. Now it's just natural. Sometimes I don't notice if I'm doing it or not. Like, even when I speak like her, it just happens. Yeah, I'm degrading my English. What's up, Finks? How you guys doing? I know. I have a cho bunch of chocolate next to me, so I'm probably going to go through an entire bar of actual chocolate I rolled today. What up, Budward? How you doing, dude? How the fuck is it May 4th? I just got a text message for something. That I kind of forgot about. And apparently it was like today. More cake pops? No, I ate the entire thing of cake pops yesterday. Did I go to the gym? No, I was running errands this morning. And then I wanted to play, so I came home and started playing. Because it was already like 3, so I was like, fuck it. Mm. No, I don't remember it, Canadian. I just looked up retro. If you look up retro, wallpapers on wallpaper, wallpaper engine should come up. Yeah, apparently. Apparently, I'm method acting now, Taco. I don't really even like this chocolate. But for some reason, when I was like ordering groceries yesterday, I was like, yeah, you know what? A bar of chocolate does sound kind of good. But it's not really good. Now it's just kind of sitting next to me and I'm eating it. May the fourth be with you. Yep. How the fuck is this year passing by so quickly? I kind of want to run down to the lake and fill the water bottle while they're in there talking. But then, knowing me, there's going to be, like, a fucking moose that attacks me or something. Really, Saint? This is just how life is? Oh, wait. There's a sink inside. Oh, that's so good, Budward. I've never heard of that one before. What do I, Goldie? Yep, yeah, Pip. Do you want to come in? Uh, come in? Who, who was that, um, who was that mutual that was supposed to be coming to me? Was it that Vivian girl? Yeah, Miss Vivian. I didn't play for that chance. Straightforward. Uh, do they have a fuck, uh, is someone handing them their, our telegrams? That's a possibility. Gordy, who was the mutual we were supposed to meet? Miss Vivian, the one that makes you purr and grr. You have a talk with her? Yeah, to talk with her, me, Wes, Alice, yesterday, and Renee. They seemed like they was willing to help us, though. She said that if, if she can't give us any information, she would. And then she told Victor today that Alice and Mills got shot, and that's how I found out. 
So I didn't think that she's trying to scheme. She said that afterwards that she didn't realize what camp to go to because there's more than one Cumberland. That's a great excuse to give. That's what I would say too, wouldn't you? They're cozying up over there in Saint Denis. What if she leaked the info? I mean, I was thinking that too, because I know that I ain't, and she was the only other person. She said that she went to two different camps. But I was definitely at the ones that we was meeting at for a while, and I ain't seen her. But I was talking to Wes about it, and he said that she doesn't give him that feeling, and I didn't think she gives me that feeling either. Plus, she seems to like you. You hear that? Yeah, I heard something. Like a fucking break. Not too many spots to be able to get sight on it. Maybe across the river over there, the lake, or there's a little hill up here. Yeah, there's li a little bit of sound. You see there's anything? a horse. There's someone down there. It's a girl. On show. Go say howdy, Pip. Dude, I told you, I fucking hear those binoculars like. Is she leaving? Might be scared. Three people walking up at her. Then why the hell she's the waving? Maybe we wave back, show her we're friendly. All right. Goldie, give her your best wave. Let me start yelling at her. How's you doing? I am well. Is Don't you that lady that friend. saved me that one day when my cow fell down the hill? When your what fell down the hill? My cow? No, that was not me. Mm. I'm Goldie. What's your name? I think your friends know who I am. Who's ya? Who's I am picking mushrooms, but uh. Howdy. Howdy there. Hello, Mills. 
Is one not allowed to pick mushrooms in the night? Do we know each other, ma'am? I know who you are. Listen, I'm not gonna do anything to y'all. Yeah, we ain't gonna do nothing. He's picking the ram's head up here. Do you like to make the healing stuff? I think my friend might be friends with you, you know, Cassidy? I do not. You know, it's rude to walk away while someone's trying to talk. Maybe I wasn't seeking a conversation. Can I know your name then at least? I know her. Yeah, she said that. Oh man, thank you so much for six months. Might be the Lit chief Donnie, of the Eric Cohen, which also might be a group of people that want us dead. Well, I think that this spot's now burnt. We got to get out of here. Why does this keep happening to us, Mills? I don't know, Goldie. I, th I, I would say we're pretty sweet, right? We're a bunch of big, softy babies. I mean, I think so, but I might be biased if you really think about it. I thought I was real nice to her, and she didn't tell me who she was. She said, your friends know who I am. But now I think it's best we get out of here. Who was it? Mills thinks it's one of the Arapatoans or something. She didn't tell us her name, and then she was like, your friends know who I am, and she left, and she would not talk to us. And she she wouldn't introduce herself to me at all. I done introduced myself to her, but I think we got to get out of here. All right. the Eric Cohen, also a group that wants us dead, or really doesn't no. like us? Well, apparently not. Apparently the Eric Cohen don't want no trouble. She says she was just up here picking some mushrooms and such, the ram said, but I'm pretty sure she was eyeing balling to see who we was, right? Because she was like, your friends know who I am to me. Mm. So she obviously knew. That girl gave the Del Lobos permission for me to be tortured. What the hell? Who did? Did, did you hear that? for the Eric Cohen. Someone's using their binoculars yeah, again. Yeah, it's just Alice, I think. Thank you so much, Seraph. Alice, I think we mm -hmm. got to get out of here. Yeah. It was Nayali, Chief of the Eric Cohen. What happened? She attacked? Nope, but she was being awfully standoffish and just rode away when we were trying to talk. We done seen him in tall trees the other day. I want you to know that there are enemies. We should leave. I think we should get out of here, Jack. Let's come here, let's move. I'm confused. I thought someone said the Eric Cohen's didn't want no fucking trouble. James, who said that? That was Ly Lyra or Laura or something.
The girl in armadillo. What's up, critics? How you doing? I know Mav, it's intense, huh? Hey, Goldie, can I ride with you for a moment? Yeah. Look at that song. Now you be good, old wrecker. Be careful, he's a wild beast when he's on his own. <laughs> he's wild beast all the fucking time. Yeah, I can tell. Kick me in the face a bunch. I do too, per se. Yeah, that lady, lady's name was Laura, I think, in the telegram that Doug Doug sent. It was Laura, and she was the, I think, the lady that worked at the saloon in Armadillo. But we ran into them at Tumbleweed. I thought it was someone else, but his telegram says Laura, and that was her name, so. I don't think it's the same uh, person. Cheese Goldie. Yep. Oh! I just... You motherfucker! <laughs> I mean, you called it, you done told me. Oh no, not another one. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh. Did he get some of the God's store? It shouldn't be bad at all if they if it just has even like the smallest amount of Degradation and rust. I feel, let me see how much you have left. 
Maybe I'll go get some with Pip. I'm gonna go to gun store. I need to grab some gun oil. Where is it at? Uh, just over here. Gotta move, I ain't got no weapons. Okay, here we go. Who is that? Who goes there, right? Who goes there? Oh, it's the Taipan. Me how gold it. Good to see you again. Hi. Something? Are we here for something? I don't know, boys. What exactly are we here for? Listen, y'all wouldn't mind if we just turn around and ride away, would you? It's your choice to turn around and ride away this entire fucking time. You tell me this shit's over and it's over. I can't hear anything. Don't say nothing. To be over, say so. This Don't is the worst time word. to do it. Don't say a word to these motherfuckers. We either go straight on our merry way, or we go back the way we came. Okay. Put your weapon, tell, tell, tell Alice to put a weapon away if we're gonna ride straight. Okay? Come on, Pip, we got somewhere to be. We got somewhere to be, but we're not finished. Is that the case? You're gonna answer me now. Or I'm gonna reply with fucking bullets. Come on, Mills.
Mills, what do we do? We fucking fight. I'll follow your lead. Mills, I'll follow your lead, all right? All right. Yeah, let's go pick? down. Yeah, it's me, it's me. Anyone go down? Watch our backs. Who's with us? Are we all here? Jack went a separate way and he has no gun. Fucking shot Alice. Pip, Jack has got no gun and he went the other way. Right. Fucking hell, he's on his own again. Yep. They might be after him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's Mills at? Sorry, where's Mills? Gotta go where's get him, Pip. They gunned her the fuck down, I think. Man. Did they just right, grab let's, him let's and move, leave? Alice, I, where are you? Ain't no fucking horse. But she down. Alice is right here. Goldie, can you grab her? Yeah, I got her. Holy shit, there she is. Alice, is you alright? No. Did they grab Jack too? <laughs> I don't know. They had to have gone after Jack. Shit. Uh, this is a good. Did they grab him and go? What should we do, Mills? We got to get Alice to the doctor. You want me to take her to the doctor? What do I do? I need to send an evil way. Alice, how's you doing? Oh, great. <laughs> we gotta get Jack. Go and find him, I'll be fine. We need to stick together. There he is. Sorry, like my horse is fucked. I might as well ride with you. Hang in there, Alice. We need to, we need to keep moving, they're gonna shoot. Probably they like people on the back of horses in there.
Bro, Jack has the worst luck. We can't go to St. Denis. The cuts are gonna be there. Gotta go to Groves. It's alright, it's alright. You hear that? We got to Groves instead. Yeah. Careful here. <sighs> I followed Mills because I felt like it'd be better to stay a uh, group, but part of me feels like I should have followed Jack. But I thought maybe they would follow us with the weapons and then give him time to, cow, to run. Bad. I don't know. How'd they fucking know? I swear, they know so fast. Alice, how's he doing? <laughs> Y'all right? <laughs> that was intense, dude. I was one shot, really? Oh my God, I didn't even notice. I was like, my hands were all shaking. I was like, oh God, we're gonna get into shootout. This is it. So I was just kind of watching everyone's lead. My palms are so sweaty. I was low. Yeah, I thought I was going down. They knew so fast. I wonder if that lady tipped them off. And then maybe they're coming from, they were coming from the other direction. So what if she tipped them off that they were at the house and they were on their way to the house. And then when they went there, they realized that everyone left already. And then they intercepted, damn, I have no fucking idea. It's, it's wild how much, how fast everyone communicates. They probably would have rolled up on them at the house if we didn't leave, so either way. Yeah, there's no way, Gore. We'll see how this looks for Goldie to be like, yo, we should probably leave. But she was also buying time too, I think. With how she was like walking around really slowly and then ran off. Well, it's not like we knew where we were going anyways to be able to tell anyone like, oh, we're going to go to Ansberg or anything like that. But, you know. Yeah, that's what, weren't we saying the other day too, like we should probably I, not use this house? It looks kind of bad. Oh my God, imagine, imagine Sam's Club uses that spot. Take it to the medical tents, we'll be over yeah. there in a second. All right.
Irby, can you get medical, please? I'll try to. Who's who's here? Who this, we got? This is Alice. All right, all right, hold on. Alice. Your hand? Yes, please. Can you help her? Oh, of course, love. Of course. Let's have a look. Just can you tell me what happened? Yeah, they, she got shot. Okay. All right. All right, Owen, you want to come next to me here, love, and take a seat? Okay, first thing we're going to do is examine the wounds. And if you would check her pulse for me, love, and let me know how fast or slow it is, okay? There, you just take a little sit there. Perfect. Now, um, it might be easier for you to sit, um, only because um, we find that kneeling can uh, give you a lot of headaches, you know? Maybe it's something... Them. That's alright, maybe it's possibly the nerve, you know, that's being pressed on in your knee. Stomach and chest, okay, alright, we're gonna have to move past here. Okay, um, I want you to read into my medical bag here, on. And do you remember we talked about the kerosene and the strawberry extract? I do, yes. You're going to find me a couple of clean needles. You're going to fill two cc's nice uh, in each syringe. And make sure to expel the air. Let me know when they're ready. I'll have a look. And we're going to go ahead and inject those just good, to start good. with, okay? She's strong, man. She'll pull for you. Okay, I'm just uh, having a look Hi. at her chest first. She's also good shot, so we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna see what damage we're working with here. That's the first that she right pulled right on her. Right there. Beautiful. And you push the extra air out, right? That's correct, yep. Perfect. Okay, when you're ready. I want you to inject that into her quadricep muscle, okay? That's just her thigh muscle, the thickest part you can, all right? Where the fuck would they take take them? I would usually like to use the gluteal muscle because it's larger, but know, I can't put scroll in her over at the moment. Maybe. There we go. And what was it the carotene? Was it sorry? Aye, the kerosene. There's a great big Q on the bottle. You cannot miss it. Mills, how the fuck did they know? Because that fucking Eric Cohen chief told them where we were. Is that why they was coming from up the hill? Because she done told them that we was up there? The only reason I know, I think of right now. they take them to Saint Denis? Would they take them out west? That's, That's the only that. places. Well, they do. Whereas I had out west, out west. Yeah, they, so they say they're back in the city, but they were all fucking snug up in Armadillo last night. Mind you, they, I suppose that was for a meeting. <sighs> I think yeah, we, it's a... Uh... We come to swamps. Oh my god, my game. Hello? Maybe the fort as well. Hello, game. Hello. We need to start somewhere, eh? Chat, are you seeing black screen? Maybe they just grabbed him. Fucking told him. Maybe he's all right. Maybe he's fucking in a bush. Can we give Peppo a shout out, please, chat? I can't alt tap for some reason. I almost crashed my shit.
Did you say this young lady's name was Alice? Name's Alice. How is she looking? Fuck. Alice, okay. Well, she's been shot a couple of times. You don't know what happened to you. Fuck. That's what goes in there. I'm just going to hold my hands on that now. You're right. I got a grease on my arm. How bad you bleed in here? That looked at? No, I just tossed some stuff on it. I didn't want to pull attention away from Alice. But it didn't look too bad. Oh, that wouldn't be good now. Have you at least cleaned it, Goldie? I know none of this medical stuff. I just took the little wrapper and I wrapped it around. I want to make sure that all of her stomach acid is rocking towards, you know, up towards her diaphragm rather than low, which is where the bullet wound is. That way, when I remove it, we shouldn't have any stomach acid leaking out, um, which would be really fucking bad. Um, sorry, you and the the hat love. Could you do me a favor? What is it? Neither do I. Sorry, um, However, next door, there should let's be a little... at least get that wrapped a little bit tighter and wash it off, wash it out, eh? All right. Probably gonna stick a little bit. Go. Yes. We have to go. That's not bad at all. We have, have to, to go. go. All right. Yeah. Okay. What's about Alice? The doctors will take care of her. All right. Do you need to grab anything while we're here, Mills? There you go. Thanks, Pip. Oh. Right, let's get going. Am I using that as silk or is it catgut? I'm going to use the catgut first. Um, I think that is strong Shh. enough. It's the stomach lining. I ain't know where the cow is. What? Do you think it's Your better cow. if I ride separately? Uh, probably. Smoke. Breathe. Let's think about it. Where did they take him last time with the elephant guns? Do you remember? Out west, uh, Fort, Fort Mercer. Mercer. That's a long way away. Or San Denis, right? Uh, where else did they frequent? Do we know where else they use? Should we at least start, so we start in the swamps? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know where to fucking start. Back to fucking square one. I don't think they're gonna be out east, Pip. It's too obvious. My only guess is they would be going out west. You think they rode with them all the way west? I ain't know what they did though, so. I mean, I guess we just better start looking, right? I'm gonna check telegrams really quick, just in case.
All right. Let's go west. shooting us in the back. Really bad feeling meals. I think they got Jack. I'm pretty sure they did, cause then we didn't find him, and they done all left. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it, it's my gut telling me that. I had to have gotten Jack for sure. Cause I, just, somebody, I, I don't I don't see them taking the, him all the way out to the desert from all the way out there. I the think they're in the swamp somewhere. The west. It just seem it just seems crazy to do that. Maybe. Yeah, cause then they'd have to carry him right all the way where people can see. Yeah. Right, you're, you're, you guys are right. I don't know. I'm just thinking. The Is there anyone that would? I've seen them. I don't want to. I don't want us to split up. <laughs> but in times like this, I really don't know what else to fucking do. Is there somewhere in the swamps that they go to lots? Mm, or is there that someone that There's might like inform us that they seen them? There's a lot of places in the swamps to keep you, keep your head low and a lot, a lot of places out of the way. But you know, may, maybe you'll fuck it right, Mills. Maybe, maybe they did. Fuck. Only reason I'm thinking they're taking them out there is because that's where all of our fucking enemies are. Well... Like I, like I said, if they move back into the city and, and fucking boss his name's there, Solomon is there, they could have I, We need to make a decision right now. We either go across the crossing or we head back to the swamps. My vote is swamps. 
If we's closer to the swamps, why don't we scan the swamps for everything? And if we ain't, we ain't find them, then we head west. Yeah. You hear that? So we head to uh, where we rug the bells and then head south from there towards the city. Over there, we visit. past the fort on the way here. I don't see any horses over there. Alright. Alright, let's scratch that one off then. We can scratch that off then. Do you think they take him to Shady Bell? Or is Maybe. that too obvious? All right. Yeah. I really don't want to like have to stop for food, but I'm probably going to need it food at some point. Damn, dude, I should have followed Jack. But I think if I followed Jack, they would have just left me like Alice. And then it would have been like another member down. I just felt like I needed to like move out of the, like a straight line. Follow Mills because staying together right, though, is that, better than uh, being separate. Or whatever. They got birdies everywhere, Pip. That explains why she was taking her time leaving that area, Mills. I think she was trying to buy time, if you really think about it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, true, Salty. Mechanically speaking, <laughs> if I had stayed in a straight line any longer, I would have been down for sure. And then they didn't even care about Alice. They just left her there. So now at least they have an extra gun. Probably not as, you know, useful as other people could be. Uh, but, you know, one extra gun is probably still better than nothing. How are you doing, Goldie? Were you shot? Yeah, I got a graze on my arm, but it ain't bad. Pip helped me. Was you shot, Mills? No. Damn, it would be fucking crazy if they actually brought him, brought him to Shady Bell.
don't see anything. No, it doesn't look like it. We'll take a quick look through the front, just in case. Turn up your res resolution, Khalifa. Oh yeah, for sure, fishing. Just head straight north from here, past Caliga, into the swamps. Damn, if they actually took them all the way w west and we're just wasting time in the swamps, that would suck so bad. I know, I, um... Crossing that bridge. Multiple riders. Looks like Peter Gray. That's them, isn't it? That might be. That's them. Do you see any sign of Jack on the back? Where the hell is they coming from? Coming from the swarm soil, yeah, he must be somewhere out here. If you, oh, for fuck you ain't seen him on a. Sorry, oh, shit. sorry, uh, I'm so sorry. That's it's all right, bad. Pip. He wasn't on the Your back horse, of the okay. horses. I'm so sorry. It's Look at him right. going into the fucking cuts, manner. Pip, cow fainted. Oh my god. Fuck. He wasn't on the back of their horses. No, definitely not. <gasps> no, cow. All right. We gotta look around here. Jack. Jack! Jack! Go straight across here. This creepy fucking place. It Careful of the fucking gators. gators. Yeah. I don't see any right now, you know. Maybe they hibernating. Jack! Oh my god. Oh fuck. I'm a crazy. Pip was so loud for a second. Jack! Mm. 
Jack! You sure that you ain't seen nothing on their horses, right? So they yeah, think that they I'm got rid of them and then they went back into the sand and knee? I presume, I presume so. I definitely didn't see anything on the back of their horses. Do you feel the same way, Mills? Like, did you check the back? If there was nothing there. I... Right, from here, let's let, yeah, let's go across and check the fishing village, and then we'll circle around the marsh. Just, let's just double check everywhere. Like, if he's unconscious, we might just miss him, walk right by him. Jack! Jack! All right, it's, it looks clear to me. Sure, that was them though. That could have been the cut in disguise. Mm, it looked like they're horses to me. Damn, Pip's so good. I didn't even look Not at Not a hundred percent, but. You definitely. I'm pretty sure I saw Peter and Co. Left, eh? Alright, let's see where they came from. Right, uh... There is still Lagras, like the fishy village. What do you reckon we just head towards, uh, towards Van Horn from here? We might as well check it, it's not far away. Yeah. Pip, if they was going east over that bridge, does that mean that they had yeah. to come from somewhere that went to that bridge, right? Yeah, they would have had to come through the marsh or from Lemoyne maybe Eris Fields is a good spot to fucking take someone Cause my I don't think they would keep him out this way if they came from out that way that means he's gotta be somewhere out east or west that's what I'm thinking to Cause why would they route all the way back that way unless maybe they're trying to cover where they came from? But they was coming this way, but maybe they went out that way because they thought that we was gonna chase them this way too. Hmm. Let's check. Uh, there's this house on the left over here. All group of houses. I know what just I know what you're saying. Hmm? It's just hard to pinpoint at the moment. <laughs> I've no fucking idea. Yeah. I ain't familiar with all the places too, so I feel pretty useless. I'm sorry, Pip. No, that's alright. Uh, me neither. <laughs> I don't know the swamps. 
the shit. This is too nice. Jack! 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 <laughs> no, 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 fuck. You can't guess like that, you were scaring me. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, could you take the reins for a moment? Yeah. Bro, Jack can't catch a break. Excuse me, ex excuse me, fella. There. Said all right there, Mills. Who goes there, eh? You alright there, bud? Hello? Is that Pip? Yeah, who's that? It's Air Force. Air Force? How's it going? Yeah, not bad. How have you been, mate? Yeah, not too bad, eh? Can you, can you all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Athos, you seen a group of six people with Jack on the back of the horse? Uh, I don't know. There was a, a group move through Valentine pretty quickly, but I didn't see which way they went. Oh, who's got him? My enemy. Can you ride, Athos? Of course I can. Let's go. This guy ruining my immersion and my chat experience complaining about ads and peak RP. Like I already feel bad about it, man. Hold on, hold on. I wanna check that fucking, that uh, building. There's a fucking basement in there, it's all manner of shit. I literally have the minimum amount of ads an hour running just so I, I get rid of pre-rolls. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. 
Now I'm gonna go back to the RP. Shit, nothing. Oh, I mean, it ain't like Jack ain't been in that situation before. Uh, Except a few in. boys. The old uh, Van Horn War. Said you saw a group ride through Saint or er, through Valentine. Yeah, it must have been uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago now. Was someone on their horse? I mean, a, a couple of injured people got brought into town as well. I don't know if one of them was him. Maybe. Go check Valentine. Mm. shoot at you so if you want to peel off partner I completely understand ah fuck em. self defense in it I like these guy Mills Athos is a good man You want to go to Rhodes? Please. No. Probably not. You want to go to Rhodes there? Uh, party? Uh, I don't think. Going uh, to get milk. All right. Oh no! Oh no! She didn't. You getting in there? Mills, I hate to say this, but. I gotta get food. I'm what hungry. was that? I saw what? I said I'd hate to say, but I gotta run to the store and get food real fast. It's alright.
This is intense, dude. Alright, if they ain't here, but they passed through Valentine Woods Way. Uh, yeah, Air Force, when you saw them coming through, which, which way were they coming, eh? I can't really remember, mate. All right. At this point, do we just go look out west? I don't know where the fuck else they would take him. We can try him. Who's got him? Hot pan. I, I really don't. Fellas from Saint Denis. That's right, but I think we saw them ride there. They didn't have Jack. Let's check Telegram. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's a possibility he was found and taken to medical? Yeah. It's definitely a possibility. Got the telegram from Mark. They took oh. him out west. They took him out west. <sighs> really? They took him past Armadillo. Lots of people here trying to keep eyes on him. <sighs> right, okay, let's go. Yeah. I feel so bad. We should just listen to Mills. Fuck. It doesn't make sense. We saw them. We saw them go into the fucking town. There's no way. It's impossible. It's actually physically impossible for them to get there that fast. And then back. Yeah. It's actually impossible. And then the, the path that they took and riding with someone on the back of the horse through towns and such. How the hell they ain't spotted? It didn't make no sense. Hey, Pip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you speak, I can hear myself in you. You can't. Oh, my apologies. Marquis is around, and I told him that we's heading out west, and it's urgent. But I just want him to go alone. You think I should send a separate telegram and say? But I ain't want to say too much in the telegram, so what I do? Just leave it. Let him know we set it out west. Yeah, yeah. All right. Listen, we're going into like... enemy territory. I got two people ready to ride. We're going to meet them at the bottle tree, then we'll head out there. All right, okay. Yeah, like I said, God, I already got the two brain cells knocking around, so there's like a, you know, sometimes there's an echo in my head. It's Strange. all them licking the frogs, it's all right.
I really hope Marquis ain't head out there by himself. What did you tell him again? You just told him we were going out west, or have you told him anything yet? No, that's all I said. I said we was heading out west. And all then right. I said it's important or urgent or something. And that's all I wanted to say in the telegrams, because at this point, I don't trust them telegrams no more, Pip, I'm telling you. Mm. You think I should say something else? Who, who exactly here. is meeting us here, Mills? Marquis. We got Marquis. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Maybe an old friend. We'll see. We'll wait here five minutes. If they don't show, we're riding out. All right. I sent one to the Marquis, Mills, because he asked where we was, and I said that we was heading out west and it's urgent, but if you told him to meet here, then he's probably going to meet us here, right? I think so. Hopefully. All right. We best get them a little bit longer than that, Mills. Telegrams right. take a while. You're right. That's like 10 minutes. 15 tops. To be honest, we need to get moving. Listen, these pe these people out west. I can't tell There was something moving. I was saying to Goldie, though, man. If we, if we definitely saw them go across the bridge, that is literally, it's impossible, man. They couldn't have taken him that far and then got back. We saw them go into town. Like I said, Pip, I think that was the cuts in disguise. This is fucking li Oh my god. Oh my god. They just really playing the mind games with us if that's what it was. Why the fuck does Ty yeah, Pen want him anyway? Cause they're all schemers, they've been fucking waiting for the moment that they could all work together and take us down. It's really hard to hit those bottles. I, I could probably hit the tree though. The bottles are like another fucking story. Heading the bottles is hard as hell, Pip. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but you get better. Can you hit them? Occasionally. What, the ones swinging from the trees? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. I'll give it a go in a moment. I'm just gonna polish my shaft. I got one. Alright, Marquise. Is that Marquise? We're gonna ride, brother. You ready? I, tell you, I, tell, uh, I saw Alice. Alice I, she, I rode down from, uh, from Annisburg to, uh, to uh, Rhodes. Alright, let's wait a few more minutes. We got anybody else coming? We'll see. Who Calling did? in a favor. Athos. This is Athos. He's good. He's done a lot of jobs with us. Yeah, no, of course. The motherfucker. Miss, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put you in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, just, just, just to put you in the, in, in the right mindset, because I wasn't expecting none of this shit to hit. You know what I'm saying? I'm either, either might have to dip in ten minutes or in an hour. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. If, if I have to dip in ten minutes, I'll let you know on the road. All right? I'm, I'm not I too quite sure. But if I have to dip in an hour, obviously we can make it in time. All right. <laughs> you see, what you say? I said. This says listen. This says, this, says, this one has nothing to do with cake. Shut the hell up. This ain't the time, Marquis. This this ain't the time. You think I you think this I want ain't to be the time, absent for this? You think? you think I want to be absent for this? I don't. 
I have no control over this. I wish I could explain it to you, but I can't. Don't even mm, me. If you was there, then Jack might have not gotten it taken. I don't, I don't even stop pinning this shit on me. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. If it ain't for you not being able to make it to that job, I've never been friends with you. If you really yeah, think about did it. Did anyone got any gun oil? I did. No. I'm just messing with you, the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Marquis said she's all right. Yeah. She, uh, she laying inside the saloon in, in, in that blue bed. All right. That's good. Motherfucker. Yeah. I need water. Uh, yeah, so go fill it up yourself. Where the hell from? No idea. We'll get some water. You ain't that thirsty. Yeah, I am. You is? Yeah. Take two sips of my water bottle. That's, that should do you well until we get into a lake or some shit. You think we're gonna get him back? I oh, best believe we're gonna get him back, see? You think he's gonna be okay? The motherfucker, I'm itchy for this. I've been wanting to get the ass on full force, shit. We gunned their ears now. They shot us in the fucking back, Marquise. Like yeah, that's what Alice told are. me. Alice told me y'all were walking away and they just fucking gunned your ears now. Yep. That's some bullshit. That's some coward ass shit. They fuck a bunch of bitches, motherfucker. Fuck them. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really hoping. I got that album, because if I got that album, so just believe me, gonna get the gun, the Do you gun need any gun out. oil? At no, I'm good, thanks. Actually, could I grab, like, one just to get this dirt off my fucking lich field? See, I learned the hard way I that I always keep the gun oil on me now. To find flour, so you need one or two? I, two would be great. Thank you. What is it? There he is. Oh, you fucking beautiful bastard. One last time, right? <gasps> Howdy. One Ready? last time. One last time. Are you Reed? It's me. How you doing? Let's go. I've been better. Hi, I'm Goldie. Hey, how you doing? All right, pips. Do you want to take the raids? You seem to, to be you. a little bit more a quest rider than me. Are you sure? I'm ready to shoot Lancaster some people. Raid? I've got one. Alright, All right, you get on the front there so you can use that shotgun. Alright. Alright, come on, Pips. I'll, I'll get, I can hop off the bat. Oh my god. Pips. They're leaving us. It's okay, we'll catch y'all fives fast. We're gonna make it in time, right? Yeah, we're gonna make it in time. You promise? I promise you, if we don't, we're going to burn down that fucking town and everyone in it. I'll be right there with you to do it. What? I said the train is on the tracks. Oh my god.
Who's your friend, Pip? What? Who? Got he's talking you. about me. I thought you'd already introduced yourself. I did. I think he's kind of forgetful. Oh. I'm old. I'm sorry. My name this is, is Goldie. Goldie. Call me Reed. All right, Reed. It's nice to meet you. It's good to meet you. I met him in Sisica. Really? And now he's your guys' friend? Yeah, he's alright. He's, uh, he's helped me out of a spot in the past. He took a fucking, uh... Well, who's now a sheriff, Marty Malone, hostage, and got me out. What the hell, really? Yeah, and he took the fall as well. He got, he ended up getting caught. I got away. I'd consider that a friend. Yep. I was starting to feel like we ain't got no allies, but I realized that there's people coming out of the world works willing to help us. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we do. It seems like. We got our backs against the wall, but it's, it's just because we've got what three, sometimes four gangs riding around after us. But no, we got a lot of friends. No matter what Jack says, he does have friends. Your horse is getting a little pissed off. Does he need a carrot? Hmm? Does he need a carrot? He might need something that has some horse tonic stuff. Oh. But I have I... to hop off to give it to him. I think I'll have to give it to him, eh? He's my horse. Oh, yeah, that's right. It didn't used to be, though. It used to be uh, Baz, Baz Kerrigan's horse. This was Baz's horse? Mm hmm. He left it. He left him to me in his will. Yeah, he's looking tired, eh? I heard you was there with Bass when it happened. Yeah, I was. Does it hurt you that the story keeps coming up a lot lately? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I'm sorry that you had to see it, and I'm sorry that you lost your friend. Yeah, it's, uh... It sucked, eh? For a while, it was all blurry. All I remember was just seeing fucking red. Worst part about that. Came just after I got sent to Sisica and had to tell his wife. That was a real bad day, Goldie. Yeah, I can't imagine ever having to tell someone that. Along with also being there. He's a real good friend, Pip. I try to be.
How's the uh, how's fall lab looking? Is he real tired? Yeah, but he's hanging on there, but not for very long. Yeah, once we get into the canyon here, I'll tell them to slow down. Hey, slow down a little bit, guys. Just gotta rest up my horse a little bit. I just uh, hop off for a sec, I'll uh... He needs a tonic. Not that bad. You got one? Yeah, I do, here. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I should be all good to go. Do you need some sugar? Always, man, from you. Mwah. <laughs> no, it's all right. Don't worry. He's all right, okay, dude. We okay. got, I got some horse tonics. Let's go. Do we ride with our guns out here? Yep. Left, Mills. Left. Left. I love Pip, too. Hey, Pips. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he's my friend. Hey, I'm glad you're my friend too. I feel real honored to be riding Badge's horse right now. It is an honor to be riding Princess Farlap. Destin. <laughs> That's the name. Well, his name's just Farlab, but I call him Princess Farlab because he wants to be brushed 24 hours a day. He, he only eats sugar. That's Baz's fault. I've tried to wean him off that. He's a very, very stroppy horse, so I call him Princess to piss him off. But I love him, really. Alright Mills, priority right now is finding Jack though, That's right. blood second. I want to check Armadillo, I need to check my telegrams. Yeah. Those two? Oh, yeah, yeah, rooftops. Did you see them hop off? Alright, that's one of Peter's lot, I believe. I think one. <laughs> they just ran off. They're just telling everyone now. Yep, that's all right. This is fucking intense, you guys. All right, who's that? Anyone recognize that fella on top of the pub?
Yeah, I didn't recognize that guy. Yep. Alright, we got there. Two people riding around left side. That looks like Law. That looks like Charlie Branch. That is Law. I saw the badge. Why the hell's Law out here for? He's coming. Know, they're gonna come and ask us the same thing right now. You can have your gun out. Down in the middle of the fucking desert. What are they doing? Probably sending telegrams. Mm. Probably be the best bush to squad here. And if he wanted. No, I don't think. Pip, is he one? No. Go with it. Nah, no, I ain't. Not right now, the motherfucker. We good, dude. Now, there's this, Mills. Mills, we only went missing one person. Yeah. Y'all see anyone in town? Yeah, there's a few people on the roofs, as you can see. And a lot just rolled in, too. We're still one down. Is that top pan over there at the telegram office? I think that's oh, law. Or have you actually got eyes on the... Oh, wait, I... Someone... Do you see that person riding out? Didn't see them, no. White horse with a light on it. Alright, let's go. You ready, Pip? Uh, yeah. Howdy. By himself? On a mission. Say that again. Hello, officers. Can I help you? You guys from the Red Edge Town seem to be strange. Well, because Outside we can. Roads, or? Well, we don't want to. Is, oh, is for any like particular reason? You decided to say like fuck it today and go exploring. We decided to say fuck it, we're going exploring. Is that the answer you want? Sure, I suppose. Well, that's the answer you can have. Well, don't want to stop you guys from exploring. You can continue. Should I exploring. check my telegram? Well, thank you. Yeah, have a quick look. No, this fuck. Have a quick look. Just in case. Dump. It's a fucking outlaw town around here. Yeah, it's an outlaw Could town. be dangerous, people. All right. It Very is dangerous. dangerous. An outlaw town. Law just told us apparently Jack Jack's belted out the east on his own. What's your man? <sighs> what the hell does that mean? My leg here, you he's gone out the east on his By own. Himself. He's really... Yeah. And he's hurt. I'm... A leg. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a ride through town. Come on. Right. Pips. Mm hmm. What if they's working with the law and they's trying to throw us off? Am I being the paranoid? Is that males? Yeah, it's males. Look, Falap's upset now. He wants you to ride him. Alright, I gotcha. Uh, 
do a little swap. So then Laws, they said that he's rode out east by himself, so he was out here. Yeah. Then let they let just, him go. Let me just confirm that with Mills. Hey, Mills, what did those law dogs say? They say Jack headed out east. That's what he said. He said he saw Jack hauling ass out of town going out east. You don't think they're working with them, eh? Don't think they're trying to throw us off the fucking scent. Let's keep moving. I don't see any reason for them to lie to us, to be honest. I don't think... Listen, Branch... Say what you want about Branch, so everybody... I gotta close my eyes for a moment. I need to think about something. All right. That spot and go to lights and getting a getting better at riding right there. I know it's because you told me I had to. You know, when I first bumped into Alice, I thought she got into a horse instead of a chew, and that's why she was down laying down. Nah, and it turned out, yeah, that's why it's Pip's making me take control of the reins. Look at it. He said, I'm Pip, more a question. Teaching or me how to ride a horse? Nah, he ain't. He said, I'm better than him. Is that true? He's uh, staring off in the distance right oh, now. Is he? he in his own head? He is thinking. What? Now, uh, she, said, she said that you said that she a better rider than you. Uh, a lot, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not the biggest badge of honor, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. <laughs> it's not the biggest badge of honor being a better rider than me. It's a lot right. of people are better riders than me. I ain't very good at. Oops. Oh, wolf. Oh, my God. Fuck that wolf up! Get his ass, Pip! Uh, catch up to Mills real quick. Hey, Mills! Yeah. 
I'm not sure what you sent, Jack, but I sent him a telegram telling him that uh, Alice was down. Maybe he belted out and went straight to Rhodes. That's why he hasn't sent a telegram. Maybe he just read it and read Alice is down, straight to Rhodes. We should still check Blackwater on the way, though, I reckon. I mean, I assume you sent him a telegram? I sent him a telegram. That was a long time ago. When, you, when uh, we first started looking for him. And he hasn't sent me one back. He hasn't sent anyone. Did Mills not send a telegram when we was in, uh, in Armadillo? Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. What did you say on your telegram? I asked him where he is. Right. Their voices when they're yelling on horses isn't too loud for you guys, right? Good for you guys? Alright, hell yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's pretty crazy tonight, Bonsai. This is the most action I think that we've had so far. More wolves. Those guys, who's dead? We're about to find out. That was good. Howdy. Meal. Howdy. Y'all are it. You and Peachy, y'all oh. see uh, Mr. Jack Kettleman in Blackwater? Uh, we have not. We're looking for a moonshiner. I see. Well, good luck. Wasn't me this time. What's wrong with Jack? Nothing, we're just looking for him. You know how he is sending telegrams back and forth. Nails? Yes. What he just hurt yesterday? That's right. I suspect he'd be lying up somewhere then. What's wrong with Kettleman? He's just fine, like I said. We're trying to find him. He sent us a telegram. Alright. Good luck. You were right, Pip. Wait, is it Rhodes? Yeah. All right. Let's no. go. No, no, oh, Pip. Oh yeah, he's gonna get angry again. Go on, you get. Yeah, you'll be fine. Why does he hate you? He doesn't hate me. It's, you know, it's just I guess. It, <laughs> I guess you're treating him better than I do. You know when you um when you went across the bridge earlier. Were you like spurning it, spurning him to go faster when we went across Bars Crossing? Where the hell's the Bars Crossing? That big bridge that's coming up. Uh, nah. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say there's no point; they won't go any faster on there. Where the hell did they go? Oh my god! They're just following it around. He's not a fan of rocks, though. Yeah, I realized. <laughs> 
<laughs> he hates this right now. Chandler Wild here has been really dope so far. I think it was because uh, when we was leaving the bottle tree, I sprinted a lot to catch up to him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's. He's fast, far lab, but he's not, uh, he doesn't go for too long. Home Wrecker Mark II was amazing. Oh, I miss him so much. Pip, I think you killed my cow. No, he just fainted, right? I think he just passed out, but I didn't, I didn't have time to check on the cow. But he just bumped into... He was just a little, he was just a little tap, a little love tap. I'm sure you just fainted. I, I would hope so, as a cow was a very, very fragile horse. <laughs> My whole record, Mark II, got shot in the head once and survived. What? Yeah, bloody had a chunk missing out of his skull. I have a friend that likes to kill the horses and it makes what me real fuck? sad and I said that if you ever killed the cow I would hatch it him in the head. Yeah, it's fucked up. I mean I only ever killed horses to sacrifice them. What should you sacrifice them for, Pip? For Homewrecker. You see Homewrecker's a demon. Yeah, I was wondering why he acted the way he does. Yep, he's right. And like I said, Homewrecker Mark II, he was amazing, but he's uh, passed away recently due to some uh, filthy law dogs shooting him. So I'm going to take my revenge one day. I just need to find out all the names of their horses first. How are you going to find all that out? Well, I have two of them already, so... It's only free, free law that are my targets. And then once I find out, Home Wrecker will return. After a little bit of, uh, you know. Sacrifices? A little bit of ritual sacrifice, you know. <laughs> oh, is the that usual. how it works? I'd like to learn. Maybe I could bring Cal. That's good to be. I want to make Cal a demon. If I could calm Homewrecker down and he's a demon, what's that say about me, Pip? Hmm. Maybe there's a little demon inside of you. Is he a demon too? What, Homewrecker? No, it's you. Oh. No, I just deal with demons. You think that's one of the them codes? Press his ass, but we still got time. Let's go say hi Let's go. Yeah, Chad! He's a child. He's gonna be riding. Watch, watch. We gonna ride. Well, howdy, uh, gentlemen. Are you males? It is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I remember the name? Hold on. Hold on. We made a few days ago. Nate the... Casey. There it is. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Nate Casey. Howdy, Marquis. What the fuck happened? Where, where? Did you grow out a beard? 
Uh, my I have. Go to God damn, He's all doing? grown up. Nate, have you seen any of the uh, cut riding around? I have not. You were the first, first uh, large party I saw. That's why I took a gander at you. That's when I spotted you. All right. Figure I didn't need to run for it. Yeah, well, you figured right. We're gonna head to Rhodes, Nate. You take it easy, fella. Oh, uh, likewise. See you around, Nate. Mm hmm. Freddy has such a good voice. Get it. Just maybe chuckle a lot, don't know. What the hell does it mean? When's the last time one? You've been inside of a bank. Uh, it's been a while. Mills? Yes, Golden. You ready to go 23 and 0? Motherfucker, I've been ready. <laughs> Fucking right. Oh, shit. They, 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 gotta, they gotta be in the saloon. I, 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 Alice, I left it. I think I see you. Yeah, Jack's right there. Hello, Mr. Gentleman. I... Wait a minute. You talking Van Horn? Talking Van Horn. Good to see you. Yeah, I remember him. Me and him go way back. We rode out, we were riding out to save you right now. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Howdy, motherfuckers. Motherfucker, did they hurt you? They made a big mistake, is what they did. They're straight. Did they let you go? They did something. What did they do? A big mistake, that's what they did. Mmm, Taki was see. He was, he was right into Armadillo, motherfucker. It was all on the, on the high porch right there over there in the saloon. All staring down. They thought it was a good idea to put a knife in my hand. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, yeah, wait, wait hold on, wait. Did you, did, wait, you mean, did you knife him? Or did they, did they knife your hand? I think we should get out of Rose for us. Get, get out of Rose, don't fuck him. Mills, I ain't never been so happy to see you. Pip. Look at this I, outfit we got. I ain't never been so happy not to be able to see you. <laughs> it's Alice Eve too, brother. Fucking hell. Even though you hate my guts, I ain't never been so happy to see you. <laughs> Goldie? Yes, Jack. I still hate I still hate your guts. What the hell, Jack? <laughs> Let's do let, let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get on your horses. 
I'm happy to see you too, Doctor. Sloan, thank you for the updates. Yes, Jack. Goldie. Yes, Jack. I'm glad she's all right, Jack. Yeah, me too. We was real worried. We was everywhere. Check it all over. Hi, hello. <laughs> hey, the motherfucker. I'm glad you ain't check, uh, clapping no cheeks today. I ain't, I ain't glad. I'm, 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 I missed the, the cheek clapping for none. What the hell? Listen, before we go, I got a small account to settle at the gun store. We're about to find out, Fripsy. I'm here to settle the account. Hi, Colin. Hey, Goldie. What you doing? Getting ready to go lay my head down. Mm, is it about that time? It's getting there. Oh, oh. Be right back, Poop. I appreciate you having my back in a pinch. Okay. Yep, of course. That covers, does that cover it? It covers more than enough. I appreciate that, partner. Y'all take care. Bye, take care. Mr. Yeah. Flood. Safe there. Bye, Colin. Take care, you around, Goldie. <laughs> Pips, you gonna take the reins now? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> He literally threw up a massive fuss as soon as you got off. What the hell? He started kicking around. You just stay safe, okay? Of course. What the hell? It's Jack. It's Jack. <laughs> Something's going to do him. It seems good. I heard that he was really skilled with the knife, and all he did, all he needs is a knife. So maybe he took out everyone with just one knife, Pip. There ain't no way, though, right? Ah, uh, maybe. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like you know fences he's very very stroppy very picky he'll only go when he wants to go <laughs> so we get a guy where he wants to go where the fuck are the others what are they are hi connor Sweetheart, mm -hmm. I don't even feel my shoulder injury in injury anymore. I'm so happy. Alice, we're headed to Moonstone. Everybody know where that is? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go to Moonstone. Oh Lord. Pip. People mm -hmm. are is that Moonstone? I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Yeah. It has been burned before, to be honest. So we'll keep an eye. We'll keep an eye out. We used it once this week, right? Say that again, sorry. I think we used it once already this week. We need to. Maybe we make the three strike rule. Three strikes at every single place we go to. Once we go there three times, then we go a new one. Moving our toes yeah. out. 
Because how the hell else they know we was up in the house, you know? Already more than three times. I think we got to switch it up. There ain't no way that lady was just lucky to find us there, you think? Mm. The only other people that know we were there, though, is that, that doctor lady. Like, oh, she'd know shit. for sure. Hey, how do you feel about this loan? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really trust any doctors because they will help anyone. Mm. It's part of their, you know, thing and their, what's it, the Hippocratic Oath or something like that? Yeah. She seems to be helpful, but I never know who else she's helping. That's true. Maybe when he gets helped in or if someone gets helped in, we just move him after. Mm. She did send updates though to Mills just now, so I suppose I shouldn't uh, shouldn't put it down too badly. Yeah. I think we all have a bad case of paranoia right now. Mm-hmm. I don't like being paranoid. I hate it. Yeah, she saved his life multiple times, too. What's up, Yak? How you doing? Server's full tonight, really? Yo, it was, it was busy when I hopped on earlier, too. They are going a very strange way to Moonstone. Oh, well. Holy shit, really? We'll see them there. Hey, Kano, is there going to be, like, a prio system? There is? Hey, do I have Pryo? <laughs> hey, Gano, do I have Pryo? Yeah, a quick scout around first. See if there are anyone sneaking around. That's real smart, Pip. That looks like they're right behind us. His lack of answer right now is really intimidating to me. Oh, shit. Back in the train. Brace, base prio plub. Right, let's go and have a little quick peek. Negative pro. Oh, I can't with you guys. All right, next time we run to Big L, we'll ask. Hey, Big L. So, uh. Where do I stand on that uh, transport to the Sicily? I'm always wondering about that face in the rock up there. I wonder if anyone's ever been there watching us. I was like staring creepy. at that the other night too. There around. Hmm. You know, I still ain't ever kill a bear. They always fall on me or eat my ass. Yeah, bears are fucking, you know, dangerous. Real fucking dangerous. Pip, shit. Think we've been followed? Not us. I don't think so. Uh, well, you know what? Now that you say that, I'm going to keep an eye out. All right. Alice. Uh-huh. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad I'm okay, too. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I got some graze on my arms with Pips took care of it. Okay. Yeah, graze, grazes aren't, aren't too bad. Nah, it's nothing compared to you. Mm-hmm. Where did that red guy go? I don't know.
Mills, where did Reed go? He rode off. You know, that fella told me he was retiring today. He was, he's a, an original outlaw around the cross, and you understand? He, he gave me his guns, but he said I could always call in a favor. We came out of retirement today to ride with us. Really? True. Did he go back into retirement now? Is that why he done rode off? Yep. No. I'm gonna go be an old man. Damn, he, he missed a good chance to get the final gunfight, goddammit. I think you gotta call in another favor later. I, think, I don't think that works that way. I don't know, Jesus. Oh. You know the way I see it, the motherfucker, you owe me a favor. <clears throat> I know you owe me a favor. That cancels out. You what the hell, Jack? Jack? What the fuck well, happened? I'm all right. You... Just, just, just give me a minute. Nah. Okay? Oh. Let's just take a little breather here. Can we do that? Goldie, Can we just I take a breather and look at the sky? Flower. Nah, that's poison. It's... Come on, eat it. Yeah, it's cantaril. It's poisonous. I, I dare you to eat it. Nah. I put these together so I can give it to people to eat. What the hell is you did? You, so hold on, you trying to poison my fucker? I mean, I was, yeah, but I ain't had time in a while. With it. You dirty with it. Nobody likes you dirty <laughs> with it. Where's Pip? Pip, he's keeping an outlook. Who, who are those two? Where's Alice? The fellow with orange hair. Is that McGregor? Nah, but I see that. He's out. Why is there always people? I thought I looked back and I thought Pip that I saw you down, so I was I wasn't leaving. I just kept zigzagging, zigzagging, and then they started really laying it on me. I didn't want to leave you there on the ground. I went up into the trees. They dropped my horse. They put me down. Then they all circled me and they got me. They ah, kept saying shit. we got a present for Annabelle. We got a present for Annabelle. They literally went all the way to the end of the desert. Fuck, I knew it, Pip. Mm. My brother, you, do you remember our hideout in the end of the desert? I do. That very end of the desert, that's where they took me. Fuck. They took me there. Cole was there. Morgans was there. Annabelle was there. They first stopped in Armadillo, got some more people, and took us to our, our old, 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 old OG hideout. When we, were over, when we were over there, they start, why Jack? Why Jack? Why this? Why that? Annabelle started going on and on, but I don't know what the fuck she was talking about. But I sensed, I sensed that she didn't want me to be there. Then Cole started going on and on. I won't get into the particulars, because it was the same old. They told me that I got to drop Holly Frost. That's the only option. I explained to them, Mills. Hey, hey we've been watched. Yeah, oh. by who? Up on that hill. Okay, I'm, th 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 we're going to go mark somebody right All now. All right, follow, follow me. Right now, I'm, we're killing them. Is it the same people, Pip? Not 100% sure. They put they put their head down, pug their head down. Who goes there, eh? Easy now, easy now, easy. Oh. It's all friends. It's all friends. What do you like the scenery here? around here? <laughs> oh, so the chances. Are having a little kumbaya. What are you doing here? Having another kumbaya, man. <laughs> yeah, we were having a better kumbaya. 
You all planning on meeting somebody here? Nah, we just have, have, have it in by yeah. You want to go to the tent talk? I don't like to go to the tent talk. All right, lead the way. I think they found out their house was burned down yet. I, I assume so. <laughs> you want to tell them? I don't. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna yeah, tell them nothing. By the way, that you probably want to know, guys. Get in here. <laughs> so Annabelle and them, they were real worried, saying that we're working with the Dicenzos, that we gotta deal with the Dicenzos. Very interesting to Jack. find them here. Jack. 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 Mm. Never mind. Listen, I'm going to. I think I'm going to have to. Uh, no. Stick up uh -uh. on a hill somewhere. No. -uh. Mm -mm. No pip. It's just there's a lot of us, right? A lot pip. You better not go. To I'm not going to sleep. I'm oh. just saying that. I'm just saying that uh, there's a lot of us right now, and if yeah. anything were to kick off, then it'd be bad for everyone. Yeah, I understand. I thought you meant you was gonna take a nap in the trees. No, no, I, I want to stick by. To be honest, I'll stay. Uh, I'll stay back with you. you no, know, fuck it. I don't think anything's gonna kick off. Evos, could you do us a favor, mate? Could you keep an eye out? Yeah, no worries. Just keep it, keep it, yeah, just circle around. Let us know if anyone's looking. Yeah. sure it's all right you want me to yeah. head back pip we could go no 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 it's all right i think it's all right really bonsai how how so I wonder if this horse tonic will quench my thirst. Maybe don't drink that. Okay. Nice setup y'all got us going on over here. It's lovely. Hey, uh, not ours. Whoever the hell had it uh, set up, uh, they did a pretty good job indeed, yeah. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the, um, let's get the nasty stuff out of the way. A lot has changed since the last time we talked. But I want to make it clear, we're not after you. I think we've uh, discussed very well that with two people, two groups at least, that say things up front, up, up straight up to people, up to the face, regardless of if it's pleasant or not, we're not after you, we're not looking to harm you. Oh. Do you got anything against us? Let me fill you in on something that I haven't filled in even my partners on because it just happened. And me telling you this, I think we'll answer your question. And I hope you see it as a sign of trust. First, I'm going to read you a, a telegram that came to me that I keep in my back pocket. And I read it to laugh. And sometimes I read it to my partners and they laugh. Sender, none. Station that was sent from, Armadillo. 
Title, Dicenzos. They laugh at you, mock you daily. Said you once tried to be like them but couldn't last in the business world for five minutes. Why would you trust them? Soon they will betray you or you will be working for them. Sounds to me like some people out west are getting a bit desperate. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god. I like when they do that so we much. Them to fucking pieces. And they start they start what are they doing? Selling propaganda? What is this? A propaganda war now? Hey, 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 hey. Sorry to hold you up, but there's a right over there with Binox out. Is that yours? Uh, then, yeah, I think he's, we got one circling around right now. On a horse? Yeah, brown coat. The look brown, greenish, yeah. Yeah, that's it, it's us. Tony, he's he's, he's definitely not trying to hide, right. so. He's on your right in the main road. He's over down the road, he's on the road right now. If, if his name's Athos, yeah, 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 he's yeah, fine. Yeah, he's Athos. 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 Okay, all right, sorry, Athos. sorry. Athos. We can get back to laughing. <laughs> I tell you what, partner. I don't give a damn. If a telegram comes to me and it's anonymous, to me it's garbage. And what that telegram showed to me is desperation. I was down in the desert. That's where I just was. And I was taken there by force. I thought I was going to die. Taipan had me. Annabelle had me. Now, this is what I was going to tell my partners down there by that, by that pond, because they haven't even heard this. And I'm telling you, because I want you to know. Now, what did they start talking about? First, Annabelle spoke. She talked about the Dicenzos. Why are you working with them? You're allied with them. You guys are working together. I said, you got any problem with the Dicenzos, any business with them, you take it up with them. Don't talk to me about the Dicenzos. I said, if I was doing business or if I wasn't doing business, if I was meeting or I wasn't meeting, I wouldn't tell you either way. But I found it real funny. How they speaking to me about y'all. Do you find that interesting, Cesar, Sonny? Yeah. No, it's interesting. They're trying to they're trying to play the mind game. I see I see I see the angle. I do. I think they might think you and us we're in bed together and whatnot. And you know, I wouldn't blame them. Wouldn't blame them. But they're clearly confused, and that's actually good. Let them be confused. I smelled something today when they spoke that I haven't smelled in a long time. I smelled desperation. The first scent I got was from that telegram. That's why I kept it with me, to remind me. But today, it was dripping off of them. Yeah, Cripsy. They're getting nervous. And they're getting desperate. Yeah. They wanted to speak and drop ultimatums to find a resolve. You see, Clayton once told me and my partners that they don't got the intestinal fortitude. They're getting fatigued and they're getting tired. Now the walls are closing in. You're right, they are confused. But the important thing is we're not. And as far as that telegram goes, like I told my partners, from the very beginning, every discussion, every agreement that we have had together, 
both sides, we've always honored it. We got word that y'all are after some of the folk at West, which is kind of funny because if we were working together so closely, I thought I would have found out from y'all directly. Shows how much they know. Sorry about that. Go on. No, that's all, partner. It does show how much they know. They know nothing. You're right, they're getting desperate. They're getting desperate because we're applying pressure. And you know what, I'll tell you something, Kettleman, crew. Their house of cards is already falling apart. And we've only blown a slight breeze in their direction. They have no idea what's coming to them. No idea. Now, we are not aligned. Us. We are not allies. We agreed as such on our last meeting. But as I said that day, our interests are aligned. I think we have a common goal. Amen, partner. Amen, indeed. I got My something that I want to discuss. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I got a little telegram. And I haven't said this to uh, anybody either, so it's kind of uh, ironic you did it you did it the way you did it earlier, Jack, because I'm going to have to do the same here. It's just that it's important for you to listen to this, Scott Bowe. Anybody else that can hear me? Received a telegram today. It reads as follows. Taipan is actively scouting for you and Jack Kettleman's crew. A group of six. Three from Taipan, three from Annabelle. Taipan members seem like senior Taipan members. They also mention you taking a little swim, Kettleman. They also mention a couple of people getting shot down in Saint Denis from your crew. The cut is bringing war to the city, and Taipan has officially raised arms against the Familia de Genzo. Oh shit, These dude. motherfuckers. You talk about serious. They show us their good face in the meeting, huh? all nice and shit, serving us tea and whatnot. And then behind our backs, they do this. What have we done to them to wrong them? Absolutely nothing. I want to make nothing. it clear, we have done absolutely nothing to type in. We have not hurt any of theirs. We have not hurt any of their interests. Unless one of them's got a fucking heart on for Annabelle, then maybe I can understand why they're upset. But otherwise, they have absolutely no reason to get involved in this conflict. Now, we are not unreasonable people. We will give people the benefit of the doubt. The moment a Taipan weapon is aimed in my general direction, I will gun them the fuck down at every corner. Holy but shit. up until that point, the move is on their end. Now again, we are not aligning. There is no allegiance between Kettleman and Famiglia di Cenzo. But it seems as time passes that more and more of our interests are aligned. It looks to me, y'all, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all got some worms to crush out west, while well, we got some worms to crush out east. As a matter of fact, when Alice and I got gunned down by them when they pulled out their guns in St. Denis, and I quote from Solomon, we'll teach them to stay the fuck out of our city. want you to take offense to that. I don't want you to take offense to this. That city was ours long before the cut or you ever came into it. And it will be ours for a long time after. You and the cut move on. It's not about 
who's got the bigger gun. It's about history and roots. The cut think that the city is theirs, it's only because we're not in it. Because we don't bring water to the streets of Saint Denis. We're in an active conflict, we left. We will come back. And just like the rats come scurrying out when the cat's gone, when the cat comes back, it starts feasting. I just found it funny because they never said any of that shit to y'all's faces. They never said they that shit to our faces either until they got every fucking worm in the cross and the ally with. It's because they they're snakes. Spineless. That's what they are. They got the fucking balls for it. Let it be said one more time, and I'm going to say it myself, and I'm going to reiterate what you said. My partners and our gang is not in an active allegiance with the Dicenzos. It just so happens that our goals are just pointing in the same direction. Now, it's been said by both y'all and us, and so let no one here ever get confused moving forward. What we do have is a certain understanding, though, that when we come to an agreement, we keep it. Like I said, that was out in the desert, and they were giving me ultimatums. What they were doing was giving off airs of desperation. They wanted me to drop it. And you know what I told them? I said, listen, if I'm dead, Mills will carry on till he's dead. And if Mills dies, Pip will carry on till he's dead. And when he dies, Alice will carry on till, he, till she's dead. And when she goes, Jed will carry on till she... And over 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 again, period. I thought they were going to kill me. Well, the option was, now everybody listen carefully because Mills, you haven't heard this pip, Alice. They said you drop the beef with Holly Frost or you take a knife and duel with the knife one of their people there. Some young kid I never knew before. Well, you don't got to ask me twice. <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke. Kid never stood a chance, <laughs> by the way. God so, damn. So he got sliced, he got dropped, and he's bleeding somewhere in the desert, and I'm here. The tide of whatever this is turned today. It turned today. The tide will only continue turning in our favor. By the way, I want to ask you if you got a certain telegram that I got, another one that's anonymous. I didn't bring it up earlier because, like I said, I put no credence in these anonymous messages. But since you got one as well, might as well. I got a telegram telling me that there's a bounty on the cut. Now, you can also say no comment, which is fine. A no certain price, a certain price for a cup member's head if they get attacked and a display is made in town. As a matter of fact, I'll ask everybody here, did anybody get a telegram like that? Yes, I did. That's a no from me. Nope, nothing from our end. If we put the uh, bounties on anybody's head, we'll tell you. Scott Body, you gonna say something? No, I ain't got nothing. But no, I didn't, I didn't receive that either, no. Okay. Now, as far as Annabelle goes, I'll let you know that the twice that I've been taken and captured and taken over there, they've been standing arm in arm. Make of that what you will. Sorry, wait, what, what do you mean? Who, who's standing arm in arm? 
But what I mean is twice when they grabbed me, Annabelle was there. And so was the member of the Taipan. First it was Bai Lee. And today it was Cohen, another member. What I'm saying is when they operate, whenever they go out causing mischief, they do it together. The both times that I've encountered them. I'm only saying this because it might illuminate something for you. You spoken to Jang Wei about any of this? Was he present at all? Down there? I have I have not seen Jiang Wei for a long, long, long time. I don't go searching for his company. Yeah. They should have done, they would have done a lot better give a pistol to me. Put a gun in my hand. Then I would have surely went down. Those Muppets gave me a dagger. Damn, I want to see what happened. Easy, everyone. Easy. Probably a hunter. It's a local. Two people on a Someone horse just ran there. him off his horse. Two people on one horse. Babe, what do you think of the whole situation? I think, well, what you just said then rings true the yesterday when I, when I went down uh, out west. Bumped into them. They had a lovely chat with me, and it Sorry, was uh, me them two. Peter oh, and what's his name? Carl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all good. Yeah, you all right? Yeah. A little, little bullshit. Nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah, uh, is Iris still here? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. curly. Looking for you, Jack. We spotted a group of people, group of six, going into the city. They remarkably looked like Peter, Co, and company. But here's the thing. If the times add up, they were out west with you. So also in the city, apparently, they've got some people dressing up just like them. All working together, it seems. Would you agree with that, Mills, from what you saw earlier on the bridge? Yeah, it did look just like them. It could have been some members from Taipan. I think they were visiting the cut cells. Now, I'll tell you one more thing. Not that y'all need any advice when it comes to holding your own. These people are extremely, and I mean extremely, extremely well informed. When I say they are well informed, I mean I sent a telegram to one of my people that where we're gonna meet, we show up and that they're waiting for us. Not once, not twice, but several times. As a matter of fact, someone's probably seeing us meet right now with you, counting on it. Now, I don't think you'll have as much of a problem as us on account of you guys keep your business clean and tight. But they have eyes and ears in every damn city. From Blackwater to Valentine, San Denis, and out west. All of your whereabouts, they will know about now. I mean, all of them. Make of that what you will. Up until now, people have been calling it a war. This wasn't a war. This was the whole damn world after me and my gang. The whole damn world. Yeah, feel free to post it. I'm not going to watch it right now, now, but... I'm sure they got eyes and ears all over the cities and um, in the trees and in the birds and probably in the wind, too. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you one thing, Jack. As well-informed as they might think they are, 
after they are not more informed than we are. Trust me. They ain't got nothing. Absolutely nothing. They have no idea what's gonna hit them. We're taking our time with it because we want to enjoy this. Suppose we'll take care of the uh, the west while you take care of the east, huh? Sounds like a plan. One more thing I want to tell you. They, uh, I mean, I'm sure y'all already know this, but they like to hide on the roofs in Armadillo. And I mean, when Jack, when Jack was saying they were well informed, before we even rode into Armadillo, they had six people all spread out up on the roofs in Armadillo. Yeah. They got crates on the roofs. Don't ever ride into Armadillo down the center. On both sides, they got crates stocked up full of ammunition, medical supplies. Damn, that's crazy. Center. They know that if anybody rides into town, it's a fucking death trap. Don't do it. They're vulnerable from the sides. We proved as much the other day. Oh, the shit. other day? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They didn't even fucking see us. They could stand on their roofs all they goddamn want. That desert is way too fucking big to cover with two eyes, six eyes, eight eyes, whatever. Don't matter. Police says, oh, you gotta tell me more. The fucking like Duchesnes are crazy. See, my brother was in a bad mood one day. He said, hey, I got a little itch right here, scratching his neck. Think we should go out west. Scott Batty back here backed it up. He said, hey, that's a good fucking idea. That's a good fucking idea. And so we went out west. Smell like, like shit, cholera, dust. <laughs> They're Said, so man, good. Can't believe these people live out here like this. We said that saloon right there looks pretty fucking, uh, pretty fucking good. And so we snuck up on it on foot. Nobody saw us. Nothing. They're fucking blind. They can have 20 people in that town. They ain't gonna see you. We took that saloon as swift as can be. That shit was ours. That's the heart of the fucking town, too. Shooting us from the rooftops, we gave them hell. Lucky we, didn't, we ran out of ammunition. Gunned a few of them down. All of us came out unharmed. Just a couple grazes. Them no motherfuckers know. Sorry, go ahead. Them motherfuckers know that they ain't safe where they stand at any time of the day. Early, late, don't fucking matter. Well, that explains the telegrams, and that explains them pulling me to the desert to talk about the Dichenzos. Ah. Like I said... We've only blown a slight breeze in their direction, Jack. Holy shit. That shit my brother's talking about. That's us going. <laughs> Holy shit. They're fucking crazy. Well, I tell you what. Since my mood has not been higher for a long time, I think this would be a perfect moment for us to uh, depart. Leave you out to your business and me and my people to ours. That sounds good. It's good to see you all in good shape. Keep it up. You guys got the willpower of, uh, of a bull. <laughs> so keep it up. Get your shit, get your shit done. Y'all got this. Take care, gentlemen. Ciao, ciao. Take it Bye. Take Bona it fortuna. Bona gotcha. Good hunting.
Pips. Mm hmm. You think this is a bad time to ask Cesaro about his nipple? You want to bring up the nipple and the house? Oh my god. <laughs> Did I not? I mean, it's as good as time as any. Let's see the good mood. About that, Jack. Maybe next time to try to give me some gravel would gentlemen. be better. <laughs> How are you feeling, Pip? I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm Holy very surprised shit. about uh, what I've just learned, but wow. If that was just them breathing the airs, so I wonder what it'd be like if they farted on them. Oh my god. <laughs> That's up, Sven. Got some good info there, though. Hey, Jack. Talk to me, porno. You want to know how I think Top Hand knew we were up there earlier? How was that? That, f that fucking chief of the era Cohen ratted us out. So let me get this straight. That would mean that she would have to go back and relay a telegram. Then that would mean that they would have to have people waiting at telegrams. And that would mean that that'd be a place that we can pick them off. Unless they Sounds had a second right. person and she was just the one stalling. Because she was kind of leading us around circles with Mills and I. Saying oh, she so was just picking things and taking her time. So you mean they done spotted us a lot sooner, Goldie? I think that they spotted us and then I heard those binoculars, remember? And then I ran outside and then we saw her across the river. She waved at us. Then we walked up to her. Then she was taking her time and she didn't tell us who she was. She's like, your friends will know who I am. And then Mills and I was like walking behind her and she refused to stop to talk to us. She was just real slow like, I'm just We're picking these mushrooms. Here. We're going left here, come on. And then Jack. Trying to get us close it. And then Jack, then after she was like done taking her time, she suddenly just took off sp sprinting away. So she might have been buying time to. Pips. Uh, right, dude. It Is looks like the Chenzos. I think so. Yeah, that's the Dicenzos. Yeah. That's a beautiful shot, Pip. It's so Is pretty up here. I said that's a beautiful sight. What'd you think about them, man? Them, 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 them putting a fucking knife in my hand. There was only one way that was gonna go. That's like challenging Thor to a hammer fight. I remember what I said to the Dicenzos. This whole time, this was no war. Everybody kept calling it a war. This was a fucking vendetta against our gang. With every faction working together. Five different fronts all pointed in our direction. That ain't no war. Thanks but now, sure. we have some people whose goals align with ours. Aw, Alice. Maybe now it'll be a little bit more similar to a, a what they call a war. I'm telling you, the tide of the war changed today. 
The title of this bullshit changed today. When they took me out there, all they were trying to do was figure out a way for us to drop it. They already tired. Mills, does that remind you of something? Them getting tired? Reminds me of every motherfucker, every other motherfucker that stood against us. Remember someone's in Van Horn? You remember people getting tired? I remember. I do. Tell me, how'd you convince that Jack Reed to ride with us? As a matter of fact, he came to me today. Alice and I were gunned Aww. down. Why are people happy? In Saint Denis. Top Pan had us. Jack Reed's the very first person I ever met in the cross, and he rolled up to Top Pan and said, I got him. Get the fuck out of here. He took us to a doctor, got us bandaged up. He said, Mills, I'm I'm retiring, I'm done with this life. You'll always be a friend, something along those lines. I got a telegram from him saying, if you ever need anything, Mills, I'm one telegram away. I said, how about coming out of retirement for one day? Ten minutes later, he rides up with a gun in his hand. Goldie, were you hurting in Honestburg? I got a graze on my arm, Jack. But then Pip done helped me fix it up. You should probably get that looked at again. You don't trust Body. yourself, Pip. Was... I poured water on it. That's the extent of what I did. God damn it, Pip. Goldie was I'm real equestrian like earlier. We all made it out of there. Me, Pip, and Goldie. It's because I followed but your we... lead, Mills. We turned around. When we heard the gunfire, we went down there. We found Alice, but we couldn't find you. I got an idea, Jack. Tell it to me. These cut motherfuckers keep riding out six deep. And they stay in their little fortress six deep. Once we're all healed up. I say. One of us. Walks through those gates. You know, with a uh, little bit of this. Uh, Solomon, let's talk. When is this shit gonna end? And while that fella's distracting them out front, we have five of our people sneak in through the back. It's a good they idea. They keep bringing the fight to ours, to us. I say we bring it to them. Be very careful about that house. The way the architecture is designed, it's like a castle. You can shoot out of it, but you can't shoot into it. You know how the slits on a castle work, right? You can shoot out of it, but you can't shoot into it. The arrows go out, but the arrows don't go back in. Whatever fight happens, if they're in their house, that's going to be a losing battle. That's why the person out front got to do a good job at distracting them. Just an idea, though. You can always catch him out in the open. They said you either drop Holly Frost or you fight this kid in a knife battle. I said, let me come back when I'm at full health. I said, if he beats a wounded man, well... There ain't no pride in that. And if I beat him, his shame is double. They wouldn't have it any other way. A kid I never met before. I asked him how long he's been around for. He said one month. In one month, they don't poison his brain to the point that he was ready to get a knife. 
and risk his life fighting for people he barely know. Trying to kill a man that never harmed him. I don't know what they were thinking, Mills. Like you said, Jack, I felt bad for, I, I felt bad for the kid. They should have challenged me to a gunfight. They were sure of winning then. They weren't thinking. You know why, Jack? Because they worm. Worms don't have brains, right, guys? I think they got them. They're just real small. Yeah, they got them. Well, they got peanut brains, then. Nah, they're smaller than peanuts. You know what, Goldie? You got to pick a different pet to show affection for people. It was the only pets they had in the system. Jack, what you want me That's to do? That's what I was telling her. I said they ain't got intestinal fortitude. They ain't got men the mental constitution. The first day I meet her, she gives me a fucking worm, man. I nearly strangled her. That's cute. That kid's probably bleeding somewhere. I didn't even know him. They done made him fight me with a knife. With a Taipan blade. I'm real skillful with a dagger. I don't know why anybody come close to me if they're my enemy. You should have seen it, Jack. We had Operation Save Jack T. Potman in effect. Man, the only thing I was thinking about was hoping and praying y'all didn't go down there. All they wanted me to do was to drop it. I'm telling you, brother, they're getting fatigued. They were talking about DiCenzo's. That blew me away. Why the fuck are they talking to us about the DiCenzo's? I got a telegram today sure. about a bounty. A bounty on the cut. If anybody attacks one of their members in town or whatever, and there's witnesses to prove it, they get paid. It was anonymous, but it did have a return address. Well, I'm dragging Solomon through the streets of Saint Denis for free. I don't need that money. Yeah, might as well get paid two grand for it. I'm pretty sure that's the price on his head. Maybe you can use it to gamble. Yeah. You know who was really good at putting bounties on people? Better than anybody else? Oh Summers. Boy. A certain Summers. Naughty. We still have not met that gentleman. And He's I still aim to eat, to meet with him. Jack. Yeah. You know he walked into the Valentine. Did you give him a big hug from me? Hell no, nah, I ain't seen him. He walked into the Valentine Saloon to look for the Sam Bass. Is it true that some was in his people shot down peaches? They shot at Peaches, but she was already shot from the dead British, so someone misunderstood what happened. But they robbed her, and she glared at them, so they shot at her, but they didn't shoot her. I saw Moxie last night. We went to go check up on the Dicenzo's place, and it was all burnt down, rubble and all. She thought that it might have been the Summers gang. But then, uh, Mill said it's probably the Annabelle's. So, I don't know. I doubt that was Summers. Mills, I told. I told him that if I dropped it with Holly. And if I died. Trying to settle that score. That you would continue it. Until you die, or finish the job. I 
I said that if you go down, Pip would continue the job. The scene is so until pretty. Until he died. It's so pretty. If he wasn't dead, Jed would continue. And so forth and so forth. Sounds about right of the cult of Kettleman, right? Hi, Dean. You know, everyone's throwing out that word, word cult. I've never seen more yes men in my life than the people out west. They got someone that just joined Taipan to fight you. Give me a fucking break. The kid didn't stand a chance. I asked him for his name. He muttered something. I think he said Drake. His voice was quivering. They said the word to fight. I put him down and all I heard was, oh. That's all I heard. Oh. Wait, what was his name? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what all was his was name? Say, they do and put in a knife in your hand. Oh, that's all I heard. <laughs> oh. Did they say oh, Danny? Yeah, for the rest of my life with pleasure. Reverberating in my ears. Oh, Drake. Okay, never mind. Drizzy. <laughs> I thought they said Danny for a second. I was like, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait. Did, 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 uh. <laughs> did Sock, Sock's character Snacks join the Taipan? Put a gun in my hand. Drink that worm. I think so. <laughs> they could have challenged you to uh, do it with, with sidearms. I want to tell you something, by the way. When I made it to Rhodes, I got a telegram that Alice was there. I wrote you all I was coming, but I had no weapons. So I went to get armed and stand guard and make sure no one tried nothing until y'all arrived. I went into the gun store. I was frantic. My adrenaline was still pumping. Said I need a Lancaster and everything. It's true, Hannah. They did not let me pay. Flood and a gentleman behind the counter handed me a brand new clean Lancaster with two boxes of ammunition. Standing right there next to him was Molly. You know, I suspect that she has something to do with it. That was a friend in a time that I didn't expect. Now we have people like the Dechenzos riding on our enemies. There's people putting bounties on the cuts. I think today the tide of the war changed in our favor for once. We needed this. I needed this today. I needed this. They had that elephant, that elephant rifle again. I don't think I would have been able to take a second time. I told him we didn't drop that beef with Harley. When someone's asked us to. Who the hell are they, man? Molly turned in her badge, but they we don't know why yet. Drake, man. They set him up to die today. I never seen him before. He was a young kid, man. He was fresh. He was green. They had it all planned out. They gave me a blade and they gave him a blade. I kept saying, let's do it. When I return at full health. He said he had just been around for a month. Did she tell us why I'm though? Have to I, I actually to don't remember. I think I was so tired that I don't remember I don't why. Think there's any shame to going down to my blade. <laughs> oh not. yeah, to write a book. 
She did say that. She said she already published one. We're the demons, man. We're the demons. Yeah, you guys have a good memory. Taking a stranger off the road, putting a gun in his hand, and saying, go after that man. Do you guys think it's ironic he's talking about fresh blood, blood in under a month fighting? And there's Goldie in, the, in this conversation. But I don't think that they would ever put Goldie to fight, like, someone who's, like, more experienced. The desperation's the... Because I think that, uh... Such no. a beautiful thing. They're getting tired. You know, there was a man in history named Hannibal. And Pip, by the way, he had only one eye. You know that? It's right. That's right. Dude, that was so good. Yeah, they would never the ask her to fight because they cared Carthage, too much, unlike the other people. The greatest general of all time. He waged war with Rome for 12 years. Never lost one battle. This war says a lot, doesn't war, it? Battalion after battalion, he crushed them all. Then he took the fight to Rome. All the way on their land, for the first time, it seemed like Rome was legitimately going down. Well, you know what? In the end, he lost. Because Rome outlasted him. Rome outlasted him. The greatest general never <laughs> lost a fucking battle, loses the war. He got rolled. We done took a lot of licks. We done got ground down. But you know what? All they did was bring us closer together. That's all it did as far as I'm concerned. You know, there was a thought that was creeping into my mind like a parasite, Goldie, all night. I couldn't sleep because of it. Yeah. He's gonna my tell heart, me? My heart was telling me it wasn't true, but my mind was telling me it was. It was eating away at me. Yeah, you thought that I'd done set you up. That's what my brain wanted me to believe. Yeah, I know you, how it looked. You or Vivian? You had her. He had her gun out and was ready to smoke him today. Yeah, I would have smoked him. Well, probably got shot more, but I would have smoked him anyways. But I didn't do that, Jack. I was real worried. I was telling Pip. I know it looks real bad, but we don't talk to Ms. Vivian after two. Me, Alice, Wes, Renny, we went down to talk to Ms. Vivian and she seemed like she wanted to help, right, Alice? You think she did? Is she okay? You know, Goldie, I'd still like to talk to her nonetheless. Can we do it when we's not all separated, Jack? You just got the worst luck in the entire crossing, I'm telling you. Twice, I opened my eyes <laughs> and ten minutes later get found out. As a matter of fact, my eyes were open. You motherfuckers are in the living room talking so fucking loud, I can't get no sleep. All right, fine. You want us to leave you alone there? Uh, no, I'm just saying, keep your voices. There's a guy in the room sleeping, recovering. Yeah, we're talking so loud. We missed you. Speak for yourself. I don't miss this guy. <laughs> All right, fine. I missed you then. I was waiting for you to wake up. Then slip a note under the door or something. Nah. Next time I'm gonna run in there and start poking you until you wake up. No poking in the recovery room, by the way. All right. So what you think now, Jack, huh? You still question me? I'm questioning you even more now. What the hell? That's right, but not about where you stand. More about your life decisions. <laughs> the hell is that supposed to mean? Like your favorite pet being a worm. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> She got a warm name for each one of us. I was in Sizzle. 
for 365 days and there ain't no other animals in there besides the worms. What you want me to do? You were sleeping half the time. I was listening to that summer's guy growl by himself inside the, the cell, sleeping on the floor. Didn't you get like a cute animal, like a cat, now that you're out of prison? I mean, where's the closest cat? Or like a puppy dog? Whose dog you want me to steal? That's too or much responsibility. Cute, or a cute bird? That's too noisy. Listen, there is something I want to talk about. One more thing, as a matter of fact. When they speak, I can tell that the only thing on their minds is cattlemen's, 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 cattlemen's. It is wearing them down. It is where they might be more paranoid than we are. Believe me. They are wearing down. But we got to remember that life still moves on. Even during war. This is like the war pep talk. We're still going to do our jobs. We're still going to continue living. And we're still going to make money. There was a back shaft operation that I was setting up because I'm starting to go a little low on cash. Back shaft. Still got jams. But cash is always good. And by the way, I've been hearing whispers and rumors that some folk learning how incredibly effective the elephant rifle is, are starting to store their stuff in the way in the banks. Because word gets out that you have one, they're going to come after you. They're stashing these guns in the bank safety deposit boxes. I wouldn't mind if our crew had one to hold, uh, you know, just like the enemy does. Pip, you figure you'll be handy with an elephant rifle? I'll fix all, man. Just give it a fucking solid guard. Pip, you ready? <laughs> you ready to clean I love the Blackwater Pip. Bank tomorrow? I, hey, yes, I am. Yes, I fucking am. Now, listen, um, me, Wesley, and Goldie over there, we're going to do a backshaft operation. The three of us are going to go and swipe some of that corporate grade TNT. And if all goes well, then Mills, you'll debrief us with the plan on Blackwater. It'll be me, Goldie, yourself, and two others on this job. Not Wesley. He already made a move on a bank right now and he's to lay low. Pip. I'd love if Pip was there. Pip. I'll be there. That leaves two spaces. Nice. Alice, if you're healthy. Yeah, sure. And Kaniklo, if he's healthy. If not, I'm sure we can find somebody else to substitute. Now, if we can, I'd love it if we can make it to the telegram just once. <laughs> yeah, that's I was exactly going to say that. <laughs> I get rolled up on, man, just one time. <laughs> Listen, I had no weapon earlier, you understand? I had nothing. I was sitting with one CC in my back pocket. Hey, Goldie. Yeah, Jack. You still got that checkerboard tablecloth shirt that you were wearing yesterday? Yeah. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. The minor one. You remember it? Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, we was going into the back shop, Jack. That's right. Three and one. What do you see over there, Pip? I mean, Mills? <laughs> Wow. I've, I've never seen Alice this friendly to someone. I'm taking what do you it mean? Okay. Now, if Jed is around, I'd like for Jed to be on this job, too. It's been a long time since he was able to, uh... do a bank robbery, but he was there when we started. He was the reason why we never masked up. He didn't let us. Now, if Pip, can I ask you something? This is real serious. Mm -hmm. Are elephants real? Yeah, man. Elephants are real. Maybe you'll see one one day, man. All right. Go on, Jack. 
That's all, motherfucker. That's all I had to say. I nah, mean, salty. Wait, what, what was, you're talking you about. Talking about I don't remember what I was saying. Jed, man, that's what I'm talking let's about. Let's get the fuck out of here. Listen, let's not go to Annisburg. We're not going to Annisburg. All right. Y'all comfortable? We can I go to the water. No, we're going to Tall Tree. See if Gavin's to... over there. I think he's right that's about right. them camping the the telegrams, Jack. I'm gonna ride with somebody, okay? And I'm gonna be pissing off the back Pip. of the horse. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> Throw y'all the route in black. Pip, he's cursed. That was a boss. Because every no, time no, I'm no, with no, you, the I'm horses ain't me. Headquarters, okay? We're just on the move. <laughs> Different place every day. Jesus, do you have to scream? Do you have any water, Goldie? No, I'm dehydrated. Yeah, I need some water. Yes. We go down to Oak Ray's run first and get some water. Atlas, you stay behind so I can pee. You stay on the back. I don't want anyone catching this. Oh thing. my god. No oh god, Pip! It's fine, we're gonna be fine. Pip! Bill's just Goldie's friend, but he's helping, uh... He's helping us do something. I can almost taste the water. Where is it? There it is. I'll see it. Wait, there's a bear down here. Pip. There's a what? There's a bear around here. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> bear smear, You say you never killed the bear. Maybe this is the time. Nah. The last time I was with Alice in the, in the nature, it fell on me. Fucking nah. nature, man. <laughs> They're so good about taking their guns off when they get them water, dude. How they remember. Unless they don't carry a, a long arm. Yeah, not all of them, Zom. I don't see no bear. I'm here, no bear. Did you, did you kill it already? Did I That's kill it already? How the hell's my guns get dirty so fast? You've been crawling around? I've been with you this entire time, you seen? Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, <laughs> don't seem to remember you crawling around. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because you can't use a long arm because it would hurt you too much, right? Because it has more recoil, so you could probably only use a pistol. pistol? All right. Where are we heading to? Then we go into Wallace. Blackwater. Blackwater, all right. Fucking hate hiccups. Cat, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me this way? <laughs> oh my, what? Better, oh, you see that, chap? Be a fucking war horse. Holy shit, my aim is getting so much better. Crazy. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> that was a bit delayed, eh, Smudgy? Not having any of it. I was drinking water. Are you fucking kidding me? He's 
about to get him. Yeah, we're about to go. I on missed the fucking, that. Oh my god. <gasps> Small cliff. We're all right. See, I told you this wild love is evil. It is fucking evil. Well, I jinxed it because I missed that last one. Where I wasn't really thinking about where I was. Next thing you know, we're gonna go around this corner. There's gonna be danger, puss, puss. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, there it is! It's a danger, puss, puss. Oh, that's a, that's a danger, wolf, wolf. Why <laughs> <laughs> can't shoot? Oh, because he's in front of me from this angle. Is this the gin? Is he still here? I'm gonna go ask him about his mechanism. Hold on, I don't think this is in. Oh, what the hell? Oh, just dandy. How about you, Mister? Come on, Mills. We got somewhere to be. We got somewhere to be. I'll take it easy, fellas. Come on, Pip. Mills, Pip, Jack. What the fuck is that? Jack. That was Summers Jack. Was it now? He spoke to yeah. you. Yeah. Hold on a second. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, it's happening. I guess it's happening sooner than we thought. It's happening, Chad. It's fucking finally happening. Oh my god. Be careful around these lot. Close enough, Jack. Why don't you take ten steps back, fucker? Good eye, stutter. Posing you with Brett. That ain't how I see him. And you're not a lot of things, Jack. A lot of things I don't like. Did you hear that I've been trying to get to talk to you? No. I didn't. I've, I've had several. Go on. I've had several people to contact you and to let you know that I want to talk to you. I went on the daily to Van Horn, and since learning that you were in tall trees, I've been trying to see you. Because I want to talk to you first, before any rumors about Jack enter your ears. And I wanted to hear your words first, before any rumors entered my ears. Because the last time we spoke, when you were still free, and I was still free, our guns were not pointed at one another. As a matter of fact, I believe we charged at the deputies to allow you and yours to get away. We spoke one more time after, and it was in Sisica. And I believe then, the talks were not warlike towards one another. If I am, Jack. I'm gonna hop off. Uh, what is it you want to talk about, then? First, is it true that you're residing in tall trees? Why do you give a flying fuck? Because Why it would be good for me to know. I stay? Uh. Is there something you want to tell me, Gavin Summers? John, plenty of things. Lindy, thank you very much for the raid. I that you've been telling folks that you defeated me. That you won the war. That you are the man that took down Gavin Summers. Do you believe that, Jack? Why don't you show me one person that said that? All of the kids said that. Yeah, and who else? Quite a few others. 
I said that I ward with Gavis somewhere and lifted to the fucking tail. Do you have a problem with that? I just have trouble believing you in time, Jack. That's all. So tell me, why are you sending Robin Cohen to talk with me? Welcome in, guys. Tell Lindy who Gavin Summers is so she has some backstory. So that he can tell you that I wanted to speak to you. That hand of yours broken? I can't write a telegram myself. No, I've been staying away from telegrams. They're being watched, especially mine. And I always thought it was an act of courtesy to send an actual human being to relay the message. Are you sending the biggest snake out of Eden, huh? No, the man with the biggest reputation. <laughs> and what reputation has that, Jack? I'm not one to boost your ego, but you and these gentlemen have a far bigger reputation than Robbie fucking Gold. Oh, shit. Man's washed up. <gasps> Grandpa. Is that right? I heard he burnt the whole town and they had to bring the army to pull him out. What's he done since then? How many times has he told that story since he's come back to the crossing? I reckon a dozen, maybe two. Huh? So he did make an effort to talk to you, to reach out to you. You see, I wasn't gonna send a nobody to go talk to someone. No, oh, you could have sent Pip. I much prefer Pip to fucking Robbie Gold. Well, I know that now. <laughs> These people and talk my ear off about fucking morality and how I used to be somebody. What you think about that, Pip? Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you ask me why I kill you in tall trees. We got word that some people have gone in there and have been turned away out of tall trees by your command. Now these people, when they told me, I gave them some advice. Are you curious as to what the advice was? Why not? I told them to forget about it. And I told them not to get on the wrong side of summers. I told them that they should seek you out and speak to you one-on-one -on -one, and that if you had an agreement with someone that he would honor it i hope i didn't give them bad advice i'd like to give you some advice jack there are two sides to every coin and i feel you often see one coin and run straight ahead into whatever that means we found two fellas in tall trees. Found both of them. The one was cordial, understanding, and he got to keep his rifle. The other had quite the fucking mouth. He's lucky I let him keep his fucking tongue. Don't always believe. Who's the girl and the fella behind you? My partners. Is one of them named Mai, the other partner, huh? Excuse me? What are their names? Well, how about we get an introduction to some of these fellows? We can make it real proper. them introduce themselves if they want to. No reason you are getting so close. No, no 
I just wanted to see your face, Summers. It's been a long time. I've answered my question, Jack. It seems my friends are a bit shy at the moment. Maybe when they become oh, more you want comfortable, to you saw so. they can introduce themselves. That might take some time. But I won't force them to reveal what they don't want to. Summers, I wanted to speak. I wanted to speak to you. To let you know that we weren't gunning for you the very last day where we met. And I'm not gunning for you now. If you're not gunning for me. We have enough problems to worry about. So whatever you hear about Jack and Mills and the old beef with Gavin Summers, they have no plans right now of coming after y'all. So whatever rumor comes to your ears, you make sure to check that person. Or have them say it in front of me. I like your choice of diction, Jack. Right now. Huh? Maybe you have an old grudge that you haven't settled. My qualms with you are done long ago, Jack. I do find it odd. That you couldn't have just written me so. Even if the law are reading your telegrams. Nothing incriminating stating I have no qualms with you, Gavin Summers. If anything, that's illegal. Jack. Telegrams can be forged. But what we have... You wouldn't be the one writing them first. And you wouldn't know that. But what we have right now in this moment can't be forged. If I ask if y'all are in tall trees, well, that's important because we pass through there too. Sometimes we lay our heads in tall trees. A lot of people are spooked by that forest and that works in our favor. They got even more reason now to be spooked since you all have returned. If I have anything to say to you going forward, I'll contact you directly through your telegram, which I'll get before I leave here today. Oh, you've forgotten it, old friend, huh? I didn't forget yours. Who is the fella behind you? Like I said, if the fellow behind me wants to introduce himself, he can do that. Are you talking to me? My name's Athos. Pleasure. Likewise. I want to bother you, a little Miss Redhead. Can I give that over your name? What did you say? Hi, Mr. Gavin Summers. I'm Goldie. It's nice to meet you. I've heard about you lots. Oh, have you now? Yep. All good things, I assume. Mm hmm. Jack, what did you do to piss off every organization in this state? That's a hard question to answer. Is it now?
Maybe it has to do with something that you were talking about earlier. About a coin and only having one side. I don't know. Now, earlier you asked why I said that we don't have a problem now. No one can foretell the future. But I done warred with someone once, and it's not something I want to do again. I like to think that we give your people a hard time, too, on occasion. Did you know? I think we did. Well, let me be very clear this time around, Jack. I have no qualms with you. I do not wish to have qualms with you. But if you provoke me, or any of my friends once. There is no barman to protect you. You see, the barman wanted us to give up on the war. And that caused quite a bit of conflict within my ranks. You provoke me once. I will squash you every fucking day. Until you can't take a shit without a revolver in your hand. I do not wish for it to come to that. But I want you to know. Anger me once. And it will be a hell unlike anything you've ever seen. Do we have an agreement? I told you already once that we weren't out here riding on you and your people and we wanted you to know that. But the people I stand with won't stand for being provoked either. And that's a hill we'll die on. If I have a problem with you, I'll come to you directly. For the soup. If you have a problem with me, or you sense when it happened, you contact me and we'll resolve it before it starts. All right, then. I think it's time we get going. WQ, is that the one? Yeah, 958. Okay. You gentlemen take care. Crazy gents. Mm. Bye. Before you leave, Pip, got a bit of advice for you. What's that? Don't let me catch you spreading rumors about me and my brother again. Ain't a good look. Ooh. Who are you? Sorry. I'm Shaw. We met in prison, and as soon as me and my brother got out, we heard tell that you talking about us murdering folk out in the desert. Ooh. I am very confused. Yeah. If you forgot, you forgot. Just don't do it again. <laughs> Who? Maybe you remember my brother more than me, Blondie. I don't believe, uh, I don't remember spreading any rumors about you or Blondie. Uh, I mean that, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> Alright, well. Maybe we're I'll make sure that, uh, that no, no more of that happens, eh? We'll be every day just serving up RP on a fucking platter. Bye now, Coney. Bye, Mr. Gavin. Did you hear how he said that? Why did say that to me? Yeah, he's, he's a bit, it's a bit creepy. Why do you have to say it like that, Pip? It's just the way he talks. Everything sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be alright. 
Joey was just being polite in his own way. Is you sure about that? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> he didn't say bye to you like that. I'm wondering about these rumors that they even... How do you Long feel that sure. he knew who you was, but you didn't know who he was? Oh, no, I, I, know, who he, I know who he is. I, <laughs> I bet him, but uh, he was behind bars at the time. We have it's... to talk to Wesley as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Damn, his character is so fucking good. All right. Jesus. Well, let's continue on to that uh, telegram station. Get one to him quickly. Follow us, Gold. Don't go that way. Why? Grandpa. Is over there, and he don't like you at all. Why? Yeah. This explains why he wasn't responding to your telegrams. Why doesn't he like me? He called you the premier snake of the crossing. <laughs> I am. The Motherfucker, you could have told us first before <laughs> when, when we asked you. When I asked you for that favor. <laughs> I thought I, I, thought I would have sent a man of reputation to him. I am a man of reputation. It seems like a real bad one in his eyes. Well, <laughs> look what he's saying it. Good job, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> He did not seem happy about you being the liaison. Uh, at all. I don't think he's happy that I'm tracking him down. I was like, it's either we can go one or two well, ways. It's either you just you approach him like, hi, I'm Goldie, you know? Or you go with the fact that literally yeah, the entire yeah, crossing yeah. fears him. I, got my meeting. I felt like that was the right move. <laughs> His horse just panic at a couple of bunnies. What the fuck? I felt like that was the right thing. I couldn't understand him like right up to that though. I felt like my ears just broke. I could not understand what the hell he was saying. <laughs> I do not like the idea of him saying that he, he could have just sent me. I don't really want to go to see Evan <laughs> Summers ever on my own. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Pip. I just never heard you squeal like that. What'd you mean? When he was talking to you, I never saw you act like that before. Yeah, I didn't fucking expect to fucking run into him in the middle of the 40s. <laughs> and like I said, the last time I saw him, he was behind fucking bars and couldn't do anything to me. But I'd heard fucking stories. You'll see soon enough. What's that supposed to mean? What I what I mean is when they come knocking, you're not when gonna have a choice. Someone comes knocking. If anybody comes knocking, why would anybody come knocking? And this is the crossing why would you're talking about. Put me on the board. That's the dumbest mistake anybody could ever make. You kind of just squat them, well, Char. Well, my enemies that make that mistake. No, Jack, it's been a long time since I've heard someone call you Jack. Bonza, I don't know how it happened, but it did, and it's been oh dope. My god. Oh god, Pip! Oh babe. my god! Pip! You really you, uh, ain't very equestrian. What? What? You? I was testing you. <laughs> I was following <laughs> meals. Uh. Damn, I don't even know what his real voice would sound like. It was dope. I can be a quick stride. We finally met Gavin Summers. Right. right now, it's not one of those times. <laughs> what you just say to me, Pip? What? What did you just say to me, Pip? I said I can be a quick stride when I want to be a quick stride, all right? That's right. And you really think that right now it's one of those times, huh? Oh, I guess, I guess it is. <laughs> well, we just got to check telegrams, right? We're all back together. No one's like injured or lost. 
<laughs> I mean, we was about to go to a telegram station, so it's only a matter of time before someone sees us because they had oh the scouts. My. Yeah. I guess. Oh, so do I see, think Sam's gonna die? Uh, no, I don't. It's Goldie. Yeah. Yeah, Mills. Yeah. What? What's up, brother? What do you think of Gavin Summers? Oh, you know, he's, you know, he's lovely. Yeah. He seemed real nice, Mills. Listen, you'll get used to it, don't worry. Mills, when, when Pip and I was riding away, he said, Bye, Goldie, and the creepiest voice I ever heard in my entire life. I don't think Sam's gonna die on his first meeting with him, but I, I kind of hope like he pushes his buttons and it gets really tense. And I hope that I hope that Sam gets like really nervous and says all That's, the wrong yeah, things. Yeah, we're heading towards Blackboarder, but we can head towards Riggs now if you want. Check Telegrams real quick, but Riggs is cursed. And then does scared shitless are pierced. We do have numbers though. We do have numbers, so. In fact. Mr. Gold. Yeah, that's Grandpa Gold because he's old and he always tells me all the stories about the past. He is pretty old. He's really old. I think it's best you hear what I tell you before you meet him. <laughs> Grandpa. Yeah. Looks like you're the ones getting yourself into trouble today, huh? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, all right. Come to no telegrams. He's a coward, is what he is. You just tell me you ain't getting troubles, but you're the ones getting in yourself into troubles. Well, I can't help it that a coward is too scared to meet me face to face and have a conversation. Well, you was about to, and then probably meet the end of his whatever he uses. To kill you? Yeah, he wouldn't use nothing to kill me. He's too much of a coward. He said he's all washed up, Grandpa. I'm all washed up. That's what he thinks. Yeah. He said he'd rather contact Pip. Sure. Rather contact Pip. All washed up. What's you grabbing in there? Getting my pistol out. Your grandpa. What? When we was leaving, he said in his real deep voice, Bad Cody. But only to me and no one else. It was real. It was real creepy, like. Hmm. Washed up. How dare he? How dare he? <laughs> He's really letting the simmer, huh? Did we respond to Jet? No, you should uh, tell him to meet us at Manzanita. Okay, tell him to leave Moonstone and go to Manzanita. That's right. Man, what if he bump into the someone's gang by himself? Maybe we should just stay here. This is two hours ago? No, we sticking together. Apparently McBooger was watching us in Rhodes. Okay. What the hell's Pips? Up on the roof. Clear. Oh, 
Are we going? Pips. No. Yeah. Oh my god. Listen, uh, are you okay? Jed is over there. The last time I talked to Jed, he said, "Fuck Gavin, somewhere. Let's fucking kill him." But you know Jed. Let's go kill him. I have to pee. Pips. If he talks to him before we do, there might be trouble. That deputy McBooger was watching us in the roads. Apparently, he was hiding in a cart. What M deputy? What now? McGregor. I call him McBooger. Oh, I s yeah, I saw him in the cart. You saw? He wasn't exactly being sneaky. I didn't see him nothing. I think he was just inside the stable. Well, not the stable, but uh, like in between the medical tents and the stables. Yeah, that's what someone said to me in the telegrams. I'm staring at the moonlight real hard. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking about it. Chai, I gotta pee. Give me a sec. Hold on. If you're new, uh, welcome in. Uh, Lindy, thank you again for the raid. Sorry, I don't really, uh, look, immersion, all right? I've been focusing on a lot of immersion during these scenes that can be, like, really epic and shit. So I try not to talk over them as much as possible. Plus, it's, like, lore. It's lore, but basically, Gavin Suffers is, like, the boogeyman of the crossing. And everyone's, like, fucking scared of him or hates him. We ran into him and all that shit. We've been, we've been, we've been meaning to run into him for. It was like bound to happen. So all we had up to up until this point was like, just scary backstories about this guy who is like the most evil dude ever and doesn't care about human life at all. He just cares about himself and has a lot of riches and manipulates people with it. Where are we heading to right now, Jack? Yeah, Jack? I miss you, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, man. We're going to Moonstone because that's where Jed is. Oh, all right, all right. And we're hoping that Jed doesn't bump into Summers. Because right. if he does, there might be a big, big problem. I see. Yeah, super All right. Fun. Let's get there as fast as possible then. Yeah, I know, local. It's gonna be spicy again, <clears throat> especially with what Jack just said about the thing. But I think after like riding out with them and pointing a gun at them and uh, acknowledging by and stuff, it probably like left his mind. And the fact that we like went out immediately and like scouted for the person and shit. So I think it's something that probably left. Hey, Jack. Yeah, Goldie. The moon's out. You like the moon? I like it when it's full. Because that's when I start feeling feral. What's that word again? The Luna? The Latin one? Lunatic. Lunatic. Jack, Jack are, you, are you a werewolf? Is that what you're trying to say? All I'm saying is whenever the moon is full, that I start drooling. Ow! 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 Ow!
How long did I do riding up yeah. to him? <laughs> Who was howling? Was it Pimple Goldie? Oh. Whoever was howling, oh. that was real good. <laughs> Pimp, howl! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Meow. Meowing or, or howling. <laughs> What'd you say? I can't tell if you're worse at howling <laughs> or meowing. And we're all gonna be fucking howling. Pip, I miss you. Howl. Your... Just gonna be so fucking disappointed in all of us. Pip, I miss Meow. your cat outfit. Yeah, we pass by. I might, I might put it on. Why not? Meow. <laughs> Goldie, can you do your best Ellie font impression? What the hell does that sound like? Jack, do an elephant. I can't right now, brother. I don't know. <laughs> we got confused. Now we're going the right way. Was that your elephant? Yeah. No, no that's my cat. <laughs> that's what an elephant sounds like, right? Just like that. <laughs> Pip. What? Is that what an elephant sounds like? Well, like. Yeah. like <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way that you do it better. Dude, I bet you Jack I, I bet you Jed ran into the the Summers gang. Never mind. This horse is here. Jed, we gotta move. What's going on? We gotta move. We'll fill you in. Alright. Jad Monka W. Howdy, howdy, motherfucker. What's going on, Mill? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Pip Jet scares me. Why does it scare you? Because you're doing some moonshine, it'll be fucking great. Uh, Alright. Hold on. We're gonna go to our destination, but we're gonna go in two separate groups, okay? You three horses, go, no, we're gonna go to Cattail Pond in the back part by the rocks. You know where it is, Mills. Okay, y'all right. go, and then the three of us will go separate. All right, to the loop. So let's go this way. Aw, Striker, that's so nice. Yeah, so Can nice. we send them love too? Send Gavin some love too. Goldie, can you do a Pip impersonation? Pip? Yeah, I want to hear your Pip. Say, oh my god, again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You also got to say, all right. All right. Oh, that's all right. All right. Uh, that's all right. Pip doing me impression. Hmm, I'm going to have to work on that. Hmm. <laughs> Really, Baron? Yeah, it's cool. Like the lady we ran into in Armadillo the other day and she was like so scared. She was doing a great job. Bebe. Who's that over to the left? Laura, yeah. I mean, cause wouldn't you be fucking terrified? You were alone in the town 
And the Someone people that like your friends are something. probably all against. I heard your friends rolled up in a party of six and are like supposed to be like the baddest outlaws in the crossing. You know? You would be fucking scared too. Howdy. All right there, fella. Hello. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Hey. Hi. Hello. You mind taking the reins for a little bit? How are you doing, yeah. fella? <laughs> oh my. God. Every single time, Pip. I swear to God. You out here hunting? <laughs> yep. Uh, they said it's pretty good, so um, I'm giving it a try. All right. Well, good luck with the hunting, fella. I saw this guy earlier. I always see you everywhere. Oh well, yeah. I tend to travel around. I see. What's your name? It's uh, Grim. Grim. All right. Nice to meet you, Grim. Thank you. Emmy Parky, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you very much. Oh shit! This the fly's back. Lots of primes today. Hell yeah. Thanks for those primes. Kill the fly. I wish, dude. I've been trying to kill it for like over a week. This motherfucker literally camping me right now. It was Victor saying something about uh, red hair. Oh, yeah, actually. But they think it's a. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Also, uh, fuck, someone get, uh, dropped 500 bits earlier during that talk. And I can't see my alerts right now, so I can't see who... I can't see who it was anymore. <laughs> Is that a yawn? Yeah, it's like a wake it up one night. brush file up in like two hours that explains everything yeah the oh, prince is probably real pissed one of off our bank escapes right here. oh i once fell off that that uh, bridge really yeah i was following mills and <laughs> me and file had a little accident <laughs> Also 23 and 0? Uh, yeah, I'm a cattleman and so I'm therefore 23 and 0. But no, my, my, my score is more like. I don't even know how I many I've been on like maybe 11 or 12 now. Mine's 0. 0 and 1. 0 and 1? Yeah, or 0 and 2. Rough. My, my, I think mine would be, I've definitely failed once or twice. I don't really count the losses, you know. Does it count if you go to the Sicily? The Sicily? Yeah, does it count if you go to Sicily? Or how's it count it? If he gets away at the time? Yeah. All right. If you get away with the money. Obviously, everyone's gonna go to Sicily once in a while. Oh, in that case, then uh, I'm two for zero right now. Hey, howdy. Grandpa! All right, yeah, we're going up around the back. Follow us! Oh, 
Oh yeah, three zero train robbery. I forgot about that. Okay, armory we got away. And then got caught. And then Bink got away. Twice. Oh my god, we talked ourselves out of it two times. And then got caught later. And then Train robbery. <sighs> Not even. Well, we, we talked our way out of it, sort of. 3-0. We're going up here or we're just waiting here? I realized it didn't make much sense. Duh. Did we lose the rest of them? <laughs> Did we? And, and, and gold, man. Grandpa was I'm just down there. Them to follow, but I, I don't know if they heard I'll go get them. <laughs> All right. He was just at that house, wasn't he? Yeah. What is he eating? These berries? Sticks? Oh, he's making a fire. I think we're gonna have a long meeting now. Trying to make a snow angel? <laughs> Dude, the snow looks so fluffy. Duh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I actually propelled myself so Perfect. hard at him that it hurt. It actually hurt. <laughs> Duh! Favorite things to do is to fall down the mountain. It is quite dangerous. No. <laughs> <laughs> Goldie, your guns are gonna be all sorts of fucked up. Oh my god, not again, Mills! I keep forgetting. You know I spent $120 just on gun oil just for the other day. Oh god. <laughs> howdy, howdy. What's going on, Pip? Oh, it's going, it's going. How's it going? How are you doing, Jet? <sighs> Feeling pretty good, Pip. I'm yeah, pretty damn good. That's yeah, good. You got any shot in you, man? I'm all out. <laughs> of course I do, Pip. Damn. I oh. still need to. I still need to uh, give you some of Pip juice. Thanks, man. No problem. We need to get to Grandpa. Uh, making some more. Yes. Yeah, Maybe we can do what that. What the hell soon. is that jacket? Well, that sounds good to me. It's my gold jacket. <laughs> You got any that gun oil? Damn gold jacket. Yeah. Oh my God. I guess that makes sense, Robbie Gold, huh? Yeah. So fucking. No, I don't have a gold oil. No. Hi, Jed. Looks nice. Gold. Thanks. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Who's this? Athos. Athos. Huh? Who? Athos. Athos. You ever met a fella? I don't believe so. <laughs> Why'd you piss my horse off? <laughs> yeah, I've known him for a very long time. 
Sure I don't know you. You sound familiar. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to have that talk with Bill and Jed and uh, Jack. Didn't you used to have a brother as well? Uh-oh. Yeah. Wait. Mm, come on, let's get out of this stuff. What the hell's going on? Well, you wanted me to tell you what happened with Summers. Yes. Yes. What do you mean what happened with Summers? We just saw him. Ah, oh, shit. How the hell did that go? He's not the old frail man that some people were pretending that he was. All right. Yes. He was awfully testy, by the way. All their men had their guns out. That right. That's right. I let oh, him know, Jed, that the I last time we departed, thinking. we didn't have guns pointed at each other. I Thank remember. you very much for the 13 months. I appreciate you. I told him Roscoe. that our intentions weren't to come after them. Thank and you that for I the wanted raid. him to know that before thank the you, rumors you, reached you. his ears. And Welcome I wanted me to know if he was going to come after us before the rumor reached my ears. Well, what he the hell did he say? He said he had no intention of coming after us. Unless we provoked him. In which case he would have... Well, he went on a long tirade as far as what he was going to do to us. You know and how I, he is, Jed. I told him that we over here don't plan on getting provoked either. Because if we do, we'll hit back. And we're ready to die on that hill. Period. Damn right. Now, he was really upset that I sent Robbie Gold to let him know. He was really mad that I was sending people oh, it was bonsai with to a let him know. I appreciate that. I'd have been writing him a telegram. Matt, thank you so much for continuing that gift sub. Everybody knows I'm not one for telegrams. We fought two wars because I wouldn't write people telegrams. <laughs> we all know Summers is. He got real angry, Robbie, that it was you that I sent. I mean, I mean, he got angry. Why would you send that snake, he said. That snake. The snake that tried to save his goddamn friend's life. Oh, shit. Grandpa's losing his temper. I guess he completely forgot about that. Time to come out of retirement. I fucking went to jail for him. I almost died again for his friend. Cyrus. He has something. You, you tell me. You tell me. You know him better than I do. You fought him. He controls and manipulates people, does he not? His enemies and, and everybody else. You know, Mr. Gold, that's what everybody says. We're going to go out of retirement, hell yeah. But that's also what everybody says about me. <laughs> what everybody said about me, too. If people are riding with him, it's because they got a reason to. Either he's paying them. Uh, there's something else there. I, I ain't talking about the people with him, Jack. I'm talking about his enemies. I'm talking about folks on the outside of his group. I've gotten rumors that the people in, in, in Van Horn hate his guts. I've heard that the people in Van Horn, like the barman, like Speedy. Now, I heard they want him dead. Yes. But I didn't see him riding with any of them today. I saw Speedy yesterday, but you're still not hearing what I'm saying. No, I'm not. He does things in a certain way to provoke and manipulate you to do certain things, does he not? Not just you, but me, anyone else that he wants. Am I right or wrong? That's what they say. He knows. He knows I have a temper, and he knows 
that if he rejects my hand when I reach it out to him, that it'll piss me off. So excited. Why would Gavin Summers want me pissed off? That fellow's been locked away for a very long time. He's got a vendetta against the world. Who does he have a vendetta against most? Think about it. I guess we're going to find that out. Who locked him away? I ran into a former deputy wash yesterday. Right after she ran into Summers. She was shaking. Y'all know her, right? Yeah. She was shaken up by them. To insinuated that the Summers Maybe going after the law. Well, then he's good as dead. No one wins against the law. <laughs> Not even Gavin Summers. Nobody. Well, you're looking at the one man who did. So I'll ask you again, why would he piss me off? You know, he said you'd say that. <laughs> say what? Which part of all that? That you would talk about your past, and that's all you ever do nowadays. I'm not talking about my past. I'm talking about him in the present right now, Jack. <sighs> I'm talking about why he's trying to piss me off right now. Why would he, why, why, what purpose does it serve? Because he thinks you're a has-been. He doesn't think that. He knows better. He's not stupid. You think he's a stupid man? I don't know. It really sounded like that, Gold. Sorry, you have to hear me slurping. I wanted some water. He's trying to provoke me to action. He's trying to rewrite my history, and nobody writes my history but me. Pog? So what you gonna do, Robbie? I don't know. That's why I'm asking y'all. What, 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 y'all know him better than me. Come out of retirement. Come out of retirement. He's trying to Come manipulate out of retirement. me to action. To me, it sounds like you know what you want to do. I mean, yeah, I, I know what I fucking want to do. Tell you. But if I fucking jump, he he's the one that fucking made me jump. If I don't jump, then he then he's right. He put me in... <clears throat> you don't need to think about it like that, Gold. Just do what you want to do. God damn it. I hate being manipulated. I want to do the slash E scheme. He knows. Yeah, how, how you being manipulated, huh? Because, because he said you has been? He left me with two options, Jack. Either let him write my history of a washed out outlaw that's no longer good for nothing that can't handle his own or 
provoke me to action, which then puts me on the board, which then puts me against the goddamn law, which puts me killing law for him. Because that's who I'll be fighting most of the goddamn time, because they're watching me. They talk to me all the time. Make snide remarks all the time. He knows that's who I'll be killing. That I won't go after him. That I'll be too busy hung up with the law because I hate the law more than I hate. Anything else? Seems like you found yourself in a premier pickle. <sighs> the fuck? Come on, Gold. Come out of retirement, Gold. What are y'all gonna do? Fighting the law today ain't like fighting the law back in your day. Year after year, year after year, while you've been gone, me and my partners over here have experienced the change. Maybe more than any other gang. They've gotten lawmakers involved. They've gotten judges involved. They've gotten statutes changed. It's not like it was when you were around. The Wild West ain't so wild no more. Saint Denis, that's the future. Modernization. They're crushing that way of life. The one that used to reside out west. The people you see out west, they're not what I'm talking about. Those are just pretenders. I'm talking about the West that you once knew. I know what you're talking about. You make you make a move on law now. Forget about it. They'll take you straight to that hot chair. I guarantee you. Yeah, well, I'd take three or four of them with me. You know, I had a long talk with someone when he was in Sisica. He told me it's not a game of checkers. That it's a game of chess. That everything he does, and that everything that needs to be done, has been thought out six steps forward. That's why I'm certain he's already thought out that he wanted to piss me off for a goddamn reason. And what are you planning on doing now? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I say you kill Summers. <laughs> That's <laughs> all you need to you do. You think it's fella. that easy? I think it's that easy. I think it's that easy. Y'all would already killed him. He's pissed. Come He's probably pissed because I didn't kill Come you, out Jack, retirement. When he tried to hire me to. You know what? That never occurred to me. He was very, very upset that you were the liaison. Very <laughs> upset. <laughs> Listen, I'll do a favor, right? You see, it's not that easy to kill him, right? Well, how about this? We'll find him. You hold him down, and I'll shit in his mouth for you. That'll make you feel better. <laughs> He'll Sounds shit like all he's talking is shit anyway. What do you say to y'all about you? He was barking, I'll tell you that much. There was some barking. But the substance was that our gang is not actively after him. And his gang is not actively after us. That if there was a problem, I would reach out to him directly. And he would do the same concerning me. He said if he was provoked, he'd strike. 
I let him know that we're not planning on being provoked either. That we strike. Uh, if I've missed anything. Pip, Alice, Goldie, Mills, and Atlas can fill you in. Pretty sure that was the most of it. Now, before we met with him, Something very important happened and took place. And I think it's worth we talk about that. Recap time. Recap time. Come here, Beans. Well, what the hell happened then? What? Want me to step aside? You're retired right now. Which means you're not active. Can a man who's not active choose a side? Beansy boy. <sighs> In what way? I think this is it, you guys. I think he's coming out. I still owe you, Jack. Ask what you want to ask. I hate debts. I have some stuff that I want to relay. To Jed over here. Gentlemen, you think it would be wise to say it in front of Robbie? Yeah, the way things are right now, Jack. I'm not too sure about that. I'll step aside. It doesn't insult me. Probably be for the best. I'll go down by the water. I'm gonna go talk to my grandpa. Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. Hey, grandpa. What? You're gonna come out of retirement? <sighs> I feel it. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, Golden. He poked the bear, grandpa. He's doing it on purpose because he wants me out. Well, I want you out. Rather than wasting your days away playing the pokers. You don't understand. It, there's only one way. There's only one ending. Nah, you ain't not gonna end up like that. I will. I promise you. Nah, you ain't. Just don't fight his war. It won't. It won't matter. Did as soon see as that? I raise my gun. Who's hey, that? Oh shit. Just a ranger. Oh. Who the hell might you be? The right there, fella. Better start speaking right now, boy. Is everything all right? Hello? What brings you out this way, fella? Um, I had a situation happen. Got a oh. situation. A situation where me and my friend got in an argument, and so I wanted to come up here to be alone. All right. Who's your friend? Jack. I don't know his last name. He just Jack. Bathhouse Jack, the one that lives in Cooter? Um, he works at the bathhouse, Jack? Yeah, bathhouse Jack. Yeah. Wait. I've spoken to you before. We protested in front of the sheriff's office. Yeah, I remember you, actually. Um, can I ask that you don't murder me? Maybe. Please? Can I ask for your name, fella? Uh, Scout. I was in a canoe down the river, but the canoe got stuck up there, so I... Your name is Scout. Do you believe this shit, fuck? What, what does that mean? There's also wolves right up that hill, by the way. What's your name, motherfucker? Don't give it's me some Scout. garbage. No, my name is Leonard Scout. That is literally my name. 
Who sent you here? Nobody's what? I'm in the middle of nowhere. No one sent me here. I told I you what you happened. I behind the fucking trees. You're gonna go after here and give our enemies our word where we are right now? Hiding behind? You mean kicking the rabbit so the wolves, if they came after me, they'd go after the rabbit? You're gonna leave from here, go to Wallace Station, and tell our enemies about our whereabouts, aren't you? What enemies? Is he a ranger? No, I'm not a ranger. What are you? A human? <laughs> I... I don't know. I work at the bathhouse as well. You fucking lined us. Hmm? No! You fucking lined us. <sighs> I will blast your fucking head off right now. I'm not. You understand lying. that? Why would I lie Scout. to you? What reason do I have to lie to you? Well, because you don't want to die. That's why. Exactly. So that I wouldn't lie to you because I do not want to die. Or you had a mission. You got a little bit too close. You got found out. And now you got to prepare some tail for us. What mission would I have? Would you like me to call my horse who is up the mountain? Actually, no, I don't have my notebook on the horse. Never mind. Hey, do y'all know how to speak horse? I have a notebook on the horse. Well, I thought I did, but it's in the bank. That has my name on it. Call the so horse you know over I'm here. telling the truth. Call the horse. Goldie, I want you to interrogate the horse. See what they're doing up here. All right. Call it over. Jack, I uh, say it... we just fucking kill him anyway. Throw him in the damn river. The horse is way up the mountain. I don't know if you'll hear me. Like, way, way up the mountain. Hold on. Wait a second, Jay. Let's, let's talk to the fella a little bit more. You're at the wrong Please? place and the wrong time. Pal. I'm aware of that. Hey, Scout. Where was yes. he and Jack having an argument at? In Valentine. And you came all the way out here, why? Because I like going to the place... Let me pull up my map here. I like going to Barrow Lagoon. The ice-covered thing that's got a little shack on it that I like to stay at. And you think Mr. Jack could corroborate your story? Um... I would imagine so, but last time I saw him, he was turning himself into the sheriff's. Would you stake your life on it? Yes, I really would. You know, we've been spied on, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit too much for my taste. And our whereabouts and every fucking movement that we do is being given to the enemy a little bit too much for my taste. Who is your enemy? Can somebody answer some sort of question so I have any idea of what's happening right now. I might have believed this gentleman maybe even a week ago, maybe even a year ago, but at this point, you know what? I just can't tell. I ain't believe a damn word, Pills. Scout, how long you been around here for? What you do around here? In the crossing or up here on the That's mountain? That's right. In the crossing, I've been here for probably a month now, a month and a half. I work at the bathhouse, like I said. Who are your friends, Scout? Who are my friends? That's well, Jack, right. Jack used study. to be. Do you know this uh, Wisteria. I met him one time. Hold on, let me see. Danny in the bar. Uh, used to be Garibaldi till he was killed. Wisteria. Danny. Well, Steer does Danny work at the bathhouse, and Jack works Mr. at the bathhouse, too. At That's the who gave me what my bar? bath the other day. The saloon in uh, Valentine, the big one. Listen, partner, right, let me... Let... I'm sorry, go ahead, Mills. We're gonna let you scram today. But if anyone comes up this fucking mountain after you leave... To pay your friends Mysteria and Danny at the saloon a visit, you understand? Fuck that, it. Mills. You really want to let him go? You let him go, Mills. Fucking, he just goes and tells somebody. You ain't gonna tell anybody, Rat Scout. What was that last part? I'm sorry. Said you ain't gonna tell anybody, right, Sko? Not a soul. Like I said, I would prefer to be on my own. 
I was heading back to Valentine as we speak in search of the person's body who was killed. We got names, Jed. Let them go. I think I prefer him dead. What do you think, Jack? Pip? Alps? You know, there was a time I used to... There was a time I used to believe when someone talked to me. But after the recent events, I'm finding it so fucking hard to believe. Tell me, Scout, what would you do if you were us? What if your whereabouts were constantly being given to people that were trying to kill you? And no matter where you went, in whatever fucking mountain, there was always someone creeping, like right now. Would you believe uh -huh. them so easily? In my defense, I wasn't creeping. But no, I wouldn't. I would have killed anybody who would threaten my gang and friends. Jack. Is what I would have done. So you wouldn't blame Jed if he pulled a bullet in your fucking head? I wouldn't blame him, but at the same time, I would prefer to live because I have no clue what you're talking about. You still haven't told me what these people are that are following you or whatever. Do we really need the heat of the fucking law right now, gentlemen? We got okay. names. There ain't gonna be no to law. I told law. you I'm not telling anyone. If it goes to anybody. What's worse, Mills? We'll laws on our ass or fucking business. everybody know where we're at? We could always pack up and move somewhere else, Jed. Taking this fellow's life ain't gonna solve nothing. We don't have to take his life. Jack. Yeah, Jack. This guy was probably in the wrong place at the wrong time. It doesn't take a shit in his mouth. <laughs> Whoever here's got a fucking hammer, give it to me. Oh my. Are you fucking kidding me? Listen, if this comes back to bite us in the ass, put it all on me. Either Bring way, your fucking hammer to me. Ass, Mills. Either fucking way. Philly, you, you ever been hammered down before? No good... Actually, I have. Yeah, by who? Not a pleasant experience. Mama from the bathhouse. Yo, I'm gonna make this easy for y'all. Then give me a fucking hammer. Give me a fucking hammer. Grab his stuff and give me a fucking hammer. No, I don't got a fucking hammer. Hey. What if this brings... Oh, okay. Fuck a hammer. Listen, Scout. You ain't gonna say a damn word to anybody about anything. I kind of feel like that guy really was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, me too. I don't think he deserved that, but I better safe than sorry, I suppose. That's true, and there ain't no way in hell I'm going to get dead right now, I'm be honest with you. What if all of the people at the bathhouse come after us now to <laughs> You know I wasn't thinking far away from those lines like yeah. That's 
Now there's we just one more. Potentially made another enemy. And there's a lot of them that work there with a lot of eyes. Now that man probably really will become a scout. Shit. Yeah. Don't worry. Or maybe he'll fucking die. We don't need to worry. Also, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure all the businesses in the Valentine right now has an alliance. The Bass House, the Saloon, and the other Saloon. I see. Yeah. But I guess we're doing that. Amazing, no, What's, you know, the last ounce of the crossing against us at this point anyways, right? Mm -hmm. To be fair, we didn't use a lot to run. <sighs> he did ask, he did actually mention some names. Never mind. Yeah. And I right. Yeah. Fuck. Well. I think some of those people. What's going on, eh? Where are we going? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Who the fuck is Farley? <laughs> Aha. You wanna take the reins? You wanna? Oh yeah, I'll go, I'll go for it. Should have let gold do it. You know he was planning to. The hell you mean I should have let gold do it? He done just said he was gonna shoot him. Hell, I didn't know he was gonna shoot him. What the hell he thought. What's done is done. Let's just hope that the uh, problem doesn't come to bite us in the ass. Oh, you know what he's gonna bite? He's gonna bite real fucking hard. Yep. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't come to bite us in the ass. I oh, can't wait to fight the whole fucking town of Valentine. Yep. Just had to listen to that little devil on your shoulder, huh, Jack? Not a little devil, it's my older brother. Dragged me into the rail, into the railway, and I'll bang my, my head. Where's shit. your horse? He's fucked off, isn't he? <laughs> oh god! You need to go to the doctor's office. No, I'm all right. Hey, go to. I just need yeah, some Jed. cocoa. Do you have a, a medical bag by any chance for Pip? 
Ah, uh, hell. I don't. Yeah, what's up, Chad? I think maybe, uh, maybe sometime soon, uh, well, hell, you like hunting, Goldie? I ain't never been hunting besides one time with Alice. Yeah, hell, I think uh, sometime soon we go hunting together. How about that? Yeah, all right, Jed. Maybe uh, oh, man. talk about things a little bit more. Yeah. Hell, Pip, you all right? Oh, uh, bang my head on the fucking railway. Damn fucking wolves. Horse toss you off. Yeah, the moment that I decided to get off him, he he started running. And he just dragged me straight into the railway. Let me see if someone has a medical bag. Daddy, you got some medical bag by any chance? Medical bags? Oh, not at all. Sorry. All right. I don't know. Got him here. Hmm? There you go. You, Thanks. Come here, Pip. No, don't worry about it. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you so much. Ugh. All right. Oh God, the horse. They're just good Samaritans, huh? Oh, Ow. Ow. Yes. I got names. I got some uh, good names, huh? Hey. I don't really know what to do with any of these contraptions besides the smell and salt. It's all right. I'm just it's gonna put this ice pack right. thingy. This cold thingy on your feet. All right. And then I'm gonna put Ooh. this cold pack on your belly. All right. Yeah, but does that feel better? Shit, is that you, Pip? I feel solid. Ah. All right. I don't know if it's better. Does this feel better? I mean... What if I do this? Yeah! You're out there, big boy. It's actually quite nice. Hey there, man! <laughs> I'm banging my head on the railway, man. Fucking fall out, man. Crazy hey, motherfucker. He's a bit jumpy there, isn't he? The wolves give him a fraud, didn't they? You uh, got some salts there, miss. Yeah. Hey, do you got any frogs? Frogs? Ah, oh, fuck no. Unfortunately, I don't carry them around with me in my backpack. What a frog! Damn there. shame. Pip. Yeah, Goldie. <laughs> Is your head feeling better? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I reckon I'm almost ready to get on my feet, actually. There. <laughs> Give me a shout if you need anything. Oh, that's really cold. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Golly. Yep. Yeah, I'm all right. Sorry. Take that as a note. Him. Yep. I'm terrible. Oh. Is everything alright in there? Mm. I hope so. 
what's going on, eh? Find that fucking scout. Where's Jack? Is he in there? Oh, must be a little part gift. I'll stop questioning that choice you made back there. Can you stop fucking questioning how? He's coming out. Oh, I thought he was in there with people. Yeah, there's that one guy in there, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy gave you the bag? Mm hmm. He sounded familiar. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. I mean, he knew You're your right name. Now. Did y'all get a message about Caniclo? Oh, yeah. Benny. No. Okay. He was badly hurt Wait. at Brandy One, and a group of six went there looking for him. They didn't find him. If, if we're looking for somebody else. Wait, you said that guy's name is Benny? That guy back there. His name's Benny? The, the Australian fella, yeah. His name's Benny. That's Benny over there. Yeah, we just got some move, I think. I think we got some move from here. We need to find Kanika. Three for six. Brandy wine. Did you say, wait, did you say, Jack, did you say that they didn't find him so they're looking for someone else? They found him looking for somebody else and a certain person that was looking after him sent me the telegram saying that he stood in between them. Then they took we off. Gotta get him. All we right. can't move, we gotta get him. Our enemies know about that spot. Pip. Yeah? Yeah, Goldie? I think that guy in there, that Benny? Uh-huh. I think he might be friends with uh, Desmond and the Pale Panthers out on the west. Is that right? Right? Is, is that right? Yeah. Fuck. I mean... Right. I... He's... Is he? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm really, I I smack my head. <laughs> Unless... Maybe I'm getting names all mixed up and being paranoid. I mean, Benny is someone who, well, he's, I wouldn't say he's an enemy. Not that guy anyway. I just don't see eye to eye. Benny the gun dealer. That we think gave the information to the Pale Panthers. Oh, so I'm starting to feel better. There's probably more than one Benny, but I can play it. Playing it like super paranoid. What happened to Kaniklo? Sounds like he got fucking jumped. How does Kaniklo always get jumped? He's alone. That's the only time they get us when we're alone. Pip. 
pit. And we split away from the pack. Pip, I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared about Jed asking me to go hunting with him after he done stabbed that guy in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. I think he thinks because I knew who that guy was. Well, I know it's Jed fucking hurt someone else recently and he's not, I don't know, he's there to fucking screw loose. But I only met that guy one time. Mm. And it's when it, he was uh, just walking in circles around the sheriff's office with the Sam's Club. But I know that his, his friends, because they give me baths every day. But other than that, I ain't know him. That's all right, but yeah, I don't know about Chad right now, eh? You just watch yourself around him and to be honest, I'm, yeah, avoid that little trip. Yeah. <laughs> Look how pretty If face. someone said that to me, I'd be like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but what if I go and we sort things out? True. True. But I wasn't really getting that vibe, I'm gonna be honest with you, Pip. Fair enough. I swear I can't talk to no one no more without someone being suspicious about something. Uh, tell me about it. This is crazy. Oh, I hope you can see. I can, can't you? Yeah, actually, my eyes have adjusted quite well. <laughs> this time, usually I'm. Oh, uh, Pip's the fucking best. Oh my god. A light. This shit is bright as hell. Yep. I want to go to the one eye now. I need to be careful. <laughs> you want me to pull out your another eye? No. I told you that story that the wallaby told me in Sicily, right? No. <laughs> I don't think so. The wallaby he done told me this story about someone that he once knew that used to like sockets a lot. And he would suck on the sockets. Oh, the eyeballs, you know, when they's empty, the socket, they go. Oh my god. <laughs> I kept making this sound. No, that's not the sound. It was like, boop. It was like, boop. Yeah, like that. It was like that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking nasty. He was telling Moxie he kept calling her the socket. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Moxie in ages. I miss Moxie. I did too. I saw her last night. Oh, did you? Yeah. Is she alright? She's alright, but she wakes up at some strange, strange times. I think she says that she was uh, doing something with Marcus upstairs in her house today. Oh. What kind of figs? Actually, I don't want to know. I don't know. All I know is she said I could sleep downstairs, but I ain't been able to go upstairs because they's doing stuff. I see. And then I heard a lot of clapping while I was sleeping. So they was probably playing hand games. Yeah. 
Oh, he's about to get in his horse. Can you call? One more piece of fish. Alright. If you're thirsty, I could probably refill your, your canteen if you want me to. Is he here? Yeah. Okay. Is that Rini? Howdy. Okay. Did you go do what you were gonna do? I broke my promise. I told Pip to go looking for you. You saw it? What, the stick? The tree? I was looking too. You heard someone? I guess we'll find out if the whole town of Valentine is coming after us in the next two days.
should have let gold do it. He said he was going to do it. of his friends. <laughs> and I said, you know, just some family tenderness, but I said, if you go and tell anyone you saw us here, those friends are going to pay. That wasn't enough for some of our people, so Jared stabbed the brother. I think the better spot would be on the cliff. Wait. Nothing. Do you think he's paranoid too? Because he hears. Does he hear my binoculars and he's getting all like. He's looking through the bushes. <laughs> so we all might be murderers of some fellow who was just trying to hike down the snow or a potential truck. But I got my money on some hiking. Is it worth this? Is he monologuing? No, his name was Scout. <laughs> his name was Scout? I'm Ben Scout. <laughs> it is ironic. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the bathhouse. You know, Caniclo, we've, we've been doing this very long time, I think. Ren versus Goldie? I think I'm quite acquainted. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so either, Hannah. With the look of fear in people's eyes. There's fear if you're hiding something. Damn. Can't go get our daily bathroom jack anymore. I think I saw the light in my fellow's eyes. <sighs> well, you just leave them on the mountainside? I feel like I feel like I would have sided with Mills and I feel like Goldie sides with Mills but I feel like she couldn't speak up because she's scared to like do anything against Jed because she knows if like anything happens with Jed it's literally life there's like you know why would you cross him and he might even be mad that he he possibly knows that like we kind of don't agree with him, you know? But I don't think that a lot of people in the group kind of agreed with the decision. So it's, it's so hard because I feel like from a character POV, she's like really trying not to step on any toes of Jed.
even if that means like say like the bathhouse or whatever comes after her when she, we're just like alone in valentine or whatever you know and then that's something that comes from like the whole thing or um yeah i don't know i would like personally like to go on the hunting trip with with jed even though it's risky because i wouldn't mind seeing like what happens you know I know, Zach. Well, he might have found out that Goldie was the last person that, like, knew where he was before Jack got taken. But maybe not. You think so? I mean, we we we've, we've warned Ren for things. Goldie? Yes, like Jack. Goldie. You still up for the back shaft? Yeah, I am up for the back shaft. Okay, we're gonna be doing that now. Yeah. We're gonna find a... we're gonna find Wesley first. All right. Is Kanikolo okay? Why don't you ask him? I won't lie to you, Jed. It feels like I'm on fire every time I every time I inhale, which is a lot. Can't have you dying on us, Kay. We need you, you understand that? You riding out of here? They're relocating us. Jed's talking to him. Okay. Is Pip coming for the back shaft? Three. I don't know. Are you feeling Goldie? Yeah, I feel right, Jack. Pips. Mm hmm? You want to go into the back shaft? Do you need someone else to go into the back shaft? I can come to the back shaft. Jack, do we need four for the back shaft? We could use four for the back shaft. All right. Back shaft it is then. We'll have to go to Annisburg and get some picks. We gotta find ways he was gonna be a part of the back shaft. All right. Tell well, Sam? Now, yeah, but like, we'll why perfectly. wouldn't Goldie tell Sam? He doesn't yeah, know not, Ren, so if he finds out that it's actually Ren, if we're going down then he'd probably shaft. go after Ren, right? But Goldie's friends with Ren, so she could be like, That's very Yo. important, okay? That's how we make our entry. Yes. Don't go after Ren. He's like a homie. Just like the Kettleman's. We did the same thing. We're, we're like, going to use our ropes one by involved. one and we're going to lure those hats. So, I don't know. It, it, people see, oh, you told Sam We've it's a bad it thing, but it's really like a good thing. We have. I'm going to need an additional $8 to get ourselves a crate. I has money. Okay, good. We're going to sneak our way into Annisburg because we don't want to get caught again. That's why we're going down the back shaft, right? We're going Up down the back, back shaft, shaft, but we're coming out the back. front shaft. Right, okay. As you Wait, do. no, no, it's not a shaft. We're going to go in the back shaft, come out the front opening. Front openings and rear shafts. People sometimes see talking about a character as, like, such a bad thing. Oh, my God, she snipped on Ren. Oh, my God, she's against him. And then they just I thought Jed was following us. Well, then they don't understand like character POV. 
Sometimes people think talking is so bad, but really it's just like good RP. Are you feeling poop? Doing all right. A little bit tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Baby, you got a minor outfit? Yeah, I do. Yep, just go where your character takes you. Where Is it RP black? Takes you. Like goldies? No. What's it look like? Uh, it's like overalls and shit. <gasps> to be honest, it's, it's not really much of a mining outfit. It's a dual purpose outfit. Mining or fishing. Nah! Pip, you're so bad with the horses. No wonder you makes me take the reins all the time. Do they know that we were coming to the back shaft? Mm, I didn't know if they know we was going to the back shaft. I don't think they know that we were going to the back shaft neither. Oh, shit. I mean, maybe they were thinking we were going to the Free Sisters spot. I'm going to write them a telegram that we're going to be moving down the back shaft. <laughs> If you see any riders coming, don't even fucking stop to see who it is. We're just riding the opposite way. And yep. making our way to the three sisters. Okay. Sounds good to me. Should All right. Changed. Running to Wesley. Jack, I'm gonna go put on my mining outfit. All right. Back shaft. Take a shot, dude. You guys will be fucked up. You'd be so fucked up if you take a shot every single time you said back shaft. Duh. Yeah, I, I like uh, I like talking through character decisions with people so that they understand. Pip, I just watched you change. Oh my god. You be peeping. What you the have fuck? the best outfits. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. What is going on out there? Your horse is going mad. It's my horse. Fall out. Oh, that's better. <gasps> Baby and dead cow. I thought you was dead. How'd you get here? See, I told you. I thought you died. Cat. I thought Pip killed you. He's so cute. Let's go check on Jack real quick. He's so cute, cow. You ready? What breed of horse is that again? It's a fox trotter. Oh. But also a cow. Is it fast? You just want to ride cow for a bit? Yeah, go on. I think Why he needs not? food. You got something to eat him? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of carrots. I don't know if you'll eat them from me, though. Oh, my God. Angry cow. <laughs> I'm not riding cow. Pip. I don't want to ride nah, cow. Nah, go Keep ride cow. Off. Listen here. Listen here. I'm going to go alert the people and tell them that we're going to be here going down the back shaft. Okay. Wait, so you go, wait what? Know. So you're going to Three Sisters? That's right. Y'all want to come we with might me? As well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we stick okay. together, man. All right, let's go. Yeah, he's gonna make that a well, mistake you get, again. You <laughs> <laughs> Why do horses hate him so much? I don't get it. Like, what mechanically is making it so that, like, <laughs> the horses keep doing that to him?
Alright, that's what we're looking for. I just sent you the telegrams. Okay, come on, we have to go give word to the three sisters. Summers is in Saint Denis. We spoke to him. You spoke to him? That's right. Yeah, they were, Badger. Listen, right now we got we got a mission right now. We're gonna go to the three sisters and we're gonna let them know we're going down yeah, the back shafts. Alright. Alright, Wes. Yeah, sorry. What's wrong with you? Wes, what's wrong? Really? Mugs? That's what it is? Headache. Wes, what's wrong with ya? What's that? What's wrong with ya? Um. Oops, sorry, chat. Yeah? I, I guess I just didn't realize you were talking to him already. What well, we happened upon him in the wild. And I think if you were there, it would have gone ugly. It almost went ugly in St. Denis, I'll be honest. You saw him over there? Yeah, outside Pearlie's. I was hoping when you first talked to him, I would be there. I didn't speak to him. I was debating walking up to him and pulling the trigger. Listen, there's an understanding between us and them that we're not going to make a move or provoke one another. It would be good while that understanding is there that you speak to him in our presence to ensure nothing happens. I got nothing to say, little man. At least not with my mouth. That's what I was worried about. Where well, something just happened, you know that? What's that? We were talking to Robbie Gold. Who came up during the summer's discussion. And we found a person that looked a lot like a spy. Lurking in the perimeter. Who was that? He said his name was Scout and he was from Valentine. Do I never heard of him or seen him before? Yeah, I've never heard of him. Well, he was dealt with. I can assume Scout won't be bothering us anymore. I swear to God, I'm praying with every fiber of my body that he lives. But who knows? All right. Come on, we gotta go down this back shaft. Are like we going back down the back shaft or we're going to the three no, sisters? We're going still? to the three sisters to let them know we're going down the back shaft. Goldie oh, loves cow. You always gonna let someone know if you're going down the back shaft. Jack, I we talked to Speedy. I heard that motherfucker's voice. He told me I'm on Gavin's list. Take this lab. Pip, you ever been down the back shaft? I have. A couple of times. Now is it in there? Dingy. Dingy? Real tight squeeze down there. Especially with the, with our numbers. So you think Forge can't fit in the back, Chef? No, we can definitely fit. We're just going to try. But you said it was a tight squeeze. Well, it's going to be a tight squeeze, but you know, we can definitely fit. Don't you worry about it. Not right. 
I have no idea where we are, so I'm going to be checking my map a lot. <laughs> Hi, Ultra. Wait, you do? I never notice. Is that why sometimes Cal goes missing and I can't find him? I feel sad sometimes because I feel like we don't RP as much anymore. Because we're pulled into so many fucking different things. Not different things, just it's like it's always constantly going. We thought Cow died earlier today. Storylines are nuts right now. Babe, can you ride my cow later? I could try to ride your cow. It's only if he doesn't throw me off again. Why did it throw you off last last time? I don't know. He didn't lie to me apparently. Uh, this lift. Yeah, but neither does Princess. Say again. Neither does Princess. True. Duh. Oh, it's just up. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> There's the house up there. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you praising him? Oh god, what time is it? 11? Ugh. I'm randomly getting tired. Hey, Kaniklo. Howdy. I'm glad she's okay. Again. Oh, I'm touched. <laughs> We're just gonna go into the back shaft. Ladders. Ladders? Is there ladders in there? What's the back shaft? The back shaft is a mining. It's my first time going into the back shaft, but everyone's really excited about it. I... Oh, they, they are, aren't they? Yeah, they're super excited well, about it. They told me that we was going to go into the back shaft, so we came here to tell you that's where we was going. You never okay. forget your first time in the back shaft. You've been to the back shaft, Athos? Yeah, once or twice. Kaniklo, you've never been into the back shaft. It, do they mean the mine shaft? I mean, I guess we're mining, yeah. Ed, could you lead me there? Yeah, let's ask Jack. Hi, Rene.
Oh. I don't know where Pip went. That's Mills and Jed. We shouldn't disturb them. Yeah, you think they're squashing it? Squashing it? You think they're getting rid of their problems? They have problems? Eh, I don't know. Never mind. They told you about what happened, right? No. Oh. Mm. Can you, like, ten second rundown? Alright, so basically we was having a meeting and then... There was a guy that just appeared out of nowhere, and then, well, he done walked up to us on a meeting, and we was like, how the hell did he get here? Why is he here? And then Jed might have stabbed him. Right. That's the 10 second rundown. But the long version is, we've been getting scouted out all day, and everyone keeps appearing everywhere. Eh, uh, well, then maybe that girl had to get stabbed. I mean, better to be safe than sorry, right, Kaniklo? Yeah, assuredly. Now, this back shaft you're talking about, is it a horse right away? Yeah, I think it's a horse right away. Jack was on his way up here with Wes, and Pip was just here too, but I don't know where he went. And we was gonna go into the back shaft. Okay, could you take us there? Yeah. Let me get ready. Alright, let's wait for Jack to... So he could show us, because I didn't know where the back shaft is. Wait, Jack's coming here, then taking us there? I think so. Because we came here to tell you we was going to the back shaft. Ah. Uh. Yo, puking parents. I love Alice. No, I didn't nap yet today, no. Uh-uh. What's up, Mitch? Where the hell did Pip go? He ran that way, right? Where, where the hell did Jack go? And Wes? Outside. I just realized they don't say squashing it in 1901. So I kind of fucked up with that. But he was like, what does that mean? I was like, uh, <laughs> had to run it back. Appreciate it. Pip, could Nicola wants to join us in the back shaft? All right. Well, to be honest, I might have to pull out of the back shaft and he might have to take my place. Nah, you ain't. All right, well, I might have to, you know, go inside and make myself some food. How, uh, how many people does he have down there? It's three, four right now, excluding you. No, to be no, to be honest, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, Pip, sleepy. I'm gonna have to pull out. I'm afraid. I hate you, Pip. You don't hate me. Come yeah, on. Yeah, we were supposed to go into the back shaft for my first time together. Oh my god. It's my first time going to the back shaft. How the hell All is right, it gonna? All right, fine, fine. All right. Give me five minutes. <laughs> she can eat low. We did it. <laughs> Jack! This ain't the cabin at Three Sisters, by the way. By the way, Jack. Kaniklo wants to go to the back shaft too. Okay, that's 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 <laughs> five. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, why is so many people coming spell? to the That's Athos. Athos, huh? Yeah. 
I love how you hopped on my horse and hopped off right away. He's talking to Miro somewhere on the cliff right there. Behind you. You doing okay? You got to food for the cow. Tell me what's happening. Uh, no, I don't. Do I need to start carrying food for the cow all the time? Yeah. Okay. I'll be over a hiker. No, I think there's a lot more to it than that, mate. <laughs> Did you get on? the rundown of everything that happened today, Caniclo? No, I haven't. All right, let's sit. All right, let's sit. Wait, should I be the one to tell whatever happened today? I'd like to hear your version. All right. Well, the day started when we was at that cabin up where you was resting to. Then we was having a conversation after Jack rolled out of the bed. And then after that, we heard someone sticking around outside, maybe watching, shuffling around their binoculars. So we ran outside. And then there was a lady there on a horse across the river. And then she waved at us, so we ran her down to her to try to talk to her. And I was with Mills and Pip, and I asked her what her name was, and she said, your friends will know. And she ain't talked to us or tell us what her name was. And then she was like, can a girl just pick some mushrooms over here? But she ain't get off her horse to pick anything up. Then after taking her time, walking away from us on her horse, then she ran off, like sprinted off. We was like, we got to get out of here. That seems a little suspicious, because uh, Mills done thought that she was part of the Alcado Goins or something. Eric Goins. Yeah. Eric Owens. And then, so we left. And now five minutes later, once we got to the Ainsburg, uh, them Taipans, they rolled down from the, the cabin we was at, like from that area. They came from the north. And they rolled up on us in Ainsburg. And then... We did not put our weapons away, and we were just like, we just wants to leave here. And uh, Bai wanted us to end the war uh, and all that. And we didn't respond, but we was like, we're just going to leave the area. What the fuck does that mean? End the war? Yeah, you'd have to get the whole explanation from everyone. But, uh, Everyone's to us. Yeah. And then... They just want to end the war, Kaniklo, okay? It gets worse, Kaniklo. So we's there, right? And we's walking. We was riding down the down south, trying to just get out of there, all our weapons away. And as we was walking away, trotting our horses like real slow, like they open fire on us. And then, and then they done shoot Alice and they take Jack. And that was after Alice and uh, Mills already done got shot right before. You can speak up. All right. Well, that was. That was bef that was after Mills and Alice done got shot just before. And then Alice got shot down, and we had to take her to the doctor in Rhodes, and they took Jack. Holy shit. That's why they was really suspicious about that man that just came out of nowhere. Because we think that people might just be, you know, watching us. How the fuck did Jack... They took Jack alone? Yep. Why and we ain't been Jack able to find here, him. Why, why, is, why is his head attached to his body? Yeah. I think I should leave that story to him. I feel like that's one he wants to tell you guys. I suppose so. Okay. But you're all right? I'll just say they handed him a knife. And then I'll let him tell you the rest. Uh, But yeah, we's all alive. Everyone's fine now. Okay. But that's why we think that there's a... Maybe like a snoop problem, you know? These real nosies. Hey, it sounds like any number of uh, people's organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, companies, know? gangs... Any of them could be sending someone to get information on us, I guess. Yep. 
And I'm guessing... Whatever that bastard pulled to get away didn't leave them too happy. God damn. Oh. I got grazed too when they were shooting. You what? They were shooting the back of us and my arm got grazed. Then Pip helped me and then Alice helped me. So it's all fine, but... Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I Is think? that your first time getting shot at in this manner? Yeah. Except for the deputies last time trying to shoot my horse and missing. But besides that, yes. Well, you survived the first one, which is statistically better than average. Well, thanks, Kaniklo. I'm glad. I was going to tell you guys something else, but I done forgot real quick. Do you know who exactly shot you? Mm, not really. It was all of them. The buys, the co's. Blah, blah, blah. And then, when we was looking for Jack, Pip, and Mills, they saw people entering San Denis, and we think that maybe they dressed as each other, right? This is a really long story about what happened today. Because we thought that maybe they yeah. was near the swamps because we saw them going back into the San Denis. But they went all the way out west. Yeah. Thank you. Ori uh, originally, uh, we were heading out west. Well, I, I don't know. I had, I had a feeling in my gut that they wouldn't take him all the way out there, but I was wrong. Well, Pip, it seems like today's your lucky day. I like how this is our lucky day. Yeah. <sighs> I take what I can get. Yeah, I suppose so. The high point of my month was finding out that an execution was botched. Beads. We was almost like, yep. Hey, how are you feeling? Kate? Wobbly. How yeah, about you, Rennie, as well? How's things been with you? It's crazy how much we have to breathe. So how, how have things been with you? Uh, well... Breathing really hurts. They get you in the lungs? I don't think I should be the one to tell Kuniklo about Gavin Summers. Not right now. Peter did that? Knowing how he feels about Gavin, there's no way. Don't turn off the computer. Hell no. Okay. What's one word now? I'm getting so sleepy. It was a but... personal matter. Not anything related to this. Oh, I have a personal matter with you, too. What is that? Is that Jack and Jed over there? Where's Mills? What's this? Yes. Oh! Thank you. I found it. I ain't know what it is, though. What's this that I... Hmm. Mysterious. <laughs> what is oh, it, Pip? <laughs> All right, Jed's gonna be coming with us as well down the back, Chef. Oh. Okay. All, All right. right. 
Who's coming with us there? The so, back shaft. So plenty close coming. Go to your coming. Where's your coming? Jet is going. I'm going. Pip, you said you're coming. Yeah. That's six people down the back shaft. Where's we gonna fit? You said it was real tight in there, Pips. Yeah. It's gonna be a squeeze. <laughs> We're gonna, gonna squeeze in there together, all right, Pips? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Jack, we're gonna fit in the back shaft together, all six of us. No, I'm going in first. I'll show you all the way. <laughs> y'all here? Y'all gonna wait till I go in? Once I get through, then you guys can have your turn. <laughs> I'll show you guys Seems the way a little down bit the... selfish, all right, fine. <laughs> I'll show you guys the way down the back shaft. Why does we gotta take turns? Why can't we just go together? Mm -hmm. No, don't, that don't work like that. There's not enough room for everybody. Why? So we'll Sorry, bake the, we'll bake the room. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Pit. We're going in together. Can we go second? No, I have to show you the way. Uh... Athos, Randy, we appreciate the help. We'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate your help today. Bye, Athos. Look after yourselves, eh? Take That's care. Right. All right. Now, we're going to have to go get some... Something else. We're going to have to go get some mining equipment. Anybody here have mining equipment? Okay, that's gonna be. I have a safety bucket. Okay. So... Okay, we're gonna have one ice pick times six. That's gonna be about seventy dollars, seventy-two dollars. I have okay. eighty-eight dollars on me. Okay, we're gonna go to Van Horn. We're gonna get everybody here outfitted with a pick, and then we're gonna go down the back shafts. All right. Yep. Okay, right. we're gonna go to Van Horn together. Then we're gonna go to the shaft. Let's go. Just All right. follow my lead on this. You ain't put on your back shaft outfit, Jack. It's it, it's in it's in. This is my back shaft outfit. What about Pip's back shaft outfit? And can you call his back shaft mine's outfit? Ready. I just He's need to, you know, get into to it. go into the back shaft. He's got his back shaft outfit too. Here we go. Yeah. I'm done. I'm ready. Okay. All right, let's get out of your back shaft outfit. Jack, I'm under contract. Shaft. Okay. That's right. We're going, down to, we're going down to the back shaft. Perfect. I need to get my you think I could afford this shirt? I don't know the horses. <laughs> They're this way. <laughs> I got to get some food when we get there. Yeah, I'm going to ride with you for a bit. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Yeah, just look, one sec here. Just gotta check. One second. Sorry, Jet. Yeah, this is my horse. Is this your horse? This is this is my horse. Uh, this is Ben right here. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, no, <laughs> Jet. This is. I can look in the saddlebags right now. All of course, you stuff. can look in the saddlebag. You're standing no, fucking right see? next to him. What the hell you mean? Come Jets? on, Kay. <laughs> All right, we got three horses. Get on. See this gun. All right, all right. No, there's, I probably yeah, shouldn't go into Van Horn dressed like this. I like it. Just live it. Okay. They don't like masks much there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Anything that hides my face, yeah, they get real angry. <laughs> now, guys, this is very important when we're going down the back shaft. To all, remember to keep your voices down. Right. The first thing we do when we get down the back shaft. Take it nice and slow. We take it nice and slow, that's right. One at a time. <laughs> when the first one feels right, then the second one comes in. All right. Then the third, then the fourth, etc., etc. See how many we can get in there. Hopefully Jack! Six. 
I do not know if it feels right or not. You'll know. Oh, you'll know. know. You will know. <laughs> Canigla, I thought you ain't never went down the back shaft before. This way, this I way. I think this is... I think this just... I don't know why they're calling it back shaft. <laughs> now, the important part... No, 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 no. What I, the first time... Now, Gordy, this is your first time, okay? So the first time, at, at first, it's probably not going to feel so comfortable. That's really? Right. You might even struggle to keep your voice down at first. Wait, why is that? Because of the excitement and enthusiasm. And the stakes of the operation. The stakes are very high. The this sounds fun. Is extremely high, too. <laughs> Kaniklo, when was the last time you went down the back shaft? Kaniklo. <laughs> I think it was two days ago. Two you days went ago. down the back yeah, shaft two days it, ago. Wait, this how way. long ago? It's been months since I've been down the back shaft. Yeah, it's been a we very went, long time for me. We all went down together. Like, like three days ago, yeah. Yeah, did we, yeah, we went a couple of days ago. Did we? Did oh, we don't yeah, have we a little. We, we snuck in there. We had a little, yeah, sneaky little shaft. peek. Never been down back hey, Jed's never been down the back shaft either. Hey, it's gonna feel a little uncomfortable for him too, but he'll get used to it. Soon enough, he won't be able to contain himself. You get addicted to the back shaft once you've been there once. If Just I had any strength in my upper arms, I would probably. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, Just is that why you go to the back shaft so much? You like it a lot? Just the thought of going to the back shaft. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, guys, we're going to do a clean job. We're going to slip in, and we're going to slip out. <laughs> Jack, isn't going in the back shaft sometimes pretty dirty? Oh my oh, god! Dirty to pull for sure. Absolutely filthy. <laughs> it's gonna look like we're covered in mud when we're done. Oh no, stop! Is it really muddy in there? Oh, it's something. <laughs> Now I'm so enthused about going down the back shaft. I don't even know if we're going the right way. Uh, I think we're going we'll the right way. This way. Come up this way. Remember, we're gonna go to Van Horn first. So oh, horse barn that house. No, no, no. We're going the right way. Follow me. Yeah. You can cut up this hill, by the way. We want to go to Van Horn first. Okay. Here, you lead the way. Get up ahead. To Van Horn? That's right. Okay. You seem to know where we're going, so I'm just telling you well, to I lead the back. I know the way to is just on the other side of that hill there. This is Where'd the best. Going, this the is the best way. gang. No, I'm not. We're going to Van Horn, we can just take the tracks down here. By the way, guys, I don't advise smoking down the back shaft. Why? A lot of a lot of flammable down there. Lots of gas. Well, it's a natural gas. <laughs> Lots of natural gas. <laughs> <laughs> hey Wesley, you've been down the back shaft, right? It ain't his book. I think Ain't his book got the best back shaft around. Oh no. Anisberg. Like an Anisberg back shaft. Is 
said the anus now, like i said we gotta be real shift. clean about this because if people see us going out of back shift they're gonna give us dirty looks wow what's wrong with going down the back chef you'll understand when you go down it it'll all make sense all right All right, the only reason we're here is because they sell picks over here. There's a horse. I think there might be a local. There's usually a few horses. It's all right, it would be nice to them, they'll be nice to us. Last time I was here, Jack was piling the bodies up. Oh. Oh, hopefully they don't remember that. Well, we were going to ask, but... We're grabbing picks first. Look, we gotta get pickaxes first. Picks before the anus burst. We should probably grab gloves, too, in case we want to get our hands dirty as well. Your bill would've been perfect, yeah. Should we grab some type of um, some type of ointment or something to put down on the on the uh, apparatus that we're gonna be gripping as we go down the back shaft? Yeah. Why do you need the ointment for the back shaft? So we don't get blisters. Is it dry down there? It's dry <laughs> on the way down. Yeah, and you don't want to have your hands all calloused. They're both fucking dying right now. Okay, can everybody here afford a pickaxe? Jack, yeah. why is he laughing? Me? Yeah. No, that's I'm not laughing. He's not laughing. He's just emotional about the thought of going down the back shaft again. Yeah, he's no, no, really no, no, excited no. about that. No, I'm just laughing at these prices, man. Uh, can you believe this? 10 cents a carrot? I'm going to go to the bathhouse. I think it's best that we clean up before we go down there. We're going to be down there for a while. Should I shit first? Yeah, you yeah shit, actually, you, you shit. should. Damn. I don't want to be shit shitting first. down the back shaft. <laughs> we all broke. Like, all, you out. hear it all no, three. All, all, all of us just fucking just break just but then. But, 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 like, but I love we get closer to the back shaft. Don't do it here. Right. You want to make sure you, you clean right. yourself out, inside and out. There's probably a good outhouse around here, but I guess I'll wait and just shit in the fucking middle of the woods then. I'll take a bath. I'll be oh in there. I'm gonna be in there. <laughs> My God, Goldie! <laughs> right, well, we're gonna get cleaned up. <laughs> to be honest, we're going down the, down the back shaft. To, back, down the back shaft together. Be get used to it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, hurry it up so I can wash myself too. All right. We'll get in there. Yeah, all right. It's right. Hey, <laughs> all you, you need a good scrubbing. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the Van Horn water. Oh, good luck. Yep, I it's- I do love to drink water down from rotting carcasses. It's nice. What do you mean, rotting carcasses? There's a fucking dead horse over here. Huh? Or something. Yeah, that's a horse. It ain't in the water, though. Who no, killed this just, horse? It, it's slightly up the hill. So on a rainy day, all the nastiness goes down. <gasps> but luckily, it's not rain today. Yet.
That's fucking nasty. I would. Where the flip of the others going? Are they trying to get down the back shaft before us? The fuck. Jake already said he's going inside before us. I wonder if you're walking like this if other people see of course. your head. Oh, they they can eat clout. Hi, Magruder. Where's the others? Mm-hmm. Uh, no clue. Oh, here they are. No, I didn't. Right. Doggy, 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 doggy. I thought you said Carol's baby. Okay, no more. We don't want you to get con congested. <laughs> How big is this back shaft? It's, it's just big enough. You guys didn't wash yourselves first. Pip and I is all clean. No, it's yeah. best to be dirty for something like this. You're gonna get real dirty down the back, Chef, so hell. Maybe we'll even wash yourself. Now I'm thinking about waiting for it to get dark before we go down the back, Chef. What do y'all think? You sure that's wise? What if we I go down the wrong hole? I feel a lot more comfortable if uh, the lights were off. <laughs> Maybe we could light some candles? <laughs> I have no idea, Parasite. We'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is a lot of explosives. Okay, we go this way. Right, we're gonna leave our horses up and away. Yeah, we don't want them getting any ideas about coming down with us. They definitely can't fit. I don't think the horses would fit down the, the, the back shaft. Far Lamps managed once before, but it was a really tight squeeze. <laughs> don't forget, I wanna take a shit before we head down there. What's the All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave Snake. our we're gonna, that's right we're gonna leave our horses here. Take a shit in that outhouse, okay? While we get prepared. Bib snake. Oh, Where is it? It's right there. See it right there. Good damn snake. Oh my! Don't see it. I'm blind. Kill it with a knife. Don't give up our locations. I need one of those, Pip. I'll get you one. Outhouse, bite me in the ass. Man, you're getting bitten by a snake oh, right in the asshole. should not be up there while Jim's in there. Oh. Yeah, I'd uh, clear the area if I were you, Goldie. No. Come this way. He's really what the hell? Y'all yeah, get used to it after a while. Jed, what the hell's you eat today? You don't get used to it. <coughs> oh, guys, I can I can smell it. I can the smell it from here. Really not doing any favors for us. You know what it's like? Y'all ever sit outside a campfire and for no matter where you go, the smoke just comes to where you're sitting. Mm-hmm. And you change your location, and somehow the smoke knows where you are. Yeah. That's the aroma with with Jed's poop. Just kind of clings to your clothes too. 
Have you guys ever read a newspaper before? Yeah. Yes. Do you know how they have the cartoon section? Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes they draw a cartoon and there's like a rascally character, like a like a raccoon. A rascally and, character like a raccoon. That's right. Okay, yeah. And then there's like another rascally character and he's baking a pie. Right. And the pie aroma is visible and it moves. And then it goes into the rascally character's nostrils and his eyes grow big. And it kind of lifts him off the ground. Yes, 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 yes. That's what Jed's poop is like. Ew. But in a not happy way. That is so foul. <laughs> what the fuck? I just mean that like if... I'm gonna <gasps> fucking vomit. No, that's because it's poop smell. No matter where you go, the aroma comes to you. Wesley, you know. Oh, I know. I know, brother. Oh. I'm if, picturing it right now. If, if Jed was a cartoon character, that aroma visual would come out of his ass. And that, that rascally Not, character would like float up in the air and kind of move his feet, kind of uh, like dancing in the air a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. When, when, he's, sitting on, eyes, no, 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 when he's sitting on the outhouse, yeah. if, there's like, it's lifted and his feet don't touch the floor. That's right. He's so going to kill swing. Danique low. So his feet swing happily. So That's while he's right. pooping, his like feet are just oh swinging. Oh my up. God. He's got a big grin on his face. And he and he's rubbing his hands together. That's He's doing this. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And his and his legs are just so happy and then and then the aroma it just travels as yeah. a visual. And everybody it comes into contact with, their eyes in the cartoon become X's. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And then it collapses. Oh, oh my head. Oh. All that happens when you go down the back shaft. Huh? The smell of poo? What's that, Goldie? You smell poo when you go down the back shaft? That's what you're saying? No, absolutely not. <laughs> what Never. are you thinking of? I thought that you said that that's what happens when you go in the back shaft and you was talking about the smell of Jed's purr floating everywhere. No, no, no. Wes, tell her what I was talking about. <laughs> you see... Goldywood. What's that? Sorry, one sec. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Taniko, are you going to be able to make it down? Probably not. Mm. <laughs> How does this always happen to you? I don't know. They all hate me. Uh... Oh. I suppose you could <laughs> tie a rope oh, to me and lower me <laughs> the ladders. Are we ready to go? I think so. Yeah, yeah. motherfucker, that is right. Shit. Slippy. Okay. Yeah, come on. I'm ready. Feeling good. All right, All right. Follow me. Come on, follow me. Jack. Okay, we probably. Your attire. Yeah, it's a fucking rough one, fellas. Glad I got that out for a fucking we going fucking down this shaft. Okay. All right, Caniclo's not gonna make it, so we should probably take our horses a little bit closer before we abandon them. The hell you wearing, Pip? Safety bucket. That's Safety what he wears bucket, to go huh? inside the back shaft. <laughs> He's right. Put the ventilation. Oh, no, you'll be fine. Is Pip really the only one wearing sure. protection? I'm gonna pull my... Just, just hop on cow. Just hop on cow. All right, never mind. All right, all right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I don't like to wear protection for that, Jack. 
Jed, let's go. Let's go. Get on a horse and let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna hop on with you, Wes. That all right? Oh yeah, that's fine. But you cleared yourself out. It shouldn't be a problem. Is amazing everywhere. Yeah, dude. I don't. I don't know what's going on in other POVs, but shit from our POV has been good for fucking days, dude. Today is like non-stop. It was so non-stop, actually, that it feels like so uh, fun too to have some just like lighthearted RP2. If you run into danger, push, push, you're gonna have to go woof woof at them. Ah! Oh, it's rock and dry. Alright, perfect. The fog is rolling in. Come on. On foot or what? This okay. way. No, 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 no. This way. Shaft is so close. I can see it. I can almost taste it. How about you, Jim? Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold on to this. Is it? No, no. What's inside it's, of there? I have no idea. Can Never I seen it? that back shaft. I There's a side shaft. Is that the back shaft? Is this the back shaft? Shh, 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 shh. Everybody stick together. Goldie, no. No, what? Goldie. What? You can't go down the back shaft with a furry animal. Why? Costume. It, it's too suspicious. You just can't. Yeah, there's no one else in the room. Mom, mom, mom. They're just the rules, Goldie. They're just the rules. You, you want to be a weirdo in a you furry can't. costume? Going down the back, Jeff? <laughs> they said oh, everyone's going to be watching you. Stop, Goldie. Everyone's going to be watching you. Do it, Goldie. Let him fucking go. Sorry. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Jack, I don't know if you heard, but when Pip said... We're getting... Oh, we're right here. We're down the back shaft. Oh. Okay, everybody be careful. Shh, 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 shh. Let me pull out. I'm pulling out the oil, okay? Jack, can I go first? No, you gotta, gotta take that animal head off down there. Yeah, I can't. I wear You're gonna my spook animal. the other you miners. You down that hole. You're gonna spook the miners Wait, down there. I got an oil. Gun oil, the apparatus that we're gonna go down on. Yeah, lubricate you are, that quickly. You are. Is he trying to make it so you can slide down there easy? That's right. No, That's right. drop down there. Okay, I'm going first. It's Listen, like, when we go down there, everybody keep your voices down. Right. That's right. Shh. Right. Lady second. All right. Okay, come down. Next one. <laughs> no, Goldie, you're going to fall down the back shaft. <laughs> and fall off. Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody calm down. Wait for everybody to get down here. I can't look like an animal. Cause there's other miners in here. All right, fine. Never You're gonna really get suspicious. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kaniklo. What was that you said? What did Kaniklo say? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> what did Where is he going? Kaniklo? Come down, Jed. What did he Kaniklo's say? Kaniklo's not I'm used to being down, on this right. side of it. He was saying, Jed, make sure you come down to what come down real carefully. Trying to make sure I come down here. We still got room here for you. Jack, can I go first this time? Okay, but but okay. No, why just say it like that? If you really want to go first, you can. You gotta ease your way down there, okay? Because then otherwise you're gonna ruin it for the rest of us. What you mean? Go ahead. Go ahead first. That's right, Pip. Ah! Oh, boom. <laughs> the hell? Goldie. Go down. Shh. I got <gasps> Goldie. <gasps> Goldie. Yeah. Goldie. Goldie, what did I tell you, Goldie? <laughs> Pip. Jack. 
Oh, she's okay. This is why you wear a safety box. Ow! I should have kept my. You're not even wearing any protection going down there like that. Okay, we wait for Kaniklo. <laughs> okay. Okay, I I'm gonna. I realize this kind of just keeps on going and going. How, how, how did it do that? Oh. Sure is one damn deep back shaft. <laughs> Oh, he's going to hit first. Pip, I'm gonna need some extra. How does it work? Keep, keep, keep your voices down. Keep your voices down. <laughs> if I kind of put my foot here and. Does this help? Is that what helping? Pip, I'm nice okay. Here, here. All right. On this side. On this side. Jack, More covered in mud. <laughs> okay. Jack, and we have. What is it? What is I, it, Goldie? I need a band aid. A band aid. A band aid. Yeah, I don't think so. Hold on. Let me think of one. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I accidentally logged in the wrong server. Hold on. Oh, no. Gang fucking. <laughs> Apparently, our weakness. Yeah, ladders, dude. Ladders are gonna take us out before the fucking. The rest of the crossing. <clears throat> Man, I'm fucking hungry. I know, I didn't mean to say band aid. I always slip. Bandage. I'm fucking hungry, dude. But the only thing I have next to me is chocolate. And I don't really want to eat chocolate. I know, right, Almond? I always slip and actually call her band aid. I feel like you're not taking this very seriously, Wes. Sorry, sorry can we go? Listen, did you did you still need that bandage? Not a laughing matter. That's right. Did did you tear some skin? Uh. <laughs> Down the back shaft? Yeah, I did. Hey, this is my last bandage. Okay, we're gonna wait for the other two. I think they went to explore the back shaft before they come back. <clears throat> there they are, okay. How deep is this back shaft? Okay, now listen. Goldie, we bottomed out. Doesn't go down any further. Okay, Jet, 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 Jet. Okay, we're gonna sneak our way. We're gonna find a miner. And we're gonna snatch the miner with the rope. We're gonna take his head. Okay, and we're gonna dump him here. And we all have our miner heads. We're gonna start collecting coal. I'm then gonna go bring a box. And we're gonna put some TNT in the box. Jet, you're, you're gonna be spotted, man. Get down. Oh, I found somebody. There's a guy up front in the back shaft. Okay, Goldie, 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 wait, Goldie, wait, Goldie. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Pip, you go talk to him. And when you give the keyword, Goldie, you rope him. Alright, what's the keyword? Goldie, what's the keyword? 
She might not understand keyword, but maybe safe word be better because we're kind of robbing something. I'll just say, I'll just say. Chocolate, uh, chocolate. Okay. Hey there, man. So, Fred, right? I think I've seen you around before. Hey, you love that chocolate, don't you? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get back, get back in the back, Chef. Go in the back, Chef. Back, Chef. Get back in the back, Chef. His hat got too muddy. Oh, Is that so Where's his hat? We need the. Th it, it, it's all. It's it all fucking stuck muddy. In the mud. Oh no. But they don't have the torches on Jack. Why is Jack wearing a rifle down in here? Put your guns okay. away. Okay. Then. Find a bag, Jack. I think we just. I'm gonna just charge these two. I think so. Okay, you charge those two. I'm getting the guy to the left. Okay, go on. Right. Listen, go See yeah. the guy admiring the dynamite. Yeah. You're gonna have to choke him from the Do back. Do you want me to distract the other guy? I'll just try to sack you. Distract those over there. Yeah. So we're late for work today, and I'm. Dead! Oh, good throw. That's my hat. Did you get the hat? Zip descended no. over there. See my hat? Yeah. Okay, success. Come on, we just gotta get you guys. Or did you want a hat? What did I just loot from the guy? Uh, there was too many of them. How come my hats are always scuffed for me? Get that head. Shit, this guy's it's coming. It's stuck in the mud. broken on mine. No, 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 no. You just can't see it on yours because it's on your head. Oh, I Use see. your hands. Thanks. Please, I'm gonna... Everything going no, good? did you just... <laughs> Goldie! <laughs> I... Hey. Whatever you guys do, listen, whatever you do... do not... Okay. Whatever you do, do not change any article of clothing, okay? Yeah. That guy's getting away! Get him, Wes. That'll show him to see us. Jay, we need to get you on the floor. There's one guy right there. Isn't that, isn't that where we entered? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay, we're gonna... Mighty fine coal down here, guys. Hey, I love mining. Excuse Anybody me, else sir. down here love Warrior, mining? Excuse me, sir. Love it. Don't mind them. <laughs> oh, Goldie. Now you got a problem. No. You're gonna die. 
Oh shit! Holy shit, Jed! Alright, that's how it's fucking done. The hell we fucking beating people up. <laughs> Grab your stupid hat here. We're down the fucking back yet for a reason. My light went out. Oh, okay. Keep an eye, keep an eye on the on the on the dynamite, okay? And start mining. We're gonna need some coal, so start mining for some coal. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. There's all those fucking mine over here. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are doing great. I fucking hate the mines. I'm gonna drag this guy down into the corner. Bip, I don't mm -hmm. wanna mine no more. Leave it to what? I hate oh, this. Wait, we gotta keep up the image, alright? Till Jack gets back, it's so much longer. So much longer now. Yeah, get back to work, man. This guy slacking off. Can't be laying around all day. Oh, good God. Come on, fella. The foreman told you you gotta get back to work. Can I have a break? Please? No. Nah. Oh. We're gonna need a lot of coal to cover the diamond on the way out. Really put your back into it. They're usually supposed to be so much more distance. Did I actually get a gem? Really? Let this little slime me down here. Duh. Oh, damn it. That's cool. You guys lied to me. Why the hell is he throwing that coal at me? Pip. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. My pockets are so full. They wake up. I still have all of Jack's time. I'm so hungry. You think I have enough time to go heat up some food while my anim mining yeah, animation? a century. Nice one. I, I 
think this is supposed to go to someone. I think I can honestly yeah, heat up meal prep in uh, the time that oh, it takes so to do one Ultra. mining like animation. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, he's given he's give me a few. I just with the them up. I guess. Mm. Yeah, he loves to go get the box. Yup, Brisco. Yes, I am. Work is fucking jack to me. I'm not damn tired of this. He's concentrating on the box, Jed. We have to work on the back shed. I think I can. I'm so hungry. And the only thing I have next to me is chocolate. I can't just keep eating chocolate. Look at that dog with the black log. <gasps> I ain't cut out for these, man. I roll bangs. Yeah, same here. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just get the box first? Yeah, it seems kind of... I'm not gonna finish that fucking sentence. I can't believe I'm talking like this. I hate mining. I'd love Major. to hear it. I like beating up miners. I did like that part. I hate this so much. Who the fuck is that guy? Let's go beat him up. Hey! This is all sport, motherfucker! Are you trying to get some of our mines? Your turn, Pip. I mean, he's not here. You can stop mining. Come on, you gotta sit with your friends. You little muppet. Ow! <laughs> He's already knocked down, bloody hell. Ow! <laughs> uh, fellas, there's a guard in here. The guard just came in. Bip. Shit. Shit. Guy. Keep it down. There's a guard. A guard just came in. Okay, get over here. Get over okay, here fast. Okay. Get over here. Do we have any coal? Do we yeah, have yeah, any yeah, coal? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ha but put the coal in my pocket. Okay. For the love of God. I'm we trying. Don't much, we don't have much time. I've tried. No, Kaniklo has a lot of time. Give me, give me whatever call you have. Okay, perfect. How do I get rid of this thing stuck in my hand? I'll keep watch for the guard. Hey. Wes. Yeah. I think the mud made this stick to my hand. The mud stuck to your hand? No. The mud dried up and now this... The pick is stuck in my hand. Oh, you take out your knife. Okay, now put it away. Yeah, it's still there. Really? Yeah. Uh... Oh, I don't see a... I don't see a pick.
I think we should be good. Listen, hide that body. Hide that body, whatever you do. Go throw it in the corner. Goldie, go throw the body in the corner. All right, come on, come on. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. So There's a guy coming. Okay, come on. He's coming up. He's coming up towards us. Come on. Oh come shit! On, get him! Get him! Goldie, get over here, Goldie. Yeah, Jack. Get over here. Yeah. Put, put, like, do you have a knife or something? Yeah. Pull it out. Yeah. Okay, op op open this crate. Hurry up. All right. Okay. We took care. No, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fuck, open in the crate over there in the back. Grab the grab those sticks and hand it over. All right. All right. You're past this, Jack. All right. Yeah. What are you doing? Don't handle it carefully if that thing blows up. Here's a couple more. Yeah, give it to me. Okay. Here you go. How many do we need? Get more, Wes. More? Okay. You need more, Jack? Yeah, just a bundle. Just a bundle. Okay. Okay, here. Okay, just just set it in the box. I'm gonna I'm gonna lift okay. the lid. All right. Make sure no one's watching. Jack. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Look, make sure you cover it with coal. Cover, put it, okay. put the coal over it. Goldie, be very careful Jack. next to that. No, 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 Goldie, what are you doing with that? Should I not do Goldie, this? Stop, Goldie, Goldie stop. Yeah. Don't be careful. Your foot is right next you to the light by the lantern. If God your damn. leg touches that lantern, we're all gonna die. What? Yes. Yes. What? Just hand it to Jack. 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 Goldie. Jack. Oh, God. Wes, Wes, yeah, yeah, Wes, yeah, grab yeah, that yeah. box. Okay, okay. And, and get, no, 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 no. Get okay. Goldie, get Goldie. Okay. Carry her off the goddamn fucking okay. bomb. I'm gonna pick and, you and, up and, 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 and take down her here. away from here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're gonna need just a little bit more. We're gonna need just a little bit more. Cool to put in this box, okay? Okay. okay. It's the, where, wherever the bodies are, we're not gonna go there. Okay. Head down this shaft. <laughs> and it looks like a lot of people have used this back shaft before. Yeah, we were in here last time. Oh, God! <laughs> Look out! No, Goldie! No, 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 Goldie! Go! Guys, this. Goldie, tell him, tell him not to mind. Tell him it's okay. Talk to him, talk to him quick. He's getting away. It's fine. Guys, get, get over here, get over here. I got him. All right. Wes. Oh shit. Look out, Goldie! Look out! Let's move. <laughs> Go on, Link. Oh, God. Nice work, Goldie. Thanks, Jed. Okay. Coming, I'm coming. I want to be here though. Open the box. Open the box. Take the TNT that's in it out and switch it with one of these good ones. Uh, does this one look good to you? Does that look good? Okay, yeah, that one's good. Hey, okay, hey, hey, hey. Take the one from the box, put it there. Is that right? Hurry up before they see. There's a couple fellas behind us. 
He's on. looking at us. Come on, come on. Bim, he's looking at us. Oh, oh, no, no. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hey, Bill. Uh, fuck him up. Fuck him up. You're having to fuck him up. Fuck him up. Good job. Can y'all calm the fuck down? Here, come <laughs> on. We better hope the law that doesn't show up. Come on. Survivable. That's what we don't know. We should have told, take, man. Take some of this coal and rub it on your body so it looks like we've been working. All right. Roll over. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. She's still running out down here. No. No. Jed, please. Please, Jed. Uh oh. Listen. Listen. When I was Look outside, out. When I, when I was outside. They were being really suspicious. Maybe someone sent word to the law. I don't know. Oh, shit. Right. Okay. Well, we need to get the fuck out of here, then. This way. This way. This way. This way. Light. That light up there, little pump. Pip. Where's where's where's? Pip. I think he's behind us. See the light. What's that in here? <laughs> not this side, not this exit, not this exit. What do you mean, not this exit? There's a guard outside that exit. The other one, we gotta go to the other one. Pip, we're stuck. Is he just by himself? Stop killing people. Okay. What was that? Because of all the stuff you guys have done. Listen, that we're trying to make sure the law doesn't show up by killing the people that see us. That's right. Act normal. Act normal. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, we should, we, we, we should get out of here. Okay, let's get going. We, we let's gotta get, get out of here. Walking. Jack, there's so many bodies. Where? Everywhere. There's bodies everywhere. I know we gotta get out of here before the police come. Which way is it? Go, go, it's it's to the, go straight into the right. Stop running, stop running. It looks suspicious. To the right. There's nothing to the right. There's, There's something there. there. Okay, okay. Do not kill this guy. Please do not kill this guy. Jed. Hi there, Mister. Hi. Yes, sir. Hey. How do you Good work. No, we're not hiding. Why would we be hiding? Oh, Hi, Bob. <laughs> hey, hey, Bob. Nice to see you today. Oh. I'm lost. I don't know where the fuck I am. I don't know how to get out of here. I hate it. I hate it. Guys, we're going in fucking circles, man. Yeah, we are going in circles, aren't we? I don't know how to get out of here. Is it this I, way? I think it's this way. I think it's this way. Are you I sure? Think it's that way. No, no, this it's way? that way. Look at a body. Just think he's, he's on a smoke break. Oh, God. <laughs> I told oh, you we try and fit oh, in with us. Hey. <sighs> Hi there, miss. Howdy. This way, guys. This way. Oh, fuck, 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 oh, fuck, God, fuck, fuck. So he's, he's looking at the dynamite, guys. That man's inspecting the dynamite that we stole. Look over there. Where? Just ignore him. Ignore him. Walk this way. He's looking right at it. Okay, come this way. Oh, we, can blow, we can blow it up. We can blow the rest no, of no, it no. up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, can we blow it up? Please. All the missing dynamite goes Please don't blow to... it up. 
Please, it comes down to it. It's please, just, it's just an accident, it right? I, think the law, please. Listen, I guarantee you the law will probably show up any second now because of everything you guys have done. Please, Jack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we just accidentally tip that lant lantern over and go, please? Please. Hey, uh, now let's just keep focus on uh, moving forward out of the mine. Guys, I think they noticed that one of them was missing. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck, he was that guy's looking ah! at a body right now. So, Pip, you're saying if we destroy all of the dynamite, the they won't be able to tell that any's missing? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, just, yeah. They'll, they'll just put it down to a mining accident, terrible mm -hmm, mining accident. Mm -hmm. And then all the bodies were burnt up, and they won't There's see no all way the, we can cover all this. Burn Guys, this listen, shit. Blow it all up. Please, let's That's burn right. it up. We gotta blow this up. We've we gotta to do it, Jay. It. There ain't no other That's way. Right. There's so many dead bodies. Okay, That's right. okay. We gotta go find any dynamite go to and blow it up fast. <laughs> all right. Find any dynamite and come back here. Okay, we need oh, to get going. What was that? <laughs> the hell was that? Jack, move, hurry. Jack, where? move. Move where? Move away. Jack! Not right now, what the hell? <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> they got, get that guy! Dynamite. Where's Pip? Pip! What the hell? I thought you got stuck in the shaft. What the hell's going on? Come on, let's get the fuck okay, out of go, here. What are you doing? Oh, the the dynamo. Oh, no, the mine is crashing. The mine is blowing up. Oh, God. Go right. Go Run! Right. Go right. Oh. Holy hell. Wait, wait, wait. Where is everybody? Is We're missing two. Is everybody here? No. Everyone's here. Here. Everyone's here. Come on, I think the mine is gonna collapse. Come on. <laughs> okay, everybody act natural. Everybody act natural. <laughs> oh, I think yeah, definitely no uh, explosion out there. Oh, hi, Bess. Oh, Howdy. 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 Hey there. Howdy, hi. Are okay, y'all? We're about to explosion. Uh, yeah, we're on a uh, mining accident, uh, ma'am. Um, That's right. Uh, <laughs> terrible, terrible. <laughs> So many mining accidents. <laughs> What's the others? Oh, I think we left them. They, all of them. I think all of them are dead. Oh, shit. There was... Guys, do, do you live here, ma'am? Go ahead and tell it. Tell we were just telling her about the terrible mining accident. Listen, uh, fellas, just keep on going. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, we should, uh, we should get yeah. going. Yeah, oh, sorry. <sighs> Listen, miss, uh, just walk this way with me for a minute, right? Don't let him. What do you mean, get, don't let him? What? We need to get going. Are you gonna, gonna let him, Jack? I Are think, you going to let him? Because you're the only one that can that, stop him. I think that he's going to kill that lady. Come on, guys. We can't let him. Give it, come on. <laughs> I really I don't think I you should was... be going hunting with him. <laughs> no, that's... Did he ask you to go hunting? Yeah. Yes. No, do not go hunting right with him. Right in front of Pip. Don't. Don't do that. I really wish I was wearing my oh, piss wearing right there. Now. We have just left some things over here. Uh. Tragedy. <laughs> oh my what? I really hope he doesn't do anything stupid. I think that he is though. I don't think we can stop him. Cause he's gonna say that there's She's gonna tell everything that we murdered everyone in there. I'm gonna have to tie him up. I think it's too late. And then, did she see all our faces except yours? True! I'm in the clear. Thank God. <laughs> Babe, what am I- <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, sure. Go and find Foreman Freddy. I'll, I'll show you the way. Okay. Terrible. I never seen a mining accident like that in, in all my years. Yeah, I've seen one or two. Who would leave? Who would leave the box of knives? 
right next to the dynamite. Oh God. That I'm reminds me of the one time that somebody left an entire uh, box full of utensils because they had a uh, a big old brunch down there one time, and then a, a thing exploded full of uh, TNT. <sighs> And uh, it sent flying utensils everywhere. We had a whole bunch of people in the medical offices with forks and knives and, you know, spoons sticking out of their orifices. It was pretty bad. You know, they always, they always say, don't, don't, the run, don't run with scissors and don't put boxes of utensils and knives right next to the TNT. That's right. Yeah, they really it's always real, said that. It's a bad time. You're going to have a bad time. Man, they all, all those all those knives flying everywhere, slashing all those people up. It was horrific. Oh, God. Yeah. If only Thomas Shrapnel had never invented shrapnel. You son of a bitch. I think I recognize one of them. I think she had a son. Oh, God. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? And the dog. Oh, no. And the horse. There, who he, is it? He was blown away. And the cow. I think he blew Who is this? <laughs> we get into a circle and we'll all look down. Oh shit! <laughs> is that the foreman? Is this the foreman? Was I he in that mining accident? Hello? <laughs> That's his rat. Oh he just shit! Just got it out of his pocket. Is there still here? More. Someone's coming. Everybody act natural. Come on. Ma'am, can we get this report done uh, with, and so we can get out of here? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go tell Foreman Freddy. I better deal with this fella. Okay. Okay. Well, where, where do we leave our horses? We left them back up top. All right, fella. They're right at the back oh, trapped. No, no, they're at the back trapped. Oh. Howdy there. Just some miners mining, mining. Mine that is, is our song. She'll be coming around to my chef when she come. Ooh She'll be coming around to my chef when she come. I'll be coming around the back chef when I come. <laughs> Jed will come around the back chef then. Jed will come around the back chef. We all went down the back chef together. Come on, all together now. Not in your life. <laughs> I'll be going down the back shaft when I come. Why did you sing the song, Can You Glow? Goldie, why I'll did you sing it? I'll be going down the back shaft when I come. I forgot the lyrics. We've been coming down the back shaft when we come. We'll, oh, be we'll, be we'll be coming down the back shaft. We'll be coming down the back shaft. We'll be we'll be coming down the back shaft. We come. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> now, I'm done with the fucking thing. All right. Up on the lid. That's just the god. Just the god. Okay. We've been pumping in the back shafts when we came. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Like like a like a hydraulic pump. I didn't think we was pumping. <laughs> Howdy there. Howdy. Uh, howdy. It was horrible. It was terrible. Oh, the humanity. Oh, there's a poor man there. Yeah, the humanity of what there, Mister? There was oh, a no. huge mining accident. There was a mining accident. We have there been any other deputies over here? No, we uh, just informed someone to go fill a report in. Well, why don't I save them the trouble? I saw a tip that there might be something going on up here in the mines. That's here about was. all I know. Yeah, um, we just came here to get some coal because it winter's coming in. We just want to keep the house warm, that's all. It doesn't really seem like anything out of the ordinary. No, besides exactly. the collapsed mine, there's nothing. Yeah. Goldie. All those miners.
Well, um, officer, if uh, we don't want to keep you here all day, uh, we're gonna take Did our you box. the box. And just a box of coal. Can I take a look? Oh, you've I mean, never it, seen coal before, fella. It just cool. no. I just, <laughs> I just kind of want to see if he's telling the truth. Is all. What? Why would you think I'm, he's lying? We just came out of the mine. It's true. Look, there's, there's no worry here. There's, there's all right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't believe that? Pip. We <laughs> actually been here. Am I supposed to tell him that I'm going or not? Time? I don't know what to believe. You said oh. there's a mining accident. Uh, sure. Something about a collapsed mine. We barely um, escaped with our lives. That fella's over there wearing a fucking buck on his head. I, <laughs> I really don't know what to think. <laughs> safety bucket! A s safety bucket, of course. Okay, fine. Yeah. You, Walk you, on over here. Wanna, oh, no, it's okay. Let, let him. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll open it for him. No, no, don't worry about it. Hmm. All right. I guess it is just coal. <clears throat> are, are you satisfied? I suppose I don't need to rummage around your shit. Well, th it's thanks for doing incognito, your duty, incognito, officer. Incognito, I appreciate that. Incognito. Is is there something y'all wanted to report? Incognito. Well, no, we told so the, yeah, there was a lady that came that and heard the explosion, so right, she went down to go tell the foreman. Perfect. Do y'all happen to know how this explosion might have happened? I know no, they got we a lot of dynamite in there. The uh, fella started running and said, run, run! So a bunch of us just started running out and the explosion started happening. Yeah, exactly. What if the other? The chain <clears> reaction. <throat> Alright. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my box of coal here now. Yeah, I'm sure you're sweaty after a long day of work, right? Well, and I mean, the, the fear of those explosions going off, good God. There was lots of knives everywhere. There was lots of knives everywhere. Some, it was some. a cutlery explosion. <gasps> uh, what? We were in there because we were celebrating somebody's birthday. We started kind of passing out forks, knives for the cake. Everybody was really excited. And then that's when the explosion started. And everybody dropped their utensils and just started flying everywhere. Yep. And then whenever it didn't start exploding, it started flying everywhere. But we should probably be on our way. We pretty shook oh. up. I need to head home and right. my I, I just have need one to more Hold the on. Dead. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna let yeah. you go in just a second. I just want right. to talk to two of you alone, and I just want to ask each of you one question. Okay? Is, oh, this is that is all right? This is a riddle. Yeah. Is this is a riddle? Um, okay. The bucket man. Let me ask you a question first. If you just come over here. <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> is he not supposed to know it's me? Oh, it's his, uh, what's his face over there? He was, uh, 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 it was uh, th that guy with a hat on it. I don't, don't really know his name. We don't know each other too well. Uh, the... Yeah. No. I don't. I don't want to stand over there. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, Goldie, can you come here for a minute? Yeah. <clears throat> Goldie, whose birthday is it? Uh, the, 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 the one of that over there, that one of them, the, the right, that, one of, Goldie? yeah, what's going on? What you mean? Uh, there's only one of me. There's not a whole lot I can do here, but w what is going on? There's obviously not a birthday. And over yeah, there is yeah, it is. Very nervous about something. No, nothing's happening here besides a very tragic accident in the mines. With loss and explosives, they went. You don't sound too scared. You sound more nervous. Nah, nah. I, mean, I just obviously I'm a little nervous. I don't see a lot of people get injured in there. I just need something. You know what, Jeopardy? I, it's never gonna go mining again. Oh God, I can't stand it no more. 
Dodie, it's okay. Nothing happened. I, just, I, I'm, just I ain't never it. gonna go mining again. I was. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Sorry. Bucket. You can you can go over there. Listen, Deborah. You don't need to stand alone. I think I gotta go home. It was real traumatizing. I Wait, think. Is there, Excuse me. Is there me. anything uh, sorry bad going on here? But, um, did, did someone get hurt? Uh, are you any of you folks uh, trying to get away from somebody? We were just trying to get away from the huge mining accident that just happened, sir. Many people died. Are there a bunch of law in okay. town down there? No, no. Actually, a, a group of six just rode up on me while I was checking my telegram. Uh, they had one of them had a real gravelly voice. They were all wearing Gavin black. Gavin Summers. Wearing uh, where did, cloth where over did they their go? face. Uh, they left Annisburg and headed south towards Van Horn, but they were like. If you see a guy in an orange vest, let me know. I was like, oh. Anyway, I, I thought I'd let you know, uh, just in case you were the people they were looking for. Yeah, Gavin Summers, we got a scram! I would, I would like to talk to you first. Y'all y'all can have a nice day, mister, and all of you. I hope that everything's okay. In oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I'll smoke it all again, better. Are you a law? Uh, yes, sir. Deputy Colonel. Oh, thank you. Thank God you're here. <laughs> My name's uh, Father Gabriel. Pips. Yeah? We got away with it, Goldie. Nah, he was what asking people? me. What people? Here, up here, right on the ridge. What was he asking you? Oh, brother. Oh God! Deputies. Well, that was fucking Jed. close. Oh. It's the guy with the orange vest. <whistles> Who are these people? No yeah, idea. You got that shit hidden. Yeah. I think. Get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Who are those people? Yeah, I have yeah. no idea. Let's get the fuck out Pips. of here. Mm hmm. Where's Cal? Yeah, yeah. You have to take the reins. Alright. I believe in you. Oh, shit. shit. We have to move now. Where is Let's everyone? Let's fucking go, dude. We're not all together. Where is everyone? And Nicolo's over there. And where's Wesley? I'm okay. Come on, we're moving. Where's Wesley? Wesley. John! Howdy. John! Where the hell is he? Listen, there was another gentleman with us, a miner. His name was John. Did y'all happen to see which direction he went in? Uh, what, what, what's he look like? Did he have a hat on like he wears? Just a little peek over here. I don't know. Oh, you're not going that way. That's oh. unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna really miss him. Do you, want, do you want us to help look for him? I mean, it's dark. Is it dark? It, it is. Yes. He, he could be lost in the wood. Oh, sorry. He could be lost in the wood. And it, with the rain, but. Do we need to go looking for him? I feel like Preacher was warning us, like mm. actually warning us, or I don't think he was trying to get us out of anything. I think he was like legit trying oh to get us God, out of something yeah. else. Okay. Right. Listen, Wait. what if he had a headache? We can't just go without him. Yeah. <laughs> 
Honestly, Goldie, I need to put my head down. Nah, babe. Uh, somewhere in the world, it's half past six in the morning. <laughs> it's Pip. What? I don't know what they just said. What do you mean, Sarah? I was, I was up with them until we hit the road up there. Up where? Up here? It's daytime? Oh, really? What the fuck? Listen, guys, we're gonna get out of here because I think it's the dust in the air, you understand? It's the dust in the right. air. Right. Come on. There's... Oh... How did, how did he just bubble away like that? Bless you. Where are the rest of them? Oh. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> I really need some sleep. The... <laughs> Where are they? I don't know, but I I need I know I know one thing, and I gotta go find a fucking bush. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep. Okay, I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> no, oh, I didn't need shots from this direction. Get dust are. in the air, Wes is with us. Okay. In spirit. Okay, let's go to the three sister cabin. Okay. I'll probably right. be resting my head over there as well. Come on. Sounds good. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Sleeping now, actually getting some sleep, and I can go eat. Okay, this is not a place to cross, by the way. Make note of that. Yeah. Alright, uh, where do the others go? Come this way. Imagine someone was chasing you and you got cornered right there. That would be fucking terrible. No, I think Pip rode ahead. I think there's something going on in Ansburg. Yeah, we just got to hope no one gets attacked tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, he said it's 6 a.m. where he is. those gunshots. Straight ahead. I damn, lost him in that fog. Come on. I 
I'm tired too, to be honest. I think Mills said he had a plan for Blackwater. All right, give me give me one moment. I'm gonna take a quick, quick, quick nap. All right, cause uh, there's a lot of dust in my eyes. crazy sure was crazy Goldie can you see me now yeah okay Pips went into bush okay oh, is Kaniklo around too Kaniklo's over there okay Wes I might have got to take a nap are things looking weird to you too? Oh god. What? You alright, Jed? Alright. Yeah. Maybe I need to have a I'm gonna have a quick nap as well. Give me a sec. Yeah. Damn, is it scuffy for everyone? I, if that makes sense if we're all like day night, if other people are seeing shit. Oh, where am I from? Uh, I live in Austin now. Chat, I need my call. I'm so fucking tired. But I appreciate you guys chilling. I might off stream for a little bit longer, but I'm fucking dead as shit right now. Um, I'm going to rate up gold. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you guys chilling. I really do. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. Follow channels for live updates. You know the drill. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a very, very nice night.